Seven. Yeah, this upcoming Monday. Nice. I'm excited for you. Me too. I better get pictures of fish from you every day. Um, I you're gonna have to wait at least for like a little bit because I don't want to like get in trouble for having my phone out. <laughs> when, when you walk into work, you just gotta draw a quick one, like one pop picture, and then you're done. <laughs> I'll probably have to wait until after I clock out. Of course. Yeah, it's probably not going to be like a first thing in the morning thing. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and switch screens. Why is my hand all going up? Stop it. Stop! <laughs> I think it's because I have my hoodie up. It's getting confused. Okay. Damn. Uh, if, uh, if and when more people come on in, I'll go through and show off all of the other stages for this, but for the meantime, I'll continue writing. Hell yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, and I'm actually almost done writing this one anyway, so... I wonder if I can finish this and his mega evolution today. Hard to say. Indeed. Also, Elmore Fist. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, pardon, uh, hold on, look. Oh, Hellboy Fist, yes, I was like, hold on, let me read what your dialogue, yes. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Because I'm trying to find something again, because... Of course... Of course it got rid of everything. I'm so sorry. Oh, the new Hellboy game soundtrack? Yep. Yeah. I need it. Where is it? Being held within the vaults. Being held hostage.
pieces. Oh, Corey, I'm so sleepy. I'm sorry. My sleep schedule hasn't fixed itself quite yet. I bet. Because while we were out of town, we were getting up at like 7 a.m. on average every day. Ew. Yeah. And I don't say normally that. get up till noon. I say that, but like, I'm gonna have to, like, mine has been reversed. Normally I get up at like before 7 when I was at work. Yeah. Um, and then these last two glorious weeks, I've been able to wake up at like 9 and 10. Yeah. Enjoy it while you can. Well, I'm already starting to fix it right now, so... Alright. Do you want to be prepared? Yeah. Corey, my friend Twig is at Disneyland right now. And I, I asked, um, two things. If they find Maleficent, please get pictures for me. And the second one is, please send me a video of the Hondo Onaka animatronic. I love yes. him so much. Um, he's broken! No! He's been broken for a couple of weeks. He's under a tarp right now. Oh no! Not my plans! Not my horrible wrinkle pirate man's! God, Hondo is so delightful. I love him so much. I I love how he's like, you're my friend. Like, we just met, but you're my best friend. You're my bestie. Yep. Despite how people are like, um, I would rather not be. <laughs> you're my bestie now, and I will uh, betray you in the next five minutes. <laughs> yes. Because that's just what besties do. Yeah, just besties. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're my bestie, but I will throw you under the bus at the first chance I get. <laughs> I am holding you in front of the bullets right now. Yeah, that, that's more sibling behavior. Yep. <laughs> oh, what a guy. It's gonna be a long time before I ever feel like being in the Star Wars again, but I will always love him. Same. I'm like, ugh, I. It's gonna be a while before I'm ready to go back into Star Wars. Yeah. But Maul, my beloved, also yeah. Grievous, my <laughs> other beloved. I, I'm pretty sure I told this story on stream before, but I'll tell it again because it's funny. Um, there was. One night where Twig and I were watching one of the Star Wars stage, stage shows at Disneyland. Um, and it was like, a, I think a dance-off between the light and the dark side. Um, and at one point, I like mid-sentence talking about something unrelated while we're watching this. And then Kid Fisto comes onto the stage and I just, I stop my sentence and I shout, Kid Fisto! Oh my god. And it was, it's like 3 in the morning, and I'm in an apartment at this time, and I full-on shout this. Like, it, it was involuntary. Oh my god, Matt. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, whoa, the demons jumped out. <laughs> yeah. I know there's that newer Kit Fisto figure that I need to get to. I don't know if it's out yet, but I need it. Yeah, he is the one thing that I will continuously get merchandise for until the day I die, or until they stop making merchandise of him. Yeah, that, that's me with Maul and Grievous. Yep. More so Maul, because the Grievous stuff is considerably more expensive. I wonder why. <laughs> um, probably because, like, the, all the moving parts. Yes. Like, in, like, the movable stuff. Yes. Because... 
if there's some if there's a figure of him with moving parts, everybody's going to want his arms to be able to split. Like yep. that's just given. Yep. If they don't let his arms split, what what is the point? That was exactly my I was just thinking that right now. <laughs> Damn Corey our wavelength. Yeah. I don't need 50 pieces, I just need, like, six. Oh, also, speaking of Twain meeting at Disneyland, uh, mm. they sent me a picture, not a picture, a video of uh, their daughter meeting R2-D2, and it was the cutest thing ever. Aww. There's a point in the video where, like, um, Ray jumps out from behind a pillar to, uh, Jump scare R2D2 and it's very cute. <laughs> Aww. Despite me um, not being crazy into Star Wars, I am not immune to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Understandable. Yep. I don't know if I've said this on stream before either, but there was. One time, years ago, in the height of my uh, Star Wars hyperfixation, I went on the hyperspace tour ride, um, and, like, it's so immersive and real-feeling, I started crying on the ride. <laughs> oh my god. I was bawling. Like, I was like, oh my, oh, oh my god, I'm in space. <laughs> C-3PO is right there piloting the ship. Oh my god. That is crazy. It is. I was, it was um, incredibly overstimulating, and that's part of the reason I started crying, because um, I have autism. <laughs> but yeah. I loved every second of it, and I know that whenever I finally get to go to Galaxy's Edge, I will also start crying immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to go to Galaxy's Edge, like, so bad. But mostly, well, okay, so mostly because I want to do, like, the make-your-own-lightsaber thing, even though, like, I know the Disney lightsabers are, like, kind of shit compared to the ones that I already have. Yeah. Like, their, their lighting system is not the best. Like, it, I believe, is not even, like, an, L, uh, a, an LED strip up it, yeah. if I remember right. Um, and then the sound is, like, the sound's all right, but... I don't believe they have smooth swing, and I believe their sound font is only for, like, if you get one of the, like, character lightsabers, like, their sound font is only that, yeah. that sound. Hello, Lore. Nice to see you. And, uh, no, Autism Bull is not my baby form, even though that would have been really smart, and I absolutely did not think about it. <laughs> Here, Laura, I'll go through the other forest for you real quick. The one I'm working on right now is, uh, the ultimate level. Or perfect level with Japanese. Hey, okay. here's, here's, uh, baby two. Or in training two. So a little, little basketball. Dunk him. And here's Rafid. It's the little guy! It's the... <laughs> and last night I finished uh, his champion form. This is really fun, I like this one a lot. <laughs> no! <laughs> show those to me, I asked for it, and I'm like actively trying to forget the Giga Chad work right on. Oh my god. You don't need to know what I'm talking about, Corey, it's fine. No, I don't, but just hearing Giga Chad work on, I'm like, oh uh, my god. I'll describe it. So, um, work on is like the highest level Digimon you can have without fusion. Um, 
Um, mm-hmm. And I guess in one of the movies, they go a level higher um, for some shit, and he looks awful. Like, you can see him walking around the street right now. Lord Dragon has the war brace on. He's got armor and stuff. Um, for some reason, his next level is, like, naked, but his body is kind of shaped like armor, but it's skin, and he has a human face, and I hate it. Mm. I hate it so much. I see, I see. It's bad. It's bad. And also, he has, like... An 18 pack. Oh my god. Like, way too many abs. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to do that. I don't know, Lord. I don't even think AI could come up with something that atrocious. <laughs> incidents at your day job or your night job. The bouncer job. That's good. Wouldn't want that. I went, uh, I was going to have the fist that's raised to be on fire, but I realized if I have fire coming out of the Hellboy fist, that would be kind of stupid, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, did it, did did he hit you? Or did did you dodge like what?
Damn. Banished for real. Ah, Disneyland update from Twig. They're gonna go be Darth Vader. Hell yeah. Also, last time I went to Disneyland, I, um, I asked one of the staff where Boba Fett was, and they're like, he's not out right now, but he does come out of, like, a secret door over there in the wall. If you want to go wait for him, he'll, he'll be out in, like, 20 minutes. And I'm like, absolutely. So I'm just sitting inside this building with an invisible door in front of me on this wall, just hoping Boba Fett comes out, and I'm the only one there waiting for him. I'm a full-ass adult. Oh my god. I'm like, I need to be Boba Fett. You're like, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just hanging out. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting, sitting here on the floor against the pillar. I'm, I'm just sitting because my feet hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not waiting for the love of my life. <laughs> There's a lot of secret doors in Disneyland. All I of bet. the buildings have one where an actor will come out. Stretch. I haven't been caught up with anything Star Wars um, ever since the, uh, I think, the last season of The Clone Wars came out. Mm. Um, I haven't watched anything since then. Well, um, the... I have not seen some of the i've not seen any of the mandalorian after or up to I don't, i've not seen season three uh beyond uh or like season three and anything after that but um the seasons like one and two and the book of boba fett were were fun i know that some people did not care for the book of boba fett because two of its episodes were dedicated to um or at least one of the one or two of the episodes were dedicated to like some of the story of the Mandalorian, but it did fill in the the holes of where people were like, um, so the wait season two ended. What now? <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, but yeah, seeing um, uh, uh, Tim, uh, I can't, Timara Morrison. I think that's how you yeah. say his first name. Seeing him be Boba Fett was like Foxy Grandpa. Yeah. Yeah, Lord, you also passed me a while ago. I haven't been caught up on Star Wars in years. And I refuse to watch the Ahsoka show, but I've heard it's not great, so oh, no. I don't care. Yeah, if I ever watch it, I won't. Um... This is a hypothetical. I will not be watching it on a streaming platform. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do not have a Disney. Like, I've pirated everything. Yeah. Don't say that up until you back out in Minecraft. <laughs> I won't say where. Well, you still said it. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> hypothetically, you might have pirated something, but not for real. Don't incriminate yourself on my screens. But I'd be doing Hondo Onaka proud. <laughs> yeah. Hondo by Do I get it from the source? What do you mean? <laughs> Love of my life. Dirt in my eye. <laughs> He's I so bet he smells <laughs> Oh, he probably smells horrific. Wait, hold on. Uh, this is a different topic, but since Laura's here, I have to show him. Laura, I've been, um, watching, uh, Ghost Adventures 
because I've been binge watching ghost hunting shows and it's been a while since I watched Ghost Adventures. And <laughs> I'm just on the first season. And there's this stupid what <laughs> Zach Bagans, what is this look? <laughs> what is this look? <laughs> Like, it doesn't help that the frame I paused on makes his face, like, look wrong. Yeah, but it's that just... is, like I said in the chat, um, anti-woman magnet. <laughs> yes, woman repellent. First woman magnet. <laughs> oh my he looks God. like a kid that wore trench coats to school. <laughs> uh, I, in, in response to that, I called Zach Bagans a guy who did make up, but he's real. Yeah. I love I love ghost touching shows so much. The early seasons of Ghost Adventures are so unhinged. Yeah. Because these guys don't know jack shit about what they're doing. They're just yelling at every ghost they see, and then they're surprised when something bad happens. There there was one episode, I do not remember which one it was, but there was one episode that made um my stepmom like stop watching Ghost Adventures because um, I think there was at least one episode that, like, they did have to fake some stuff because she's like, I, there was so clearly a string on that ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. When it comes to cable television, they need to have content. So, yeah. a lot of it is real mixed with fake. Yeah. Some of it mostly fake. Um, any ghost hunting show on cable television needs to be taken with a grain of salt. Yep. But I do. I, I am um, enamored by this enigma of a man. Yeah, like, bro, what the fuck? Listen, there's. This show is still going. It is still being filmed and produced. I know! Today. So, I told you the other day that I, I watched a clip from, I think I said this to you, um, I watched a clip from um, that comedian we watched the other day, and he was talking about Ghost Adventures, and he said there was 19 seasons. There's not. Do you want to know how many seasons there are? How many? 29. Oh my god. Oh my god, indeed. <laughs> That's too many. That's too many. That's too many. It is too many, but also that means I'm never gonna run out of this. Yeah. You see this right here? That's what yeah. life's all about, baby. My my favorite, I do not remember what episode it's from, but my favorite clip from Ghost Adventures is where like he's narrating it and he's speaking in like a very serious voice. And he's like, and then we found an adorable kitty kitty. <laughs> and then it and then it shows, and then it cuts to the audio of him like in the spot. He's like here, kitty, 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 kitty. Well, Here, you know kitty. What? I'm gonna find that clip right now. I don't think it'll do us for copyright, but if it does, I don't give a fuck. I think I found it. Okay, hold on. I gotta see. I just think it's so funny that he had to narrate that it was a kitty, kitty <laughs> in serious voice. And not like that or anything like that. Funny, dude. Okay, I'm changing windows on Discord so you'll be able to hear it. Um, and I gotta change source on, on Twitch here real quick. Okay, here we go. Evidence of paranormal activity inside this mine, but we do find an absolutely adorable kitty kitty. That is my favorite clip of I all time in Ghost Adventures. I have to find I have to find my favorite clip real quick. Oh, it's right here. Absolutely adorable kitty kitty. Hi, kitty kitty. I have to scroll real far back to find this one. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Are you a male or a female spirit? Once for a male, twice for a female. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. 
Stop. <laughs> Wait till I ask a question. Are you evil? Once for yes, two for no. Dreams in non binary confusion. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this quite straight real quick. That clip gets me every fucking time! Uh... <laughs> are you a boy or a, are you male or a female? Are you evil or are you good or evil? I'm good. <laughs> or if you can pick um like one calling card as a ghost like what's the one thing you do where people are like oh that's the ghost of war what would it be same question to you Corey. yeah um That's a good question. It's a good question. <laughs> you, you would just leave almost empty cups of water. That's fucked. Oh god. Um, I would probably be kind of along the same group of, um, that one vine where it's like, if there's anybody here, speak to us. Just a small town girl! Like, like, very yeah. loudly into the thing. Literally, I knew you were going to say that. As soon as I asked the question, I, I, I was looking at the vine in my brain. <laughs> oh my god. God. <laughs> Let's see, what would I do? Is the Justice City Boy is a really good one. Yeah. Like, I'm torn. If, if in a realistic answer, I would, I would want to be competent as a ghost and be able to answer questions in Spirit Box. But if I had to do something stupid and funny. Let's see. I would spank people. Oh my god. Really hard. <laughs> There's um, some episodes of Ghost Adventures where people talk about like getting slapped in the face by a ghost and you can see a handprint on their face afterwards. I want people to see my handprint on their ass. Oh my god. Even more so, I want it to leave a bruise. Oh my god. Ghost Adventures is such a fun time. But it's also not, because it's scary. <laughs> oh, who's that?
God, I do really like these snowflake uh, ornaments, but I don't need 36 pieces. <laughs> Coward. Well, I don't, I don't have room for a tree, and I don't really celebrate Christmas. I, it's more like celebrating winter. Yeah. Christmas lights and stuff this weekend, which I'm excited for because this is our first time doing that in our own house that we own with our own hands. Can't do much in an apartment. Mm, okay, hold on. Let's um, see. I I need opinion on which to get. What? I'm ready to give onion. Okay, whoop. Yep. Up the chat. Okay, this one. Or this one. I want to get the other. Just opened up the side chat and it's it's all just pictures of the wolf man. <laughs> Lon Chaney Jr., my beloved. Alright, let's see. I'm kind of leaning for the, the 15 piece one because that's a little bit more manageable. But I like the iridescent of the 36 piece. So I would say just the 36 piece also because it's cheaper and you get more. Yeah. But I do like the danglies of the 17 one. Yeah. But and, and it, if that's too many pieces, you can just save them for later. Yeah. And, like, when I get a bigger apartment, I can always get the 15-piece the one. Fuck yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna be getting the dangly things and, like, the, you know, those, like, strings of fake icicles. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get some of that and put that on, like, door frames. Or, like, oh, like at the top of door frames. Yeah. And then I also found some like, um, they're, well they say they're balls, but they're clearly discs, but they're like, uh, crystal, well, air quotes crystal, um, prism discs, 12 pieces for 9 bucks, which is why I say air quotes crystal. I don't think they're actually crystal for $9. Yeah. Balls. Then, balls. And then, uh, also, stuff for Indrid. For Indrid! Here, let me, let me show you what I'm gonna get them in private chat. Yes. Secrets.
I need you to. There we go. It was not wanting to. It was not wanting to like get out of the stream. And I'm like, no, no. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, this is what I'm getting him. Check on my bed. Fun. Right? I'm indoctrinating him in the Lego madness. <laughs> I already got him um, a little uh, little th set of like two lovebirds. And there's like a little cute little heart. And we... He built that while I built a, a macaw over call. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, there is... I think it's a dog hair. Ginger is one of Ginger's dog hairs. Is Like, there we go. Sorry, I had a ginger. I had ginger fur stuck on my phone. Yeah. And he, Andrew, is on his way home, so he may pop in. He is pretty tuckered out on socializing because of like the holiday though so he may not there is no pressure yeah yeah Save. Oh boy. See you later, Lore. Don't get shot. Is this a Lego holiday wreath? Excuse me? A Lego what? A Lego Christmas wreath. Oh. That sounds cute. I am not immune to Legos. <laughs> Here, hold on. I will put it in the chat for all to see. Or in the, at least in the stream chat. Kind of like the other one, the the one that says special edition that has like the that doesn't have the the decoration ornaments, ornament decorations, whatever the yeah, the more muted colors. Let's 
Oh wow, that's elaborate. Right? I love it. Nobody is immune to Legos. Except boring people. <laughs> I love Legos, I'm just not good at them because my hands can't do tiny things. Mmm. Very fair. Yeah. Okay, let's see. God, you need those like <laughs> those like little kid massive size ones. <laughs> yeah, for my own safety. Whoa. Foot bronze unicorn statue. What? Or it's like it's either two point five or it's either twelve point twenty five inches or two feet. I cannot tell. Uh, I see the description. Yeah, there is also one with a clock. Wow. You know, I love me some brass horses. Mm-hmm. Stands at my rapidly growing collection of brass horses. Yup. Oh, I've seen. I know you oh have. Oh my god. Here's another. Or way less. Horsey. Horsey. Stop showing me horses. I can't yep. deal with this. Oh okay, yeah, I still gotta take more pictures of my large grass deer that I got from my grandma. Um, because I yeah. can't find it anywhere online. I can only find ones like it. There's no label or anything. Hmm. So I don't know what artist or where it's from or anything at all. Hmm. I just know that it's an expensive item baseline. $16 is way too much for the scale of this thing I'm about to link you, but... Oh my god, fucking tiny. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. I don't know if I saw that in an empty store, I might not have self-control. <laughs> yeah. Which is a good thing that I didn't see it in an empty store. 
Agreed. Yeah, you see a miniature brass equine, and you, you and you black out. There is a lot of them I had to say no to on my trip because I'd already gotten the horse and I didn't need more. <laughs> <laughs> I can do one horsey, one horse per antique binge. Fair. I'm not even a horse girl. I was never a horse girl. I just <laughs> like pegasuses and unicorns now for literally no reason. Very fair. I was one and I... I'm not as much anymore. Like, it sneaks up on me. It sneaks up on me. And, like, I can, like, go off about horsies, but, like, I don't collect horsey stuff anymore. But I have a friend that does, and I'm slowly, like, mailing her the horsey figures I still have. Wow. The, specifically the briar ones, because she collects briars. And I have some of the older ones which are more expensive to buy now. And there's one that I have specifically that, like, I, I'm still on the fence on keeping or not because it's one that she's been looking for that going for sale now is, like, 200 bucks. Yeah. Um, or, like, 215 something like that, and it is a Grey Shire. I think I told this to you the other day, but uh, at the antique stores, uh, anytime there's a set of Beanie Babies, I have to dig through them because there is one Beanie Baby I'm looking for that I can absolutely yeah, yeah. buy online, but I know if I see it in person, I won't hesitate. Um, I have the end there. I want the beginning there, so I have them both because they belong together. Yes. The beginning bear is white with silver stars all over it. And at one of the antique stores, from a distance, I saw something that was like, Oh my god, is that it? Is that it? And I ran up on it. It's a... It's white with silver snowflakes on it. Mm. And I'm like, you can't do this to me! That's too close! Yeah, that's... that's cruel. I got so mad, I'm like, you son of a... Get my hopes up. God awful. This man is very red. Mm-hmm. How many shades of red can I fit before it becomes too much? The world may never know, because I'm still going. I think I'm gonna put it in blue jeans. He's got to have blue jeans. Oh my god. Digimon wear blue jeans! Wow. <sighs> oh god, I don't know why that 
that's so funny to me. Because it makes him look kind of like, at least like because you have like the the cuffed pants, um, kind of giving mom jeans. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Especially because it's like, if they were pants, they'd go like all the way down to his hooves. But they're like kind of up the leg, so it's more giving mom jean capris. So true. <laughs> Showing up to soccer practice to cheer on Timmy. <laughs> when you have your kids soccer practice at five, but you have, uh, I don't know, a metal concert at eight. Death metal concert in hell at eight. <laughs> okay, black colors done. Stretch time. Hell yeah. Looks like Indrid's home, so I'm gonna pop off because we're gonna watch Star Trek. Y'all have fun. You do. You have fun. Hopefully, you more people pop in. Yeah, it's a it's a slow day, but that's no problem. Yeah. Bye. Bye.
I forgot his tail. Oopsie. Baby boy, what you doing? Come here. I grab you. I grab you. Wah. Wah. I grab you. I pick you up. I have a baby boy now. Oh, sweet little man. Baby, 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 baby. Go. Let me save. I drink. Okay. I sell. Hope you're doing good. <sighs> nice of you to stop by. Stretch. A passage. Ha, ha, ha. 
see if I can... Uh, can I find a bigger heart? Yes. Yes, I can.
Thank you. He bought those jeans at Gap. Not sponsored. Stretch.
and the open parts. I'm closing. Send me pictures of your chicken farm. That sounds delightful. Uh, clay pots, I am doing okay. I got the stream in a hot minute because I've been out of town. I was thinking of maybe trying to do a traditional art stream sometime with my webcam face down on my desk. I'd be drawing on my sketchbook, but I've realized, um, my neck, if I'm just facing down at my desk for too long, would probably snap. So I can't do that yet, unfortunately. So we're doing more of bull today instead. Did you bull? to for a while. And to be fair, this specific set has been in progress for a little over a week, I think. I have this one and the Mega Evolution left to get through. It's gonna be fucking insane. My uh, computer is gonna be real mad about this sci fi all here in a bit. I sent you, um, I sent you a commission quote. I 
I remembered. Or should I say my fur reminders remembered. Fuck yeah. literally about to start streaming and then my phone was like hey you have to do that thing and i was like oh shit <laughs> yes because digimon wear clothes sometimes a lot of the times and i thought it'd be funny to put myself in blue jeans one and once I'm done with it I'll go through and show y'all close-ups of all the other evolutions so far. Once this one's done I just have that evolution left.
didn't really celebrate, at least not on the actual day. Um, I was out of town visiting some family for like a pre-Thanksgiving get-together, um, and we did a lot of fun stuff, went to a bajillion antique stores, a few nice restaurants, so that, that was technically our Thanksgiving, so on the day of, we didn't do anything. Christmas dinner when it gets here. Also, clay pots, I'll, I'll get to your question here in a sec. I'm so close to being done with this. And my mother and little sister drove from Texas up to that point. Um, long drive for them. Not a short drive for us, but theirs is longer. Uh, so we had a lot of fun time up in the mountains. Very old places. Lots of antique stores. Got stuff that I didn't need, but I have it now because uh, antique stores make me go feral. Oh, that's so nice. What a cool neighbor. You know, we, we got home Wednesday night and somebody was, um, uh, they were doing, like, overnight cooking. And it smelled so nice out in the neighborhood. And we were starving when we got home. We were like, oh, God, I'm going to pass out. Woo, the macarons. Oh, uh, what flavor. since before Pangea, and the entire mountain range is haunted, and cursed, and filled with cryptids, and everything you can imagine, both being crazy out the west. Um, every single day I was there, we had some weirdness happening, 
And like, I was expecting that and asking for it when I went, because I knew the Appalachian Mountains were haunted. And I'm like, ooh, I hope I have some weird shit happen when I get there, and boy did I get what I asked for. Are there guns dinos? No, sadly. That would be really cool. Yeah, I saw a good handful of ghosts on this trip, and everywhere we stayed was also haunted. One of our Airbnbs was a house built in the late 1800s, and oh boy, that place, that place haunted beyond belief. Lots of ghost stories from that trip, but I don't know if I want to tell them now or on like a ghost story dedicated stream. having a real, um, a real abnormal one on that trip, I should say. But I kind of, I kind of use that trip as like a, um, I don't know, getting closer to my spiritual side type of journey. I wanted to feel the old energy of the mountains, and boy did I. tell this though without too many details. Uh, there was one place where I saw a ghost. We were in a graveyard, of course, and um, previously I had been telling my mother about all the spooky stuff we've been experiencing in antique stores, and my mom believes in ghosts, but she doesn't like acknowledging them because it scares her, so she's just like, yeah, sure, whatever, rolling her eyes at everything I say regarding my vibes, sensing, and we get to the graveyard, I see a ghost, like, right in front of me. And at the same time, my mother also sees it, so I'm like, HA! Who's rolling their eyes now? HA! <laughs> Very vindicating. Mountains are fun. The Appalachian Mountains stretch like almost all the way up the US East Coast or near it. Uh, and it's been split ever since Pangea left, and I think the other parts of it are in Europe. You saw a ghost cat? Cool. I'm trying to. Uh, desensitize myself to my fears of ghosts, because ever since I was little, ghost stuff, like, caused massive anxiety attacks, um, for reasons I won't specify right now, it has to do with, uh, family passing when I was younger. Um, it's not anything too personal, I just want to save the, the good stories for a ghost story stream. But, um, I have been binge-watching a bunch of ghost shows, so that I can, it's like exposure therapy, so that I can stand my ground and not freak out anytime something spooky happens. Um, I'm doing a lot better. I'm not running from things. Um, though I will say, when I saw the ghost in the graveyard, my immediate reaction was to start crying. Um, not because I was scared, it was like involuntary. Like, I saw it, and my body was like, Oh my god! And then two seconds later, I was fine. I was like, that was so cool! So, I don't know what that was exactly. I hope I can get over that, because it's not fun having spontaneous 
his tears. Oh yeah! Getting the expertise. Uh, I've seen it makes people's eyes water, it makes them nauseous. Um, I don't get the nausea, thankfully, but I do get like my whole body tenses up. Oh, I cry so easily. It is so easy to make you cry, which is why it's really hard for me to get over the crying when I see a ghost thing. Okay, now that I'm done with that level, I can show you all the other ones. Here's, here's uh, in training two or baby two. Bull orb. I want to squeeze, squeeze him like a stress ball. And here's, here's his rookie form. Just a little guy. Just a little baby. I hold his hand. I hold his hand. And here's Champion. This one's really fun. I like this one a lot. I finished this one last night. And now we've got is ultimate level. I gave him an Alboy Fist because I can do what I want. Okay, I do have part of the Mega Level Sketch, and I have no idea if I'm gonna finish this today because it's kind of bonkers. If you could see what I mean. <laughs> A little bonkers, insane, crazy. Go crazy, go stupid. <laughs> Alright. Take a little stretch break. We answer Clay Potts' question. Because I have to go check my prices real quick. I do not have my prices memorized. I don't think I know a single artist that does. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, that actually jump scared me because I was tapped out. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take uh, a bathroom break and maybe grab a snack, and then I'll get back to this nightmare. Shoot! Alright, be back in a sec.
to have some peanut butter crackers now for a snack. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Dang it. having a little munch break while I stare at this sketch and try to comprehend what I was thinking. Thank you for the hug. Oh, hell yeah. That sounds amazing. Let's see where I'm going with this thing. Beast. I do not at all comprehend what I was doing here, so my brain has to take a second. I was on a roll like a week ago when I sketched this, and then I had to go to bed, and now that it's been a while, my brain's like, I don't remember what I wanted to do. <laughs> Sure do happen.
this music is, let's see, Digimon All-Star Rumble. I have actually never played any Digimon game ever. <laughs> I am an anime only fan as of right now. Nice. I imagine Digimon Bowl as being the big bad of some Digimon anime season. Hello, Dresden. Nice to see you. I'm excited to get to work on your commission on Monday. Ha <laughs> ha 
Also, I had a dream the other night and Agunimon was in it again. I don't know why Agunimon keeps showing up in my dreams, but that's why I'm still him on my little screen avatars. I actually drew Agunimon yesterday because I really love his design so much. Like, Rip Frontiers for being the worst thing in the world, but I'll be damned if a goody mod isn't the coolest thing ever.
You know what, I'll share my Agunimon stash from yesterday. Um, in my last dream, Agunimon had a motorcycle, and he had a motorcycle helmet that looked like Greymon's skull. His motorcycle helmet. There. I drew Agunimon. I wanna make, um, a variant of a Goody Mod called uh, a Goody Mod Rider Mode Showtime! Hi. Fred came right in as I was talking about a Goody Mod. Oh, God, hang on, let me leave again, actually. Why? No! <laughs> no! That's our boy, we're adopting him! That's your boy, you adopted him! We're both using him! This is drug custody, bitch! Oh, God. This is joint custody, but in the way that I'm like the family friend, so I have the title of uncle just by circumstance. <laughs> oh my god. And look who's here today, Dresden's here in chat. Hi. I can't believe... I can't believe I sent that message to you about Agunimon while you were on vacation. And I basically cursed your vacation. Which message? The the one about oh. having him be the dad. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I hate that I don't hate that idea, and that I could pull it off perfectly, actually. <laughs> and then you had another dream about him, where he yep. kind of fucks, to be honest. Yes! Why? <laughs> I cursed you with that. I don't know why it keeps happening. Like, I had the other Agunimon dream a while ago, where, um... Where you were him. Yeah, I was a Goonimon, but with, like, fire wings. Ooh. I could fly. It was fun. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I... I can't believe we... I can't believe we played ourselves, but more importantly, or I guess more, like, specifically, I can't believe I played you and thus played myself as a result. You're playing with fire. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I do like the human design that you came up with him for though. That one's really good. Thank you. I love making a dilf. Yeah, it's got like I'm playing. I'm replaying Monster Hunter World because I've been thinking about that game lately because it's a very good game. Uh, there's a character in it that like when you showed me that concept sketch, I was like, oh, oh fuck, that's who it reminds me of. It's this character, and I'll show you him because you'll Please like him. Do. Also, I'm working on, um, Bull's Mega Evolution right now. I finished the ultimate just a little bit ago. There you go. Ooh. It's a big boy. And I gave him a Hellboy fist because I am the god of my own life. <laughs> you could have given him two Hellboy fists if you wanted to. No, I wanted it to be more obvious because Hellboy only has the one. <laughs> Fair. Also, Claypot's a Goonimon isn't my favorite character. <laughs> he might just... as well be. I mean, he might be now just because he keeps haunting me. <laughs> uh, Claypot's, for context, if you're not aware, um, a Goonimon is from Digimon Frontier, which is the worst Digimon show by far. It sucks. It's so bad. But, like, as a character design, I love him. He's gorgeous, oh, yeah. flawless in every way. Phenomenal uh, character design. Oh yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. I love it. Um, but... Like, a written character? Bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> or, well, I like, guess, mid. He's okay. Yeah, he's mid in that he's not bad, but he's not like... I'm not endeared by him, you know? Yeah. The only parts in Digimon Frontier where the main character 
but the group is endearing to me is when he's being like a nice older brother to Tommy. Yeah. That's it. Which, I mean, it yeah. happens quite a few times, so that's a plus. But, um, he doesn't have much else going for him. Yeah. Which, like, I've heard, because obviously I have heard this from different, like, sources and reviews in terms of, like, what people have spoken about it. And, um, like, one of the things I've heard uh, people talk about in terms of changes that could benefit that show is if <laughs> either, like, either uh, Koji or Tommy were a girl, just so they have more than one girl in there. And I would say maybe not Tommy, because then you would miss out on that, like, older brother, younger brother dynamic that he and, uh, and, uh, oh god, what's the main character's name again? Takuya, yeah, there you go. Tucker you. Wow. Tucker you. Also, Korean, that is the character I just drew. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hold on, what the fuck? Hold on, I, I, I didn't show the human one. When I was showing this a second ago. Okay. Yeah. Here. So, I, I'm gonna preface Bull, you do not play Monster Hunter games. No, I've never you played have it in my life. You have no idea who this character is. I've no. never told you about him. I've never talked about him. No, not at all. Show him on the screen right now. I'm getting a bigger hold on. That's the same guy without a goatee. That's the, the same fuck? man? I saw you draw that and I was like, that bitch is in Monster Hunter World. <laughs> How did I do that? What's his name? His name is just the Admiral. He go. Uh, Monster Hunter doesn't really like name their main characters. They mostly just go by titles, and his is the Admiral. Well, he's handsome. He is very he, handsome. He has blue eyes too. Shut the fuck up. He's very handsome, and also, I'm not joking. He's like, he's like seven feet tall. Oh yeah. Like yeah. every. Everyone's character model in that game is relatively the same height because they're all like similar models. His is the only one that is like greatly upscaled to where he's at least like a head and shoulders taller than everyone around him. Which is so funny and appropriate because I imagine a good mod being like way taller than an average human. So, <laughs> uh, Dilf a good mod would be the same. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, and he's he's very white. Let me see if I can get a full body of him where he's like standing next to someone, so you can Please. actually get a good idea of his size. Yeah, I I am baffled by this. You know, it's like when when somebody's like, "Hey, your character looks like this other character." Sometimes that pisses me off. This is hilarious because I straight up just drew the same guy. For me, it depends. There are some characters where I'm like, "Thank you." It wasn't what I was going for, but I love that character and. It, like, there are very few characters that I would be like, fuck you, never say that to me again. Yeah, I, I've had, um, oh god, the worst one ever, um, was when a pair of my characters was compared to Hazmat Hotel slash Hell of a Lost characters, and I was like, I'm so, I'm sorry. so insulted right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking end of my life. Wow, life. your art style is so different, too. Yeah, it... So, it... Visually, the characters looked absolutely nothing alike. It was more of, like, the character dynamic that they had, and I'm like, even uh, then, like... why would you do that? Yeah... It was my like... boar and elk demons. They have, like, um... I based their dynamic off of the little two demon guys in Hercules that are... Hades henchmen. Oh yeah, pain and um... Panic, yeah. Pain and panic. panic. Pain and panic, yeah. Um, I based their dynamic on those two specifically. Like, there's even the, the tall skinny one and the short fat one. And yeah. the, there's a pair of characters in uh, Hell of a Boss that apparently had a similar dynamic. Um, and I'm like, they did not do it first. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. No, that's insulting. Like, rip to anybody who's into that show, but it's like kryptonite to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm also friends and mutuals with some people who work on that show. Shout out to them, they do amazing animation, I just can't get behind those character designs. 
Yeah, it, the art style is very off-putting for me. Yeah. Did you find a picture of him? Uh, I'm trying to look for some. There's way too many pictures or, like, images that are just him, like, standing on his own, or there's only a character, like, in far in the background, yeah. so it's hard to get a good scale. Well, either way, this is great. Oh yeah, he's very good. I, there's a, um, while I'm looking for a good comparison piece for him, uh, I did remember that there is also a character in the, um, so Monster Hunter Rise is the most current, like, console Monster Hunter game. Um, it had DLC called Sunbreak, which is very good. I really like that DLC. And it also introduced another character that is filthy. Oh boy. He actually has a name too because he had his name is Admiral Gallius, and I'll show him to you. I don't know how big this image is going to be. Oh, this is going to be a tiny image. Let me find a better one. This one's better. Okay. Uh. And I'm surprised they gave these characters names. I've never seen a Monster Hunter game do that before. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, he's very good. He also looks large. It's the the coat. He's relatively to scale with everyone else, but he does have a very yeah. like he does have a very strong presence to him. It's the shoulders for me. Yeah, it really is. It's the it's the mustache and beard combo that he's <laughs> able to pull off for me. <laughs> I'm stretching and my head tracking thinks I'm floating. <laughs> oh. Hydration. Hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> How's your day been? It's been alright. I've primarily just been playing Pokemon today and that's it. Nice. I think the next DLC comes out the first week of December. Oh yeah, that's soon, isn't it? Yep. Oh man. I'm going to ignore it till it gets here. I can't- I, my brain has no room for Pokemon right now. <laughs> oh yeah, no. For me, it's- I'm ignoring it just because I've grown- I've grown weary of Pokemon's nonsense, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so excited for it because it takes place in Unova. And there is the, yeah. the slim chance of Unima characters cameoing. Oh my god, don't put that energy out there. I'm putting it out there, it's my favorite generation. It is, it's mine too, but like... I... the fear... what a fear in my heart. <laughs> and you're so supreme. Aside from, like, my characters being compared to franchises I despise, it yeah. pisses me off more when somebody compares my character to something and they look absolutely nothing alike. That's totally fair. Yeah. I I don't remember what the character was, but when I made Bull, somebody compared them to uh, some video game or anime character, I can't remember. And, like, they both had fire on them? Yeah. And, and horns, and that's about it. <laughs> wow, Bull. Speaking of Unova, you really give some Embor energy, huh? Yeah, wow! <laughs> <laughs> said that one's even closer than what they said. Embor even oh. has, like, similar color palette that I do. Yeah. I I usually am good about that stuff where I'm able to laugh it off just because like there like I said there are very few franchises or things that will actually get me like upset if I get a comparison to it uh this is the best I can do in terms of like finding it's a it's a video so, but like literally the first five seconds already gives you the idea of how big he is because the the character on the left is a uh, 
you know, customizable playable character, but there's no like height scaling or anything. So that's generally the size everyone else is. And then he's on the right. Wow. Yep. Wow, he's even more handsome and full body. Yep. I love that he's got his arms out. Like that. Yep. Oops. I'm in love with him. Ha ha ha. <laughs> imagine okay. imagine the horror that I can do by like getting you into Monster Hunter. I it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it can't happen. <laughs> <laughs> there are some things many things I know I'm super big into, but I can't let myself be into them because it'll I know. Me insane. <laughs> I know, but just imagine the, like, the damage I could do if I did. I can like this one guy from afar, that's how far I'm going right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. I, I love every game that involves, like, monsters, whether it's catching or fighting them. Uh, and Monster Hunter designs especially are phenomenal, not the least of which is because, like, as the years have gone on and the like consoles have gotten, uh, the systems that the games are on have gotten more hardware intensive where they can actually do a lot more. Yeah. Um, they've changed up monsters' appearances and movesets to a point where they are there are like multiple official books that actually talk about the different monsters from different games as being like varying like convergent evolutions of one another. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, uh, a monster in, like, one of the early GameCube games that had the ability to fly that doesn't have that from, like, the Wii U games onwards, like, the official book will literally note that the monster from, like, this region of the world, like, evolutionarily has the capability for flight, while the others seem to don't. So it's very much a, like, specific to that kind of region type of, uh, type of evolution adaptation. It's neat. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, especially because it does the thing that Pokemon will never do, which is explain how bullshit about their fantasy creatures works. <laughs> I love. What else do you want? <laughs> I love. I love reading seven generations worth of Pokedex entries that tell me that Pseudo Wudo looks like a tree, but is actually made of rocks, and nothing else about him. <laughs> I I love it. I say through gritting teeth. It's my favorite thing. Let Sudo have hobbies. Leave him alone. <laughs> I just want to know how he functions. Okay. He's like a stitch bug. <laughs> I wish they would say that even. They don't have stitch bugs. <laughs> they well, don't. They say elephant and elephant and death entries. So. Who knows what they have? Who knows what they have? They won't even confirm what people eat outside of, like, berries. They won't even confirm if Slowpoke Tail is ethical or not anymore. They eat, they eat Pokemon! That's canonical! Okay, good. That's canonical in the newest game! You can go to restaurants and buy food that's made out of, um... Uh, that new crab Pokemon. Cloth. Yes. You can buy cloth sticks. Ooh, delicious. Yeah, they straight up just eat Pokemon. Okay, good, finally. We finally have some, like, in-game confirmation that Pokemon equal animal equal yum. Also, in Pokemon Sleep, there are... that you gather ingredients to cook for your Snorlax, and one of the ingredients is Slowpoke Tail. Okay, cool. So people <laughs> and Pokemon eat that shit. Alright, cool. We can put the debate to the rest. <laughs> it is fine to eat Slowpoke Tail just so long as they're ethically sourced. We get a shame they grow back. Yes. And knowing Pokemon logic, they probably grow back within like an hour. Just check into the Pokemon Center, it'll be fine. <laughs> I have no idea what I want to do from the waist down for this dude. Uh... When you give it pants in the other one, I don't know if you want to keep with the, like, 
the the leggings type of imagery, or if you just want it to be a pussy out kind of look. Well, I, I mean, I'm probably gonna make it more armor than pants. Because hmm. it's, it's just like fire in the middle right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love. I love those posts that are like, uh, <laughs> outfit combination, or like, outfit theme, and it's everything except like, any lower body wear, and someone responds. So, are there pants to this, or is this just a pussy out kind of look? Yep. I also wonder what Tangaloo would taste like. Probably like a plant. He probably is like, uh, squash noodles. I feel like he tastes like aloe vera a little bit. Like that aloe plant. That would make sense too. Like there's a there's a restaurant nearby that um they do Thanksgiving stuff um each year so you can order in like sweet <coughs> potatoes or um like their their special kind of stuffing which is a um an apple and sausage uh based stuffing uh it's pretty good but legit when I bit into it it does taste a weirdly a, a lot like hamburgers. And I feel like, I feel like Tangla's vines are that kind of situation where depending on what you cook it with, it could str it could very strangely taste like a hamburger. Mayhaps. <laughs> I want to slurp them like noodles and find out what's beneath them. <laughs> Save him. Slurp. I want integrated legs, or do I want standing straight legs? Let's see how both look. There's also the the Rajang Dresden, which is like a cross between a bull and a gorilla. It's got hooves. Speaking of it's got hooves. This weirdly feels like a, a plantigrade leg type. Yep. Ooh, but maybe the, the like foot shape you have are metal kind of boots or metal legging parts. What? Maybe the foot shape that you had before were like either boots or metal legging parts or something like that. Yeah, let's see. Either way, whatever the final result is, I'm also going to put this one into the washing machine and leave it in there overnight. <laughs> gym and I fear for my life because I don't have any ground types but I do have Pokemon that have ground type moves and I'm scared. Be strong. I'll see your mic is a little quiet. Oh, let me turn my gain up real quick. How's that? That's better. Okay. Yeah, I, 
I'm afraid. This run, this run has been so touch and go. Every time I catch one Pokemon, I lose like two others. I, and it's always to the dumbest things. It's always something that shouldn't crit that gets a crit and kills it instantly. I'm just trying to think if I want any more fire to shoot it out from other parts of his body for the way down. It can be like implied. In the way that uh that uh Vritramon, you know, Agunimon's evolution can emit fire from its joints and ligaments. Still one of my favorite things. Like there are so if I could pick out the good parts of Frontier, that's one of my favorite things, is just his body rattling and shaking as he emits fire from every joint. And making it look as painful as possible. Yeah. God, Agunimon's entire evolution line is so nice. It makes me so mad. Yeah. Kaiser Greymon fucks. Yeah, oh, it's really good. Also, I found out, uh, <laughs> Kendo Garurumon's original Japanese name is Garumon. <laughs> what the fuck? It's supposed to be like, like Garmer from Norse mythology, but also a little bit of like Garu in the same vein of like Garurumon and such. Sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, like man. Garm Garmon in a way. Incredible. I know. The I want to know what the decisions were for the name changes for the English version because they're so like their Japanese names make sense in English like. They didn't need to turn Fairymon into Kazemon. Why'd they make it Japanese in English when in Japanese know. it is already in English? I don't know. It's so weird. Also, the only. Be oh, oh, sorry. Because of the, like, changing names in English, there are two Kumabons and two yep. Mercurymons. Yep. I hate it. Yeah. Weird decision. Yeah, but like the the one that at least makes sense for me is um is Beetlemon, JP's Digimon, because like Beetlemon and Metal Kabuterimon. Yeah, I can I can get behind that as like making a little more sense than uh than Blitzmon and um Ah, I forgot what its uh, actual name is. Like, Bulgmon, I think? I don't remember. I have no idea. But yeah. So, it also, it also, subsequently, as a result, um, makes uh, tie-ins to Digimon that they don't actually have any relation to at all. Yep. For sure. One of the decisions of all time. <laughs> I copy and paste in this hand because I'm not drawing that bitch again, but it at least turned it into a fist. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna 
already cleaning up parts of this sketch and then relining some of it. The, the helmet, his head, when I zoom in, is scraggly as fuck, so that's gotta be redone. <laughs> but, um, his hands I can clean up. I gotta do something with the feet, I just got basic shapes out. Yeah. Ugh, oh, be safe. Take a uh, pain cream intermission. Pain. Pain cream. Not you. <laughs> Me when I inflict psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if I told you, but I got my MRI results back and they didn't find anything. Which Good. pisses me off, because I'm like, then where's the pain coming from? I don't know. Phantom Why does my pain. neck hurt? Phantom pain? I don't know. Well, it's definitely not that. <laughs> my, I'm thinking it might be something where I have, like, something in my shoulders that stretches the pain up into my neck. Um, but they didn't ever on my shoulders. And I have to draw with a shoulder brace on all the time. Could be it. So I'll ask the doctor if that's a possibility the next time I go in for my follow up because there's something wrong. Come on! <laughs> there's something there. It hurts! <laughs> there, uh, when I went to get my MRI, I had to fill out the paper. And there was a section that was like, is there anything else important you'd like to note about your condition that wasn't on these options? And I just wrote, uh, oof, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they got a chuckle out of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oof, ouch. Oof, ouch. Good news about my MRI is, um, so, I, I didn't, they didn't tell me this till after I finished, which I'm glad for because it would have psyched me out, but, um, getting an MRI on your neck is apparently one of the hardest ones to sit through because you have to go head first into the MRI machine, and that's where, like, claustrophobia problems get really bad. Oh, I see. And also, like, the sounds of an MRI machine are so weird. It is one of the weirdest sensory experiences I've ever had. Mm -hmm. But the, when I was pulled out of the tube, they're like, wow, you did amazing. Uh, the, the neck is usually like one of the most difficult MRIs, especially for a first time. And I'm like, thank you. I'm glad I got a good grade on getting an MRI. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know I would fall asleep through an MRI like that. I mean, you can try. Like, the, uh, it's incredibly loud. I mean, I fall asleep when I'm at the dentist and they put drills in my mouth while that's happening. That's true. But as somebody who has sensory problems with drills, I can tell you that uh, MRI is a completely different sensory experience. Fair. It's like... I cannot even recreate the sounds that bitch makes, and it's just constant, <laughs> like, it's, it's different sounds every two seconds, too, and it, for me, it's circled around my head, and it was so loud, like, you're wearing headphones to block out the noise, and it's playing music, um, and even then, it's loud as fuck, so I, like, I don't want to know what it was like without headphones in. Yeah, it's fair. It was so, so much. But now I know I, I can handle it. Yeah, you did it. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm proud of you too. Real quick. 
I love my I I love my gay friends, but at least three of my gay friends have told me that the Pokemon type they want is Ghost, and I'm sitting here like, yes, I guess I'm running a Ghost type team, huh? <laughs> You, Gray mentioned either Ghost or Fairy, and then my best friend uh, wanted either Shroomish or any Ghost type, and I was like, uh, <laughs> I was just like, sure, but in my mind, I was sitting there like, fuck, I better find a Shroomish before I find a Ghost type. Listen, at least my Ghost type is one of the most OP Pokemon in existence. <laughs> That's fair. I'm a team sweeper. I'm just hoping I can catch a Cyclozar. Good luck. I should be able oh, to use there. Oh. you realize the Pokemon universe really is just the regular world, but here's a dog that can breathe fire, huh? Yep. Dang. <laughs> like, Legends Arceus, it makes sense, because the era that it's set in, I could believe that they're not capable of, um, of doing anything fantastical. They're just trying to survive. They can barely build a town. They're trying so hard to there. Yep. But like, we can do better in a modern age than just here's a city, but now here's a city with uh, a Luxio in the sidewalk. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> Dude, I want to know what, like... <laughs> I want to know what shit posts are like in the Pokemon universe. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, what next level stuff are they on that we can't- that we just can't achieve? <laughs> Think of the amount of trainers that have, like, a Psychic-type Pokémon that they have sitting in front of a game and just, like, actively being better at the- at them than their actual trainers are. <laughs> like, I wanna see- Go ahead. I was just gonna say, I want to see an Alakazam beat someone's ass at a fighting game. <laughs> My immediate thought when you said, like, Pokemon World shit posts is you remember Fight Game. Yes! Uh, I was thinking, like, what would they have that's similar to that? And I was thinking, uh, like, nose passing where everybody stands and everyone faces north. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> just people making like videos of themselves walking through uh, large open fields that have holes in them and being like, oh man, there's a lot of holes here. There's probably an earthworm or a bunch of diglets just digging around and then someone pops their head out from one of the holes like, nope, just me, I was hungry. Oh my god, imagine the Pokemon World Discourse. Yeah, because it, it, it's either they're oppressed or they're elitist, or both. <laughs> yeah, because like, literally, like the whole point of having a Pokemon is because humans were not strong enough to be able to face off against even like, a baby form of one of these things. And now you just have humans that are literally capable of doing the things that some of these types are capable of doing? Like, how is there not- how is there not more active discussion about that? Legit- know. Legit, that one- that one dude from the- the DLC in Sword and Shield is out there physically p picking people up with his psychic powers. Man. Man, I don't know. What's the threshold? Is this genetic? Like, are you born with it? Or does it just happen? Can yeah. It be, can the psychic powers be bestowed upon you, warlock style? I don't know. Yeah. And, like, aura power is a thing as well. Yeah, so, like, that makes me wonder how many, how many Pokemon types, in terms of what they're capable of, are humans capable of doing themselves that they just either haven't figured out or we just haven't seen yet? Oh, also not to mention that a lot of ghost types are dead people. Yes, that too! Shit! Okay, so humans are a majority normal type. But they can be normal yes. fighting type or normal psychic type as well. Yes, which implies they, that he... When they Go die, ahead. they drop ghost types. Yes, and being normal fighting would also imply that they are capable through training of being able to achieve feats of strength that Pokemon are able to because we know that we know that Drayden literally wrestles with his Pokemon which means he's strong enough to be able to like go mano a mano with a Pokemon yeah oh uh, yeah uh, <laughs> could be on Dresden. you know what maybe this has something to do with human Pokemon crossbreeding Maybe this has something to do with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> and then Ditto can become humans! Shit, you're right! I hate that so much. Like, like, okay, the, the crossbreeding aside, like, putting that on the side, because I know the obvious discussion is, he could just become a human, and human can fuck it and breed, but like, putting that on hold, like, as a pin, the concept that Ditto transforms into Pokemon, but like, the implication was usually always just Pokemon, because it's also a Pokemon, and like, we were under the assumption that humans and Pokemon are different enough that it couldn't become a human. But no, they can become a human! So what does that mean? Well, in that universe, uh, Arceus made both humans and Pokemon. So humans is Pokemon. But like, that's that's where it gets into the mat. That's where it gets into like the sciences that I want to know about by the anthropologists that are trying to figure out like what the absolute distinction between a human and Pokemon is, other than like humans are capable of uh, of verbal speech. Because Pokemon are also technically capable of that, just not on, like, in the way that humans do with each other. Like, there is a language barrier, technically. And then they can teach themselves how to talk. Yes! And Meowth can teach himself how to talk! Mewtwo has psychic powers that he can, tele like, speak through with telepathy! Most legendary Pokemon can talk. Or I guess, like, the big ones. Yeah, the, like, the big significant ones. Yeah. 
or they like they they telepath with like in Legends Arceus with the with Adam and and, uh, and Iris how they get like mental wave communication with um with Palkia and Dialga. Yeah. Shout out to that guy uh, that you just mentioned, Dresden. Good for him. <laughs> Yeah, I did that side quest. That one was very interesting. But yeah, I want to like... Fuck, dude. I... Here's the thing. In my real life now, I don't know what I want to do with my life. And that's fine. I have a lot of time out. In the Pokemon universe, a million percent, I'm probably like a professor or studying to be one because I want to know what the distinction is between a human and a Pokemon other than like, human can't do flamethrower, but like, no, we possibly could do flamethrower. What is the human's egg group? <laughs> what, <the fuck? laughs> what is our egg group? <laughs> Oh, my hurts now. Oh my god. I just like I need to know. And and like with the Zarude movie, we know that a human that is raised by Pokemon can understand what Pokemon are saying. Which means there is technically a spoken language that you can learn and comprehend in Pokemon. Say humans have better stats than a sunflora, unless they're a baby. <laughs> yes, agreed. <laughs> so I'm also willing to believe they have better stats than a sunflora. Yeah. I yeah, that's another. Oh man, imagine. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to remember what it looked like. It, it kind of looked like a Pokemon that already existed, so I guess my brain didn't store it. It was like an Eldegoss. It was shaped like an Eldegoss. Oh my god. You wanna try Jesus Christ. What was that? Oh! oh. Fuck! Sure did I heard. not. But he jumped down from my windowsill and he smacked the wire for my webcam. Yeah, I heard the I heard the jingle of his collar. Okay, um this is not ideal. <laughs> nope, nope. Take your time. Take your time and I'll ramble on about this while you do that. Yeah, I there I will I understand it's definitely supposed to be like world building through gameplay, but it does bother me that just like okay. Pokemon do have, like, differing stat pools that determine that one is better than the other. Because, like, every time I hear about the the Rampardos theory of, like, a Pokemon can be really strong, but if it's not fast enough, it might as well be, like, thrown into the trash. I'm just sitting there, like, fucking, I wish they just had, like, relatively the same stats or that you can just fully train up every single one of the stats so there's no difference other than typing and moveset. That would dumb down the competitive scene way too much. Here's my hot take. Maybe the competitive scene should be a different game genre entirely. <laughs> God, Here's my hot... Knocking at your door. Here's my hot take. The reason the competitive scene still exists in mainline Pokemon games is that they can make money, because if they made their own just like proper official battle simulator, like an official Nintendo Pokemon Showdown game, uh... They would only need to sell the one copy and then update it, but also they could just make the one copy and then make a new copy with it updated like they do with the Pokemon games. I mean, they already do that. Yeah. There's like that, uh... Uh... I think, is it like a League of Legends type Pokemon game? Well, no, 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 no. That's, that's for like... That's like a Dota. I'm talking about like the actual competitive scene. Honestly. Yeah, like, you know Pokemon Showdown. I don't need to explain that to you. Yeah. Like that, but just slap the official Game Freak Nintendo seal of approval on it. Yeah, I do not think you play bots. Yeah, like... Oh yeah, MOBA, sorry. Yeah. Dota is... Dota is a MOBA. 
But yeah, uh, that's my hot take, is that they should just make the competitive scene its own, like, separate game title, and then make the games... Make just make the games like JRPGs. Just make the games like regular JRPGs, so I can take my favorite monsters and max out all their stats to 99 and not have to care. Well, if you're not competitive, like you can already do that. Yeah, but like, I'm still not gonna take a Sun Current to the Elite Four with me. Coward. <laughs> but you get where I'm coming from, right? I do, I understand. I yeah. Kind of up. Oh. I was sitting way too low. There we go. Yeah, I just want... I just want, like, an SMT-style experience where I can encounter a level 99 Sunkern and be scared out of my freaking mind because I know it's gonna be the most OP thing ever. When are they gonna do a uh, seven star sun current raid again in the new games? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I like about the raids. They're so crazy difficult to defeat. And they can be like any Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. If it like if it functioned better, it would be so satisfying. With only a slack off, yeah. Like, there, there's so many things that already go into just the concept of a Pokemon in terms of battling, that the idea that they also have a stat pool to determine how good they are in terms of being able to do those things is bewildering to me like it it my my designer brain is just like i get it conceptually but why in practice like for what purpose <laughs> gotta get good and also for the, I don't... the the speed issue there are ways around that trick routines yeah <laughs> trick routines are a headache and a half yeah. Either way, I'm just like, don't build... Stop building the base game to include the, like, meta-competitive. Just build your own, like, meta-competitive game separate title from the mainline games. Well, I mean, you say that, but we kind of have the opposite. Where, like, the mainline game has a lot of competitive focus, but then we have a bajillion side games that are story focused. I know, but I want an official main game. I want an official- Well, Legends Arceus has you. I know, and that's what makes it the most upsetting. My favorite thing about Legends Arceus was seeing all the videos that people made about its combat being bad, and meanwhile I'm sitting there like, have y'all literally never played an actual JRPG? Because Pokemon is not a JRPG, and this is just like, what if Pokemon were a JRPG, finally? I love it so much. I love it. Me too. It. The combat was an adjustment, but it's not impossible. Shout out to Wolfie VG who had what I can only describe as a mental breakdown trying to explain why Legends Arceus's combat would be bad for like actual competitive use. I think I've seen that video, yeah. Like I sat there and every minute was him gradually getting more and more frantic and I was just sitting there like, this man knows this game is built single player because it's a more of a JRPG, and they probably won't use this system in actual competitive, right? <laughs> Dresden, you say that, but I, literally every single Mystery Dungeon game is my favorite Pokemon game. Yeah, oh god, Mystery Dungeon good. <laughs> when I finish having brainworms about our Digimon comic, I eventually want to have brainworms about my Mystery Dungeon comic so I can actually fucking write it. God, Steve, I do, and I'm sending you straight. Thank you. Too bad the brain works about Digimon are fresh! I know. They're fresh and eternal. Yep. Yeah. 
I love. Like, I think, I think the only thing that could have actually made <clears throat> Legends Arceus even more like a proper JRPG is if you could send more than one Pokemon out to fight on your team instead of it. Like, don't get me wrong. The concept of me sending out my my absolute manlet of a Hisuian Samurott against like three Pokemon all at once and decimate is very fun and a good power trip. But also, the point of a JRPG is that you work with a team of at least like three to four members active in a battle, and I'm working with a roster of six, five of which are taking a nap waiting for the first yeah. one to be finished. Like, at least I understand if you're out in the wild and you get ambushed by a shit ton of Pokemon. I get, yeah. I get that, but when you're facing against a trainer and they can put more than one out at a time, I'm like, yes. why can't I? Yeah, literally there's no rules yet! They just <laughs> discovered how to capture a Pokemon, there's no yeah. rules about battling yet! Yeah, it's not fair! It's not fair! Don't, don't let them do it if I can't do it, pussy! Like, I, like, I get it, the, the conceit is that you are, like, a 15 year old from the present, so you grew up learning the rules of Pokemon battle, but also, you're a 15 year old from the present, there's no way you haven't sat there in your room being like, what if I just sent, like, six of my Pokemon out to battle at once? And then you get sent to the past, in literal lawless land, where you can do anything as a Pokemon battle, and you just send out one at a time! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Fucking that, Gen that 5 like my, my one major criticism of the battle system is I should be allowed to go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Gen 5 introduced triple battles, and for what? I miss triple battles so much! I miss- I miss Charles the Heartbreaker. <laughs> I- I miss- <laughs> I miss when triple battles were still in 3D games and X and Y, and if you- If you had a Moltres out during a triple battle, it made the entire game lag on everybody's hands <laughs> because it couldn't handle the animation of its fire. <laughs> Pokemon is a great functional game, and it always has been. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon has been without flaw ever since its inception. <laughs> inception. I'm trying to think of what to do for the knee pads here. <sighs> That's a fun headcanon. Yeah. And also, weakness policy septile is atrocious, and I'm glad <laughs> you did that, Claypot. Um, my, uh, Arceus headcanon is that it's like, there isn't just one Arceus, it's like there's a, there's a bunch of them across the galaxy and they operate like a hive mind. Which is why you're allowed to catch them. I can believe that. Isn't that like actually can in a game that you're only capturing like a fraction of its power or whatever yeah, I guess um cause there are moments where Arceus like shows the batshit stuff it can do and I'm like why are you like why are you here then <laughs> why are you letting me put you in this ball why are you like this why aren't you capturing these Pokemon why can't you fix the problems of the past why do I have to do it Oh man, I want a new headcanon now. You know what? If there is another Legends game, I want a headcanon that Arceus is just making a human Sona so it can go out and have a Pokemon journey. I love that. That's a fun one. And that's why you start the game with a character creator, because you're Arceus trying to figure out what your human Sona is going to be. What your yeah. trainer Sona is. Yeah, you do it like, um... A memory loss situation when you're coming, you come into existence, you don't know where you're from. Yeah. Also, <laughs> rip to the protagonist in Legends Arceus, they just don't get to go home. Boy, I, I wanna, I wanna believe so hard that they they can just choose to whenever they want because they have the gods of time space distortion and literal god himself yeah it's just they don't let you <laughs> you can you can tell it to like uh you, you can tell Arceus to like i don't know judgment 
But it's like, yeah, can I go home? It says, nah, that's not a Pokemon move. <laughs> oh. RC is looking at you like, hey, K, do you want to go home yet? Go ahead. A second, I'm sending a message. Okay. Hey, K, do you want to go home yet? I don't know. I don't have homework here. Kid, I've watched you the entire time. You don't have school anyway. <laughs> I'm a multi-dimensional being for, that literally created the universe, and even I know that school doesn't exist in your universe, really. Yeah, I mean it does, but it doesn't. Yeah, it, it's like summer camp. You can sign up for it, but you don't have to go. Oh, dude, last night I dreamt, uh, I, I had a Pokemon dream, and I had a Giratina, and I was checking its move roster, and it had a move I hadn't heard of before. Called an um, uh, and it was like perfect shot or direct hit or something like that. And <laughs> it, it, I, I don't know how to describe this properly, but when I use it, it was like you bugs bunnied your enemy into falling for like um, like a military formation, and then. You sit a cannon right in front of it, and you say, What's that? And they turn to the side, and you, you get them with the cannon. <laughs> you smack them with the cannon, the cannon shoots right at them point blank. It's too far <laughs> away from them. Oh my gosh. It was a super elaborate move set up for the stupidest thing, and I'm like, This, how? This is great. <laughs> <laughs> God. The clay punch, you're trying so hard. You tried so hard. Your clay pots. I shall feed. <laughs> <laughs> go, clay pots, go! Go, go, go! Go, go wild. We're crazy, they're Jump. stupid. Jump! Yes! <laughs> Do it no no jump, no jump. Yay! Jump, yeah jump, 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 jump. Go 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 uh, Oh come on you got it Yay! Yeah! You know what hold on check this shit out Yeah, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> The fact they're Kudamon right now makes me think of, like, picking it up like a ferret and just throwing it into a pile of pasta. <laughs> you know that video of the shark that accidentally got caught in a fish net? And it's on that boat, and it's just like going crazy, trying to fit as many fish in its mouth as it can. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> I can't breathe, I'm sure shit gonna eat. Yeah, it's like they're, they're trying to drag it off the ship and back into the water, and it's like struggling against them to eat more fish. <laughs> Is this heaven or hell? <laughs> I don't know, but it's choosing not to breathe. <laughs> you have enough fish in your mouth. Go back in the water. Okay. Yeah, baby! I still don't know what to do for the knees. Uh, I did little bull faces on the last one for the knees that I don't want to do it again. Especially because I put them on the shoulders this time. Mm. Is it time for random shapes? Probably. 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 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
the world's worst ASMR experience. <laughs> I lean into the mic. I ca I cackle my horrid little lion cackle as loud as I can into the mic. Yeah, like you're about to lean into my ear and whisper it. Yeah, the, the slow build up to me saying something awful really close to the mic. <laughs> Omelette du fromage. Hey, you don't have to come into work today. Oh, thank God. We have enough staff, but it, it, it's slow today. You can stay home and sleep in. <laughs> Stop, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh, God, there's someone out there who needs to hear that right now. Go clip it, send it to people. <laughs> I, 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 I'm your boss, but I'm actively promoting a healthy work environment roleplay ASMR. Hey, I noticed that you haven't taken your lunch break yet. You should really go eat. I don't know, but I have this. Okay. I can handle the register. Go get me some nutrients. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's your first day back from your trip and already we're unhinged. Man, my trip was wild as fuck and I, there's nothing for me to be but unhinged. Oh, you have to tell me your ghost stories. I do. I think I will here in a second. Yeah, finish up what you're doing here. Yeah. Fuck, I'm terrified of what I'm gonna have to- I still- I have to face this electric type gym, but I still have to face- Eventually, Larry, and that's the one I'm most scared of. <laughs> Larry! Because <laughs> that motherfucker can hit. Yep. Speaking of men who need to be told a day off. Yep. You look so dead inside. <laughs> men would literally rather work overtime as a gym leader and elite for therapy. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Okay, I think that's acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acceptability. Okay, I'm gonna put on my hand brace for a minute while I tell the story. Because, yeah. um... It's gonna take a second to get through. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking of saving these ghost stories for, like, um, a ghost story Twitch stream, but I can just oh. save them again. I don't give a fuck. I was gonna tell you anyway, and they're right here, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's that or we watch Ghost Game. Yeah. I need a mint. Mint. Explained earlier to those who are not aware, but the entire Appalachian Mountains, whole thing's haunted. Ghosts and cryptids galore. Place is ancient and knows more than you do. Um, so, our activity of choice when we went to um, the area we were at was to go antique shopping, as we love antiquing so much. Me and my brother do. All he tolerates it. Um, and my brother and I are like the same level of sensitive to ghost stuff. Um, so whenever we go to antique stores, there's like, we'll walk to a certain part and we can feel the vibe shift because there's either a haunted object or a ghost sitting there. Um, there are a number of moments like that. But there was one moment in one of the stores where I thought I saw somebody in the corner of my eye. 
and I looked over and there was like a lamp on a stand. So I was like, oh, it was probably just that. And then my brother goes over and stands where I thought I saw somebody and he was like, oh my God, the air is like crazy heavy over here. And I was like, oh. So I did see something. <laughs> And I confirmed with the owner of the store. I was like, hey, do you ever have, like, spooky stuff happen here? And she was like, oh, yeah. I worked here 12 years. It's, it's all the time. <laughs> I love when I get confirmation from the um, store owners and employees. Because it's, it's validating. <laughs> and sometimes a place can just have weird electrical and fuck with your head. But other times, that is a ghost, baby. Yeah. So that's not the crazy stuff yet, but I'm building up to it. Um, every other antique store we go to, we get the spooky vibes. Um, there was, the first place we stayed at was like um, an Airbnb cabin, and both the bedrooms, the bedrooms were upstairs. And the one that was going to be mine, um, it has like one of those slanted roofs that makes the roof feel really small. And I thought it was just like the weird claustrophobic vibe I got in there that I didn't like because I was like, I don't want to sleep up here. I'm going to sleep downstairs on the couch. This room makes me uncomfy. Um, but then later in the night, all the lights are turned off upstairs and I'm on FaceTime with Indra and Corey telling them about my day. And I'm like, let me show you around the Airbnb and show you the room that was going to be mine. And I'm going upstairs and it's after dark. And as, as I get closer to the room, I feel like my shoulders getting heavier and I open the door to the room and as I pass the threshold you know when you get chills and your hair stands up? Yeah. This was not that. It was as if you'd rubbed a balloon on my head and my hair stood up a static. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I've never had that happen before. I've gotten the chills. I've gotten the dizzies. But like... Actual static electricity making my hair stand up? What the fuck would do that? <laughs> and it only happened that one time. It didn't happen earlier in the day when I was checking that room. It didn't happen later when we were packing the leave. So that was just weird. That was the only spooky thing that happened at that Airbnb. But the um, next Airbnb we went to is one where we were with my mother and little sister because we were meeting up for a little family trip, um, and um, so we were supposed to go to like some sort of resort that our mother wanted to surprise us with, but tragically there were wildfires in the area at the time and we had to do something else. Oh. Um, and it was like the day, it was the night before we were supposed to go there when we got that news. Um, but the owners of the resort were incredibly accommodating and they actually paid for our airbnb and they're going to let us come another time which was super nice so we pretty much just got free airbnb and we could come back to that resort with no extra price no, no extra cost um but the airbnb my mother picked out was this house built in the 1800s so she's like ooh, it might be haunted and i'm like don't tell me that um <laughs> And my mother is, like, ambivalent about ghosts. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't not believe in them, but she doesn't like acknowledging them. Um, uh, because we've had some spooky shit happen together when my father was passing away that she just can't ignore. She just doesn't like thinking about it. Um, but yeah, we get to that Airbnb, and my brother and I are like, um, oh, the bedroom that was supposed to be mine, again, is the haunted bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Whole house, you can feel fine. You get to that room and you feel like you're not supposed to be in there. Like, you felt bad. It was disgusting. Um, so I'm like, hey, uh, anybody want to let me share a bed with them? <laughs> uh, my mother and little sister had a king bed, so I shared the bed with them so I wouldn't have to be banished to the spooky room. Um, but... Here's where the fun stuff happens, because my mother's like rolling her eyes at the vibe stuff um, the entire time, because she, she is just like foreign to her. And then we, we it, the sun's like about to set soon, and my little sister wants to go to a park that's nearby to play on swings or something. Yeah. And um, 
we we find one on Google Maps that's within walking distance. We start walking. And I know that there's a cemetery in the area because we checked the map earlier. And I was like, wow, I wonder where it is. Guess what's directly on the way to the park? The cemetery. The cemetery, which was completely unplanned. <laughs> um, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, can we please go in? Can we please go in? And my mother's like, fine. Um, but when we get in there, um, we see that it's like massive, so we can't really stay there. Because it would take too long to get through. Uh, but... <clears throat> at the entrance, there's, like, a couple mausoleums. And I pointed one out that was the nearest, and I'm like, can I, can I go to that one first, at least? Can we look at that before we carry on? And my mother's like, okay, we can go look at that one mausoleum. And let me send you some pictures so you can see what I'm talking about here. Yeah, yeah. I had to scroll by so many <laughs> antique stores in pictures. <laughs> okay. I'm sending it to you and then I'll put it in the stream. So, um, this mausoleum, uh, I get to it and let me open this on stream so I can use my mouse as a pointer. Mm -hmm. Please, can I please copy this image? So rude. Oh, did they not have a groundskeeper? Huh? No, I was saying, do they not have a groundskeeper for this place? Why do you say that? Because this mausoleum is so... This mausoleum looks like it has not had the best upkeep for its... Oh, in, uh... in this picture, it just rained. Oh, okay. Yeah. If I move my head aside. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, because that whole, that whole big, like, melty brown spot on it is like, wow, no one, no one took care of that mausoleum. Yeah, yeah it's, it, there is a groundskeeper, and the building for them is right at the entrance. It, it, this picture was right after rain. Um, so I, I'm walking yeah, over here, and then right here, I see a black shadow pop up from between the planter and the mausoleum and then duck away. And I was like, oh, please just be an animal. Please be an animal. I walk around it, there's no animal. And I, this was the most vindicating experience ever. As soon as I saw that on the other side of it, we get the other picture. It is. Me and my, uh, my brother and my little sister, hold on, it's not letting me copy it, stupid. Okay, so as I, as I see that happen over there, I'm like freaking out to my brother because I'm like, oh my god, Jake, I just saw a ghost. And then my mother sees the same kind of black shadow pop out from behind the mausoleum as if it had walked around it and then it disappeared. And my mother was like, oh, well, how about that? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, um, my mother was giving me shit about me sensing ghost vibes that entire evening. And then when I am drawn to this one where there was a ghost, she also sees it. So take that, mother. Ha! Claybots loves your sweater, by the way. <laughs> Thank you! That's my Renfield sweater. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Renfield sweater, which I paid a shameful amount of money for. And by God, I was gonna wear it. We were somewhere cold. And the opportunity, and I was taking it. My, I, I love this uh, jacket that my brother has, too. It's my favorite thing he owns. Yeah. He got that when we were antiquing, too. But yeah, um, we, I saw this ghost, um, and my immediate reaction whenever I, like, see a shadow figure is to start crying. <laughs> it's involuntary. Um, I got over it pretty fast, and then I was just like, wow, that was awesome. <laughs> you are the worst person to have a ghost sense. I have an anxiety disorder. 
Exactly, you're the worst person to have a ghost sense. Yep. Um, like, because I saw this ghost, I felt, uh, compelled to thank them for showing themselves. It was, I, okay, so the, the name on the grave is Will Cummings, and I know it's him and his wife in there after Googling, so this, the ghost was likely to be either one of them, but it could also just been some other spooky thing around in the graveyard. I assume it's one of them. Um, but because I saw something over here, I brought them flowers before we had to leave. So that's these down here. And I yeah, think I... I thanked them for showing themselves. And I wish them a good rest on that fun stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't believe that it's either of them that was popping their heads around there. It definitely was something else that was peeping up around. Yeah. Yeah, whatever it was, this was the spot it showed itself, so this is where the flowers go. Um, but it is interesting, um, I, I looked this guy up, and he was like a super big deal in the town. He was, uh, I think a county judge, and he was like BFS with President Roosevelt. Yeah, I fully don't believe that was him who was showing his head there. <laughs> Probably not, but I can, I can, I can put the flowers where I saw like, a spooky. Yeah. Um, he'll, he'll probably like eating those. Probably. Oh yeah, this um, graveyard had a new rule about leaving items at graves. You're not supposed to leave anything that isn't biodegradable. Uh, so I was careful not to get anything that came in a flower pot. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, lots of spooky ghost stuff. On a less spooky note, I found lots of radioactive material at antique stores this time. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the pictures for you. One of the antique stores we went to had an entire case full of radium glass. I drink! Okay. Owie. Balls. Let me find the radium glass. Chaos! 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 <laughs> what? 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 Okay. Send you the pictures and I'll put them on stream. Or I'll put one of them on stream. So, for those who don't know, radium glass is glass that's in. No, no, no. It's uranium glass. Excuse me. It's glass infused with uranium, which is incredibly radioactive. Um, these were made before people really understood how dangerous radioactive materials were. People straight up ate off of these. It's not good. <laughs> no. But yeah, uh, if I need to get a black light, because uh, there was definitely a lot of questionable glass in other stores. If you hold a black light up to uranium glass, it fluoresces like this, which is why it's in a case with black lights. Wow. Yep. And another uh, fun old radioactive item is radium clocks and radium watches. Um, yeah. They have radium paint on the uh, watch arms, or uh, the hands, um, which makes it glow in the dark, but it's also, again, Radioactive. I found two radium clocks. One of them I almost wanted to buy, but I decided not to risk my life. Like, I can't fault these people. They didn't know what fucking radioactivity was or did. No, but we know now, and the things that happen because of this stuff is, like, horrific. Yeah. If you want a bad time, look up radium girls. No! Alright, here it- whoops. No, no, stop it. Okay, here's the first radium clock I found. I did look these brands up to make sure they were radium clocks, and they are indeed. So generally, if you find any clock from- that was built before the- uh, 1960s, and it has a glowing watch face like this, that's radium. Every time. Why are um, you holding it? 
Oh, uh, so I, I looked it up before I picked it up. Um, if okay. it's a rigged watch, you should wear it. Um, but like, picking it up for a few seconds isn't gonna hurt you. I've read that it's actually not dangerous to have a radium clock in your home so long as the watch face isn't damaged, um, because it mostly stays contained. Um, okay. But also, this thing was ten dollars, and for a clock that's this cute, that's what tempted me. <laughs> wow. Um, but I decided against it. It would probably stress me out to have that in my house. But this other radium clock was um, thirty bucks. Can I please open this? I hate when I try to copy and paste a picture from Discord and it doesn't let me paste it on the side. Here's the second radio clock I found, both from different stores. This one has tiny little blowy watch faces. Ooh. Yeah, this one was 30 bucks. Very pretty. Um, I found so much fun antique store stuff. Oh shit! Oh, I almost forgot our last spooky ghost thing that happened. Um, we, we were in the last antique store, which was massive. It was huge. Um, there's a, there was a little spot, like a little uh, couch seating area that had three dolls on it. I, they looked kind of like American Girl dolls, but maybe off-brand. Um, I didn't like the vibe of that area, mostly because I have a phobia of dolls, so I just didn't acknowledge it, and I walked by. But then, uh, my housemate Ollie came around and saw that doll area, and she says she saw one of the doll's legs move. And I'm like, no! <laughs> Stop! Hearts and dolls are the fucking worst. I will never not have a haunted doll phobia. Like, it's it's visceral. I feel like I feel like a significant amount of dolls that are like purportedly haunted are probably not actually haunted and it is just the phobia that's like looking at fuck oh, this yeah. thing. Fuck that's this like, thing is terrifying. I, I don't trust my vibes most of the time whenever yeah. um if there's a doll involved, because I'm just afraid of dolls. But, yeah. uh, my housemate Ollie doesn't have a doll phobia, and she straight up saw the doll move. <laughs> Which I'm like, great, I'm so glad I didn't see that, because I would have been running out. I didn't run from the shadow figure, but if a doll moves, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you the picture of the doll that moved, because I went back to grab a picture. No, it might not enjoy that. Okay, alright. Do you want me to not send it? I can delete it right after. Yeah, don't send it to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I may not fully believe in, like, the, the statistical reports of a haunted doll, but I'm still not going to disrespect one by looking at a photo of it. Well, not every haunted doll does it. I don't know how to say this. There are the haunted dolls that are like, don't take a picture of me or I'll put out a curse on you. But most yeah. of them aren't like that. Yeah, but like... <laughs> Listen, I got enough stuff going on with me already. <laughs> I don't know how... I don't know how a curse is gonna, like, interact with me, you know? Oh wait, hold on. I did have something I meant to show you from one of the stores and I just forgot to send it. They had an entire set of ornaments from the uh, stop-motion Rudolph movie. Ooh. And I thought you might like the little lion guy. Oh, that one's so cute! Yeah, they had the whole set, so I'm like, I feel bad buying one of them, I don't want to separate them. <laughs> That's fair. He's got a little crown and everything. Yeah. Oh, also, I was watching Ghost Adventures earlier today. I, I made fun of this early on stream, but you're here now, so you have to see this. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting from season one, because it's been a while since I've seen the these episodes. And there's this fucking hat that Zach Bagans wears in one of the evidence scenes. Mm -hmm. 
What is this book? <laughs> Bro, why do you look like the... Why do you look like, um... Uh... Oh, fuck, what's his name? Goob from, uh... Meet the Robinsons. Fuck, you can call it shit! Roller <laughs> hat guy look ass. It, it doesn't help that the frame I stopped it at makes this face look way longer than it normally is. <laughs> and this is like the worst stop frame ever. But also, what is that hat? What is that hat? Uh, that's a, not a good bowler hat, I'll tell you that. It's not, it's not good at all. It's not good. Also, well, okay. Okay. You go first, because mine is a different thing. Uh, I was gonna say, it in of itself is a good bowler hat. It's just you're not supposed to wear a bowler hat with just a t-shirt, my guy. <sighs> yeah. Like, if you, if you even wore just a button-up and some suspenders, at least it would go with the look. But you're just straight up wearing a t-shirt! Yep. Um, so Ghost Adventures is still ongoing. Their latest season came out this October. Yeah. Do you know how many seasons they have? Uh, ooh. I... How many years has it been playing? Since 2008. 2008? Okay, so they definitely have, like, 15 seasons minimum. Minimum, yeah. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna guess, like... 28 seasons. You are so close! It's 29! Damn! Oh, no. <laughs> 29 seasons! And the last one is so recent that it's not on any streaming services yet. Uh... Okay, so they have 28 completed seasons and they're on their twenty. No, the 29th season is also completed. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So they have 30 seasons then. No. Oh, wait. They have 29 seasons. 29 oh, okay, okay, so the 29th one is the most, like, recent one that has just, like... They just finished up, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's what you meant. I yes. thought you meant, like, when you said they had one that's, like, on not on streaming services yet, I thought you meant, like, it was airing on... Oh, yeah, it, it hasn't it, hit, it like... It did air on TV, but it's not on anything you can watch online yet. Yeah, 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 but it's I thought, happened. like, you meant, like, that was, a that was, like, a 30th season that they're up to no, or something. No. Okay, I got you. I got you um, now. Yeah. I mean, if you wanna... They have 30 themes, if you wanna count their 2004 movie, did you? I was... I was gonna make the joke of 28 seasons in a movie, but I <laughs> didn't, because I was like, they probably wouldn't make a movie, because those shows are kind of long. No, but that's where they came from. They came out with a documentary in 2004, and then they got a, a show deal for it. I'm so mad. Do you know? Do you know how on the nose I would have been if I had fully said 28 seasons in a movie? You would have been way too close. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <coughs> yeah, that's like way too much. <laughs> and by God, I'm gonna watch all of it. That's too much. It is too much. And I'm gonna watch all of it anyway. So, whenever I go MTV next, I want to get a black light uh, so I can check for uranium glass because there was a lot of suspicious glassware in other stores that wasn't highlighted. Um, and I want to bring a Geiger counter for the same reason uh, for like the clocks. And for the spooky stuff, any EMF <laughs> detector. Yeah. There is, um, uh, so whenever I sense a spooky presence, it's like a whole body experience for me. I'll feel heavy, I'll feel pressure on my head. Uh, I feel it like in the lower part, lower back part of my ribs for some reason. Um, yeah. And there was 
one spot in that place that had the doll move where I couldn't stand there because when I walked into that stall, I thought I was going to fall over it. Like I legitimately almost passed out just by standing there for a few seconds and I had to step back. Bro. Yes. <laughs> you and I can never physically meet in real life because between your like your messed up ghost sense and my third eye and being born on Friday the thirteenth, we if we physically meet each other in real life, it's gonna be like that those two that like when they join hands they <laughs> can get like a ghost to That would be sick as fuck also um Tragically, those two are in question right now. No! I know, I really wanted to believe them, but some stuff was pointed out that was, like, kind of hard to get past. Um, so for those unaware, uh, there's these ghost hunter people, they're a couple, they're named Cody and Satori. Um, and they did this special thing where when they held hands, they claimed that it was like a beacon for ghosts, and they would walk into the room, and they would do this thing where they, like, communicate with the ghosts via the knocks. So they would go through the alphabet to spell things with the knocks. It was really cool, very moving experience from the stuff we watched. Um, but their story was that that's never happened to them before until they joined hands. Except there's video evidence of Cody having done this years before meeting Satori. Oh no. Yeah. Um, and there's another paranormal pair that was a pair of sisters from like the 1800s who did something similar. And it came out that they were just popping their joints. Like, they had double jointed toes, or double jointed ankles, or something like that. And there's videos of people on TikTok making the same popping sounds with their feet. Okay, but those two sisters are were absolutely girl-bossing people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm kind of proud of them, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Especially back in the 1800s, where you could fool anybody with anything, go off Oh yeah, this. yeah. Yeah, the um, internet- <laughs> the internet didn't exist, and people believed literally anything them. Yeah. Um, but for Cody and Satori, they have not on camera done the, the thing without shoes on, um, and they refuse. They, they say they can't do it without their feet touching the ground, so they can't do it sitting in a chair crisscross. Um, and I'm like, why? And they say that they need to feed it to be grounded. And I'm like, okay. That's suspicious. Um, <laughs> that's suspicious. That's yeah, weird. And, uh, Sam and Colby came out with a video on their second channel talking about the uh, questionable aspects of them. And mm -hmm. um, they said that they called Cody Satori about all of the new stuff coming out and they denied to film another video to make their case. So... Oh no... Yeah... It's... it's very unfortunate. Um, but it is weird that they get their answers with the tap method, and then there's other psychics that get the same answer from something else. And then they have ghost, they have spirit box conversations with the same spirits that we're talking to over the taps, so I'm like... <sighs> it's really hard to say. I don't fully trust them anymore, but it just kind of sucks. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, but I liked the illusion of it. Yeah, I did too. It's, it was like one of those things where it's like, this is too crazy to be real. But I yeah. like it. But now I'm just kind of mad at them. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the thing you said about us meeting in real life, maybe we can make it real. <laughs> <laughs> we... No, it would be... It would be... Horrendous. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna be meeting next year. Ah, oh, for fuck. <laughs> Don't forget that. We will be within proximity to one another. No, we can't. We can't. I, it's, I cannot see you. <laughs> we can't. We're gonna be... If we end up in the same room with each other, there's no telling what, like, paranormal shit is gonna happen. We're going You're to not... the same wedding. 
I know! I know, and I- And I don't want to walk into a room and suddenly look past my shoulder and see what the fuck is that thing that's been sitting on your shoulder since, like, you got here, and I'm like, shut the fuck up and don't talk to me anymore. If it makes you feel better, I can't see spirits that way. No, but, like, we meet each other and just oh, are man, both bizarre circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where it happened. I kind of fuck, honestly. <laughs> like, I wanna- I, I- I- I think you were on the call when I said this to Froggins, but, like, I wanna go to a very haunted location with y'all, cause it'd be fun. Yes. Or yeah. Or work you in Antique Store, cause Antique Stories always have haunted shit. Um, oh, yeah. And see what our vibes tell each other. Yeah. I don't- Like, my- My vibe is- bizarre because just like i how do i say this i don't know what is considered like normal or not by default so i don't know what's considered abnormal or not yeah, and i i it and i'll tell you if i've heard it before uh well that's the yeah i guess i would have to describe it to you in the moment um yeah. but just like that's one of those situations where i'm like I either have never experienced something like that, just in general, because I didn't either- I didn't know, or just because, like, by- by some circumstance or whatever, I just have not been in a vicinity of, like, experiencing any kind of ghostly activity or occurrence. How's this to stretch? Yeah, that's understandable. Some people get lucky. <laughs> Yeah, cause I, like my, my third eye activates so frequently that I, I wouldn't be surprised if I send out a vibe that's like, <laughs> that, that's like a repellent for supernatural stuff, you know? <laughs> I mean, we can find out. <laughs> what, what if we go into like a place that you know for sure is like, for real haunted, and then we go in there, and suddenly, like, all the vibes are non-existent in terms of haunting. You're like, this is the weirdest fucking thing. I've never had this happen. I've never- I've never felt no hauntings in a place like this before. <laughs> and then I leave the room, and all the haunting are back, and it's like, what the fuck?! Damn, all well, those just fucking hate you. <laughs> they just don't care for my vibes. They're like, ew, vibes are stinky! <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what is this jock extrovert you're hanging out with? <laughs> what is this? This not this doesn't belong in a friend group like yours. <laughs> Shut up, you're a furry, of course you belong. <laughs> no, that's the ghost <laughs> talking. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a break here in a second to go make food. Yeah. Um, but I think I might be able to finish this tonight. Maybe. Realigning that head is gonna hurt my brain. <laughs> Avoid looking at it. Do it with your eyes closed. <laughs> Draw it with my foot like I did that fish. <laughs> Forgot about that. I think about it often. <laughs> that was such a disaster. Like a fun time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could, I would definitely love to take you to uh, haunted places I've been to before, where I like know that there's something there. Yeah. I know we're gonna be. Uh, there's always somewhere haunted everywhere, so I'm sure we can find something sick around the wedding area. Oh yeah, the, the Earth's existed for a long time, that someone has died somewhere, everywhere. Yep. And probably is like, either lingering or has a left trace. A ghost trace. Someone doesn't even have to die there, there could just be things there. Yeah. Just entities. What people in the business call Earthbound Spirits. What people in the business call Mother 2, which is a Japanese <laughs> name for Earthbound. Shut! 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 <laughs> shut! <laughs> shut! Come on, I'm gonna choke. <laughs> 
What was I going to say? Uh, you go first. Oh no, you go. I got to remember what I was even going to say. Oh. <laughs> um, when I was out of town, I would uh, FaceTime Corey and Indrid like almost every night to give them ghosty updates. Um, Corey is like very averse to spooky stuff. Um, Indrid is super into it. So I'm like, <laughs> Corey, can I steal your boyfriend to go, to go ghost hunting for a little bit, please? <laughs> <laughs> Corey is so avoidant of anything explicitly haunted. And but Indrid and I are like, we wanna go! We wanna go <laughs> spooky! We is Corey! <laughs> it's gonna be cursed as hell! You gotta have your protection zone. Yeah. Which I was um so I I think I said this, but I use my um mountain trip as a exploration of self spiritually um mm -hmm. so i i've been trying to get way more comfortable with ghost things because i, I get an anxiety disorder um but now that i'm on meds i've been like exposure therapy myself uh, and i feel way more confident i just had to get past the um uncontrollable reaction to crying if i say something <laughs> it's yeah. not it's not even like an I'm upset about it kind of thing. I just look at it and it happens as if you're cutting onions. Because <laughs> I, I, like, I saw the thing at the graveyard, and then two seconds later I was thrilled about it. Good. Yes! No, I'm not a camera. A snake! Snake? Let me see if. Thank you. Uh, I can't. I can't show him on stream because my camera is using is isn't used for my uh, VTuber model. But I'm holding a snake now. <laughs> this is my hand holding the snake. I'll take a picture and show him on stream. Ooh, snake. It's my brother's snake, Peraza. You want still for a picture, buddy? Yeah, I got one. Can I send a picture to you, Green? Yeah, snake. Snake, snake, snake. Snake hours. Snowers. That's to you. Let me go get it. For stream. Yeah, look at that rope in your hand. He's a good boy. the snake. Warning for anybody with a snake phobia. Oh my boy. Hey, there's my, my brother's sweet little baby boy. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, his name is Terrazzo. Like the style oh, of tile. Terrazzo. so cute. Um, when we were out of town, we had a friend come by to check on our animals on Monday. Um, and everybody was fine. Everybody was in their enclosures. So, um, something happened either right after he left or, like, the day we were driving back. But, um, on Wednesday, I got here, and when I was in my room, Banjo, our cat, was in here, and he started going after something on the floor. And I thought it was a bug, because that's usually what he finds. But then I, he's looking under the dresser like it's in there. And I look under there, and I see a little tail, a little green tail. So I assume, well, it's a lizard. My brother just brought his outside plants inside because it's cold. Maybe a lizard came in. So I reach in there. It's not a lizard. It's my brother's green snake. <laughs> um, it was not our friend's fault that she got out. Um, sometime after our friend left, one of the plants in her enclosure grew too tall and punched through the the uh, the ceiling of the enclosure and made a hole. So she escaped, and she could have been out of her enclosure for 
upwards of a day and a half. Wow. And thank God, I found her. And I guess thank God Banjo found her. He did smack her a few times before I realized that's what it was. Um, but she's fine, we checked her over, she's undamaged. Um, but the poor baby! She was loose in the house and she's a very small snake! <laughs> she was making a break for it. Yep. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep Baby Snake on screen for as long as I hold him. I'm holding him while my brother cleans his enclosure. Um, yeah. yeah, and then when Snake is taken from me, I'll take out a quick BRB break to go get food. Yeah. Also, Cream, uh, antique stores are dangerous for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not immune to trinkets and object permanence. If there is a trinket right in front of me, uh, my resistance to buying it is in the negatives. Oh no. So, uh, my credit card is unwell right now. Oh no. I did an overdraft, but I got close. Am I gonna have to keep you on a leash? Yep. Oh no. If we, if we go antiquing next year, we gotta make sure that I'm actually financially ready for it. <laughs> That's fine, if we go to a toy store at any point, it's over for me. There was one store that was closed when we went, and I'm so fucking glad it was closed because I would've lost my mind. It was a resale store for nerdy stuff, like figures and comics. And, uh, those are my favorite kinds of stories, and it's time to make stories. If I <laughs> wouldn't know, I would have made so many bad decisions. Oh boy. There's this one in Savannah, Georgia called Planet Fun, and it's like one of my favorite stores on the planet. I love that place so much. On the Planet Fun? Yes, on the Planet Fun. <laughs> If I ever go to a place that has, like, anime figurines, and I just, if I, in the wild, happen to see the, the Leomon and Judy figure, I, I think I, I think I just have to buy it instantly. Yep, yeah, again, object permanence, if it's in front of you, you can't say no. <laughs> no, I can't, and that's my daughter and my gender in one, in one place. Everybody on stream loves him. He's a good boy. Wait, wait, I have to wash my hands. Okay. I'm gonna say VRD while I go wash my hands and uh, start making dinner. Yeah. Everyone also go eat some food if you haven't. Yes. Much. Would you like to, um, occupy the stream zone or should I go to the VRD screen? Head to the BRB screen, because I also am going to put some, like, leftovers in the oven from yesterday. Nice. Alright, be back in a little bit. See yeah.
interesting going on in their lives that they feel like sharing. They got ghost stories. Don't mind my arms freaking out and putting pain cream on. disappear for a second and just that's what's happening when I do that. Dresden, you of all people do not have done our project. You're our project for the coolest shit ever. because they actually hurt. <laughs> so if you hear me sniffling and groaning, it's because the food's spicy. They didn't used to hurt me this badly, but they, I think they changed their recipe in the past couple months and made it spicier, which isn't bad. I can still eat it. It's just not, um... How do I say this? It's unbecoming of me to eat sniffly spicy food on street, but it's what I'm not. Spicy. My nose is already dripping. <laughs> Fuck. I want to point out that my spice tolerance is pretty good. So this shit's spicy, spicy. Yesterday was Froggen's birthday. 
Happy belated birthday to Froggins. My face hurts already, but I need to eat. I'm so hungry. Cream knows about this, um, this specific spicy chicken meal that I eat. Um, as soon as he gets back here and hears me say that I'm eating it, he's gonna be like, why would you do that to yourself? I'm not like, ah. Hi, Froggins! <laughs> Thank you. My God, my mouth hurts. Also, I'm not sure how long I'll be streaming tonight. Maybe not as late as I usually do, because, um... I don't know if my body is fully adjusted after my trip yet. Uh, I usually wake up at noon, because I work from home. But, during my trip, we were consistently waking up on average, like, 7 a.m. So I even get sleepy way too early. I'm fine right now. Yesterday at this time, I needed a nap really bad. Well, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> I was opening Pokemon Sleep and it, the volume blasted. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Yesterday was Frog's birthday. Happy birthday, Frog! Yeah. Free. We, we haven't gone grocery shopping because we were out of town, we're doing it tomorrow. Uh, so, the last thing I had for a solid meal was what, the really spicy Indian chicken. Yeah! And, oh my god, dude, I swear it gets spicier every time I put it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, you're white. <laughs> well, my spice tolerance really isn't that bad, it's just this thing. <laughs> As soon as I started eating it, my face started sweating. I'm like, can that can stop? <laughs> I, I just need nutrients. <laughs> no. No. Nutrient must come with pain. You chose that. Well, I did. It's what I had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally. I, I like this food. Don't get me wrong, this thing is delicious, but I don't normally eat super spicy food on stream because then it becomes the focus because I start going, yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if I had the choice, I would have gone for something more reasonable for while I'm streaming, but this is the only meal I have. Do you not have, do you not have spaghetti noodle you can cook? Uh, like by itself, yes, but I need protein. Oh wow. <laughs> I actually do have, I, I made the spaghetti last night, I have a lot of leftover pasta, but I just have nothing to put with it. <laughs> I, I need protein, they say, I can't relate. I've had days where I've subsisted on nothing but pasta and macaroni. I can't go without protein for too long, or I get the hunger shakes. Oh no. Me do not forget, I am a very unhealthy person. Yeah. I am 
dietary requirements. <laughs> My doctor still doesn't know what the hunger states are. Like I describe it, she's like, that sure is weird, isn't it? <laughs> Just have has that person not heard of low blood sugar? No, she knows what it is, but my blood stuff comes back fine. Maybe it's psychosomatic. It's not. Maybe you're just... weird. I am weird. Everything about my body is weird. Yeah, your body is fucked up. <laughs> I'm built different. I'm built worse. <laughs> I get that on a shirt, or on booty shorts. Both. <laughs> on the shirt it says I'm built different on the booty shorts it says I'm built worse so correct so correct <laughs> it's like that uh you are not immune to propaganda and then on the ass it's propaganda, propaganda. <clears throat> true now we're sitting here for a minute while I suffer through my meal yeah which I have to pace myself with because good lord <laughs> <laughs> You still gotta get that really spicy ramen that we can so we can eat it together. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen it at any of my stores. So that um, food delivery app. Yeah, we did see it on there. Yeah, you know, I think you can order it on Amazon too. Yeah, but I don't use Amazon. That's fine. There's other things, other places you can buy it from. Yeah, like that food app. Yep. Which is dangerous, because I... I'm gonna end up looking for a lot of others. Yeah. I downloaded that app, and I haven't opened it since, because I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Dresden says I was built in a cave out of a box of scraps. <laughs> yes. Wow, I can't believe your Iron Man s- <laughs> God, I wish I was the first Iron Man suit. I would at least be functional. <laughs> I can't believe this game has the audacity to have the the models for the history and Pokemon in it, but not any actual in-game way of getting them without just just bringing them over using. Yes and no. Elaborate. Well, it, like in the DLC, you can get Master Legion. Well, yeah, but like. And you can evolve Stantler. Holy shit! Yes, and the starters are distributed via raid events. Yeah, I saw that one with the Hisui and Samrot. Yep. Wait, how do I. Because a Stantler ran into me. You've probably seen me post about it. A Stantler ran in, forced me to catch it while I was in Kitakami. How do yeah. I evolve it in this it's game? The same, it's, I'm pretty sure it's the same evolution method as in Legends. You have its one move, that, its signature move that you have to use a few times. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, just check it. Check it on Therapy or something. So yeah. Apologies for the move hiccups. Yeah. No, we <coughs> I like with the same thing. I I love that the Sinnoh region, like, inadvertently gave us even more evolution Pokemon that yeah. didn't have evolutions. That's a thing, baby. That's the only thing Sinnoh is known for and nothing else. How far? How far? How far? Bar. The Sinnoh Health Bar. The level 100 pussy 1 hit KO. 10 year health bar. <laughs> yeah. Which was then first. later got. Which then later got fixed in Platinum. Yep. So they didn't stop being known for it. Well, it, it, the videos of it are still hilarious. Yeah, for sure. Like, what? How many things can you do before Blissey dies from a one hit KO move? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it take like 10 minutes in real life for it to go down? 
I'd have to, I'd have to Google it. Or I could just find a video. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could take you to that restaurant I went to that was Bigfoot themed. It was so good. Yeah, I literally have- I own a Bigfoot shirt that I use to work out in. Good! Like, the theming of that restaurant was really fun, where everything on the menu was named after a type of Bigfoot. But, like, the food was so, so good! Delicious. I'm like, I want to take everybody I know to this place. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, I have a few bites left, but it's it's an uphill battle. You can do it. I know I can. I just I have to pace myself, or I'll burp wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That, for you, that's every burp. Yeah, but because of my condition, there's the risk of um, the burp coming with other stuff way more than others. Mm -hmm. Gotta be real careful. Spicy, spiciest foods I ever had was, um, there was this restaurant in Chicago, um, it was like a hole-in-the-wall Japanese place, and when I say hole-in-the-wall, I mean like you had to go down an alleyway, and there's like, you, you have to switch to see the sign, yeah. <laughs> but you open the door, and the place has like loud bass music, and it's packed, and you know, oh, this is probably the best place in the world, actually. They, my favorite ramen is miso ramen, and the only miso ramen they had, had like, a little skull with fire next to it. <laughs> um, and they're like, we mean it, we mean it, it's spicy, and I'm like, I think I'm going to take a risk today because I like miso. And boy, oh boy, did they mean it. <laughs> I couldn't even finish half of the bowl, but like the worst part was it was one of the most delicious things I've ever put in my mouth. Yeah. But it hurt so bad, it made my tummy hurt so I couldn't finish it. I think about it often. I dream of her. <laughs> Just <laughs> like a duty mod. <laughs> you dream of her, the, the two bite miso ramen bowl. I mean, I had more than two bites, but yes. I was at least full after I ate. That's good. And then right across the street from that was um, a donut ice cream place where they make ice cream sandwiches with donuts as the sandwich bread. Ooh, dangerous. It was dangerous and it was super fucking good. <coughs> I was standing in line with a local and she was like, oh, this is like one of my favorite places ever. And, like, since she lives in Chicago, she started, like, rattling off fun places to go to eat for us. And I think we took one or two of her suggestions, and they were great. Nice. Oh, uh, another fun thing that happened on our trip. Uh, we drove through a lot of mountains, of course, and there was one spot on the road that had, well, it was a long stretch of zero phone signal. Um, and in that stretch, there was like a little picnic area next to a lake. So we pulled off to take a little walk around stretch break. Um, and the only other people there was this couple with their dog. Like an older couple, maybe late 50s, early 60s. Um, and we talked to them. And um, they drove down from Canada, which is a long drive where we were. And they said that um, they have been just off exploring in their van with their dog for seven months. Good and it's like a retirement trip journey for them. 
And I'm like, wow, y'all are so cool. And then the, the, the husband like came out of the van smoking a pipe to tell us about stuff. And we're like, wow, you guys are even cooler. <laughs> uh -huh. And their dog was so precious. I got a really good picture of her, but it's on my good camera and I haven't transferred pictures over yet. They said they found their dog in Mexico on a beach when she was like two months old. She was emaciated. They adopted her. And she was the happiest little thing ever. Aww. I love that dog. Oh, hi, Sherman. God, Sherman just scared me. Hi, honey. He just jumped up behind me onto the chair and onto my back, and I'm really lucky he didn't scratch me because I'm not wearing any jacket right now. His claws could have gotten real easy. Shep, shep, shep. Yeah, when, whenever I'm done streaming, I gotta show you all the stupid shit I'm on. Because yeah. boy, oh boy, was there a lot of it. <laughs> I also came home with a bunch of stuff from my mom. Uh, my grandma passed away last year, and um, we had gone to a, a year and a half ago, I think, maybe two years. Um, we had gone to my grandma's house to like divvy up items that weren't in the will. So just like house decorations. And um, my brother and I claimed quite a bit of stuff, but we couldn't, we couldn't fly home with it because it just wasn't gonna happen. Um, but my mother drove out on this trip. So she came with most of the stuff and when we put it in our car, brought it back. Um, what are the items? I will send you a picture of because I have pictures. Um, one of the items was or is this huge brass deer that has been like my favorite thing my grandma had for my whole life. Like anytime time I go to her house, I had to just go stare at this thing for a bit. And I, I am ecstatic that I was able to claim it. Where are the pictures? There they are. Yeah, I'm sending it to you. switch screens for a second so people can see it. And I'll also just get ready to start drawing again. Yeah. There's the deer and me for scale. That thing is massive and very heavy. It's solid, solid brass. <laughs> and it's mine now. And I'll keep it for the rest of my days. I love it so much. When I was very little, I used to sit on this thing and play pretend that it was real. The worst part is, um, I was, I've been trying to find, like, what brand this thing is, but it doesn't have any label on it. Um, I looked it up. And, like, there's many similar brass deer like this, uh, but I can't find this exact one, and it's driving me crazy. Yeah, that sits in our living room right now. Grab it by the horns. Yeah, he's chilling. Uh, on, the, on the drive back, he had, I was in the back seat and he had to sit in the other back seat buckled up because he was a hazard. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't have a clear picture of her right now, but behind my hand here is um, a Japanese doll that, my, that belonged to my great-grandmother. Um, she, she got it from Japan and... Um, She's absolutely gorgeous. I'll have to grab better pictures of her. She's up on 
my armor shelf right now. She had to, she had to ride like partial lap on the way home because she's very fragile. Yeah. Another item I got um, was something that belonged to my mother when she was in high school. It's a Garfield telephone. Ha! Huh. He's up on the arm war with the pretty lady. <laughs> He's so, so good. Yeah, I am not immune to trinket. Uh, those were uh, family heirlooms that I got for free just by being related to them. So luckily I didn't spend any money on that uh, because every... Every deer I found that's similarly sized and shaped to that deer is very, very expensive. Wow. It's, it's concerning. <laughs> concern. Big concern. Yeah, I'm, I'm upset that I can't find what brand it is or who made it because I would like to know, please. Hmm. Is another funny thing. Um, there was a little mountain train thing that you could go on to get to uh, the top of the mountain and go to a gift shop and a cool viewing point and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and the gift shop had merchandise on the train. <laughs> and there's this piece of merchandise that I kind of wish I bought because it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Copy and paste it, you asshole! The mug says, I love my wife, with a picture of the train. <laughs> I love my wife, the train! <laughs> my wife, the train. Yes! That's her! I love her. I love her dearly. <laughs> the fuck it, was, is it was a nice little little afternoon activity. They had a lot more trade merchandise that I kind of wanted, but... Like, why would I do that? <laughs> yeah. I didn't get the sickest Bigfoot sticker ever from that, sh that shop, though. I'll have to show you later, I don't have a picture of it. And I also bought a little book about all the haunted stuff in that city. I, I have the ADHD that makes it hard for me to read, but it's a very small book, so I'm hoping I can get through it. Uh-oh. I've asked Corey and Andrea if they'd be down to uh, be on call and while I read it out loud, because I feel like that's the only way I'm going to read it. But also it can be fun to get through together as a group. Yeah. You know I love my ghost stories. You do. I sure do. You sure do. Don't you? I do! You do. I do. I did name my Sandler Cockless. Yes! Richard! But I did, I, I spelled it C-A-U-K. L -E yeah, because you, you would get censored. Yeah. I'm so glad you remembered that for that one specific joke. 
I'll never forget that one specific joke. It's so stupid. The funniest shit ever. I need to go watch my Stantler compilation again soon. <laughs> Sometimes I just go back and watch my uh, Twitch condensed videos on my YouTube. They're funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do the thing that I messaged you about with uh, withdrawing buddy fight characters. That could be a fun time. Yeah. Where I just, I show you their little guy form and I make you have to draw what you think their, their not little guy form is. Yeah, you'll have to like give an example. like. Give one that you don't want us to draw, so you can show it's normal in big form, so we know what the range is. Yeah. The general idea, I should say. Yeah, yeah. Not that I don't love the legendaries in this game, but I'm really bothered that we can't ride a normal star. Yeah. Absolute, the absolute freaks, Pokemon Mercy. What? I want to know about the absolute freaks, humans. You keep cutting out. What the fuck with this mic? I want to know about the absolute freaks of humans in the Pokemon universe. Which one? Uh. Like, aside from the psychics, just I want to know what other freaks with powers exist, you know? <laughs> That's true. There have to be other Rileys, there have to be other fairy tale girls and hex maniacs. There have yep. to. There's, there simply must be. Oh man, could you imagine in a. Like, a Pokemon universe, you could absolutely be a Ghostbuster. God, you're right! You could be like, I ideal in like, I'm a professional like quote unquote exterminator in that I deal with the, uh, with the hauntings and activities of ghost Pokemon that are just kind of fucking around in an area. You catch ghost Pokemon for a living. Yeah, you catch and release them. I love that. Also, yeah. yes, Drazen, this is um, Digimon Digital Card Battle is one of. The, uh, Digimon games I bookmarked for stream soundtracks. And again, I must reiterate, I've never played a single Digimon game in my life. You'd like survive, it's fucked up. I probably would. I'm sure there's plenty of Digimon games I like. Yeah. Big boy coming along indeed, I'm doing my best. you eat it? You knew it would do this. Because it's the only food I had!
Oh boy. It's a fight uh, the deerling because that's easier to to grind against. That's me. Yeah, I'm I'm level capping myself, so I can't go past level 24. But that means I'm scared. Ready. I'm so terrified. Be strong. I love that nothing, no, no creature in this setting, like they're actually like in the world because nothing looks like it's actually standing around. Everything looks like it's photoshopped in. <laughs> well, there you go. What the fuck? What? That dearling new takedown! <gasps> Did you die? I just lost my Noibat. No! What the fuck, Richard? That's not Richard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because it was a dick? <laughs> I did too, and it fucking, it got done in by a deerling that knew takedown. What the fuck? Take that, that deerling gotta be taken down now. I'm gonna kick that deerling's ass. What was the name of the Noibat? Uh, I named it after my friend Necro. Farewell, Necro. <laughs> Necro, if you out there, I love you. He's out there, I can add him at any time. <laughs> you have to say yeah. I'm sorry you died. <laughs> I'm sending contest. fluffs out. I'm sending fluffs out against this this deerling. Yes! I will destroy the deerling! You have yeah. ice bang. <laughs> Hell yeah. Aw oh, man. Ah, to be a Gyarados. <laughs> Oh my jeez, why does my shoulder hurt right now? I forgot to put my shoulder brace back on. Oh, put it back on. Put it back on. Stop having it be off. <laughs> <laughs> I took it off, it was me. Open oh. the gates. Stop having them be closed. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> How's your day going, Fluffs? Uh, good. Uh, I got work tomorrow, so I can't stay up too late, unfortunately. Yeah. But I'm gonna be responsible. Exactly. Why do you work Saturdays? Huh? Why do you work Saturdays? Oh, um, overtime. Oh. I was not in work on. Well, not overtime. Makeup time. Um, oh. I wasn't in Thursday. Uh, I got my winter tires on. Gotcha. So, and, uh, took most of the day, so I took the entire day off. But I'm like, I don't want to use my vacation time for this. Fair and valid. So, instead, 
I <coughs> come in tomorrow and work a bunch of extra time. <laughs> also, the chocolates have been sent. <laughs> Hopefully, in about four to eight business days. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not hot down here right now either, so I'm not worried about it melting. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Well, oh, Fluffs. Okay. I, yep. I finished the ultimate level. Um, I'll show you in a second when I finish this tale. Yes. Do you wanna do you wanna also show them what it looks like when your when your rookie is put into the washing machine and left in <laughs> yeah. the overnight? Yeah, uh, let me scroll back and get it. <laughs> I need to see this now. I have to scroll real far back because we sure do talk, don't we? <laughs> we do. <laughs> Let me just scoot yeah. out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I did that drawing on the left. Yes, he oh! did. It's beautiful. I love it's it, dude. Beautiful. That's so He's good. A creature. He's a creature. Thank you. I like, I like when I can just let myself be messy with a drawing. The official Digimon art style is perfect for that. Hell yeah. <laughs> official Digimon art style says, go crazy, go stupid, ah! Uh, it really does. Yee. Yeah. Please, a Thunderstone, so I can evolve my charge bug. No. <laughs> Forbidden. Please! Forbidden. Forbidden. Disallowed. No. Alright, <laughs> uh, well, let me buy one until after my fourth gym badge, which is gonna be this battle! <laughs> no! Whoops. What gym is it? Just gonna have to stop this gym. Uh, I'm scared. I just lost one of my teammates. That is true. It is very true. What what uh what type of gym? Like is Electric. like a, a, ooh. Yeah, and you're four times weak to it, so you're not. Yeah, don't don't release me. Don't do this. <laughs> I don't no. want to die. <laughs> yeah, no, electric is uh. Eh. Yeah, it's bad. Bad for you specifically. Yes. <laughs> me and electric do not mix. Me the Gyarados, that is. Yep, not me yeah. the Red Dragon. You, the Red Dragon, has no opinion on Electric. <laughs> <laughs> I have no opinion, and therefore it does not affect me. And I have a lot of water types in my box, by the way. No, oh, no. I don't know why I have so many of them. <laughs> I'm like... Sh Oops, all water go. types. <laughs> Oops, all water types. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just go... I'll just go. I'll do the gym. I'll go and do the gym now. And. I don't know. I'll go back to Kitakami afterward and catch another teammate. Like, are you ready now? I have to be. The the max level I can. And all of my party are all like 22 minimum. God. Hmm. Yeah. 
This is the oh, only yeah. way to get a challenge from this game. <laughs> That's fair. I'm saving, and Sai really hates this file right now. Yeah. Oh no. Because all of them are on the same file, and I might have to switch this one to its own, but I don't want to. We're nowhere near Laura Greymon yet. Oh. Right. Laura Greymon. Laura Greymon. Alright, here's the ultimate level. Plus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you. That's really good. Delicious. Delicious indeed. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I just have the mega left, and I'm almost done with the lines. I have to rewind the face, um, because that was the roughest part of the sketch, and then the rest of it I have to clean up. Yeah. Woof. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> I was thinking about rewinding these parts too, but I don't think I want to. Fair. This is only actually my third gym badge, apparently. Uh -oh. According to Nimona. Nimona, why? Oh, why do all well, the gym badges look identical to each other? Oh, they don't. They don't have any like unique little flair. Like, not really. They're kind of oh. just all. Yeah, they're kind of just all a circle, and then they'll have a a design on it. But literally, the designs are... They all blend together in my brain, because they're not distinct enough. Yeah, it's not like a lightning bolt and then, like, a water drop. Yeah. Aw, yeah. oh, that's a shame. I think it'd be kind of neat if, like, if they wanted to maybe vary it from, like, older badges. Like, have, like, a color theme for whatever... Like, I don't know, like, I, I haven't played the games, but let's say it's, like, red, blue, purple is the color theme of the game. Each one, though, visually is designed like a lightning bolt striking, but in those colors. You know, a wave in those colors, that kind of deal. So it yeah. the theme of the setting, but also, like, this is clearly the water badge. It got a wave! Yeah. They've been at this for, like, 27 years, though, so probably getting strapped for ideas. That's fair. <laughs> Listen, but I'm pretty sure they're not watching this, but people at the world of, uh, I forget the name. Game Freak. Thank you. Game Freak. You need ideas for a Pokemon, hit me up. I, uh, I have taken courses on ecology and evolutionary biology. Me and Cream, we can help you with animal ideas. Game, game Freak. Do better. Do better, Game Freak. Call us. <laughs> at, uh, 999, we can do it better. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Game Freak, just... Game Freak, like... Just... Give yourself more time to develop a game. Really? Really, please. Get Gina Sonority on the phone to make a new mystery dungeon. 
Coliseum. I know you don't respect those games, but shut the fuck up and just do it. And well, and give yourself like three years to make a mainline game this time. Mm -hmm. Cause like at this point, guys, you're going through all the different settings in the world. You're gonna have like nowhere else in the world to drop <laughs> like no oh, Pokemon. No. Listen, there's only like a handful of games right now. They've not even put a dent in how many countries they can reference. Mm. Yeah. Especially because, like, the first four of them are all in Japan. Yep. Mm. There's no Australia generation, there's no Egypt, there's no Brazil. True. I feel like you could get some absolutely... Like, there, there are so many... Like, I don't mind some of the weird, like... You know, the, like, weird oddball Pokemon. You know, like... Like, for example, the garbage one, I actually could see existing as like a creature that evolved alongside humans. Yeah. You know? Looks like trash so we can get food. <laughs> I'm like, that's kinda neat. I love but then trash. there's the yeah, trebuch like you know, I've I've seen some people like ra oh, not, not not a lot. I think like when Trebuch first came out maybe. Yeah. But now I'm like, Trebuch actually makes a lot of sense. But then there are some that I'm like Anytime there's an object Pokemon, people hate it at first for literally no reason. Yeah. Mm. Like, as leave Clefty alone, you piece of shit. Yeah, as if Magnemite is like the peak pinnacle of object monster design. Yeah, yeah. this floating eyeball with two magnets attached to it. Geodude is a rock with arms. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I feel like, well, I would like to see more... Like, because there are some cool animals out there that you could convert to Pokemon. Like, guys, y y you're, you, one of your snake Pokemon is just Cobra backwards. It's just a fucking snake. It's Gen really 1 big Pokemon snake. are superior for that reason. <laughs> oh, no, for that, oh, no, for that, they are absolutely, like, I will always love Gen 1 for that. But, like, yeah. it does not knock some of the later ones, too. Yeah, it's just... Anytime somebody's like a Gen 1 elitist, I, I don't understand them as a person, and that makes me not like them. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand the game, because having gone back to replay it, like, it does- it is fun in a way that it's a slog, but just enough that you kind of enjoy the challenge that it presents. Yeah. But outside of that, and like, here's the thing, the- the Pokémon sprite art in that game are really good, but no one talks about how good the designs are for Gen 1 in terms of the sprite art. In fact, people actively shit and, like, talk bad about the sprite art for Gen 1 and 2. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there like, these are the best fucking sprite arts I've ever seen. Look how stupid this bowling pin Chansey looks. And people hate this stuff? Well, and yet they love this stuff? Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say Pokemon Yellow was an improvement in the sprite category. No, but I love how stupid they look. No, it is endearing, but it is bad. Like, objectively, <laughs> they look bad. <laughs> but that's the great part about it. It's why I like it. Yes. You can like it, and it be bad at the same time. Just like, yeah. uh... My connection with, um, that little goblin thing. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it is not something other people would buy. But they should. <laughs> Here, and I just... I just like the the stupid look on Golbat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Why did I make this? Why did why you make this? See, the, the, the real question is, why not? I did ask why not, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> no, you said why am. The question yeah, I is, know. why uh, not? I, 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 I mean, initially. Ah. I, I made this because I said why not. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm like, why am I making this? I'm reversed. You reverse? You gotta reverse, reverse. <laughs> reverse course. I toss an Uno card at you. You're a oh, one at why not?
Yeah, I, we mentioned this earlier. Actually, we were talking a lot about the the universe of Pokemon, but I brought up um, how I think it's kind of boring that their settings are just like, here's a city, and now here's the city with an electric cat standing in the on the sidewalk. It's like, y'all literally have these fantastic beasts and you have done nothing with them. You have these creatures and you just make a setting that's a normal ass mo- Do I anything. Know. At the very least, at least they incorporated a Pokemon that you could ride on and that other people ride on. Mm -hmm. Frequently, instead of it being a rare thing that only you are doing. Yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> Nimona's poor Gato just used Home Call three times. Guys, I'm scared. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who's in the go fast. Oh no, it used but Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened? It used Bite. It only dealt 30 damage to my Appleton. Phew, you're okay, Appleton. Don't die. You're precious. Oh, I'm faster than it. I lowered its speed, and it's down. Get wrecked. <laughs> Be gone, creature. Why the fuck do they even bother to give us, like, the option to say no to things if they're just gonna say, ah ha you meant yes, right? You didn't mean to say no, you meant to say- uh Huh? I know, I- like- like, just like, just give it a. Here's the here's the friendly option. Here's the snarky option. Yeah, like, like Final Fantasy does that, where it's like you can choose to either you don't say no, but you can either be like silent, brooding, uh, that's dumb, or great idea, friends. Yeah, Persona does it too. P three, P three. My favorite options: ellipses or I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, come on, and you lose that choice. One of my favorite Pokemon illusion of choice things is in um, Pokemon XD, where you're fighting Mirror B, and he's like, do you want to join my gang? And you can say yes or no. And if you say yes, he says, oh, you say yes, but I am sensing some hesitance in your soul. Let me ask the same question again. And I'm like, oh, I want to hang out with you! What? There was no hesitation. No. What I find especially sad as well with that is it's like, okay, maybe, like, alright, this group, like, you don't have to have, like, okay, we're gonna rewrite the entire story. Just have these characters occasionally, I don't know, in the background of fights, have them there cheering for you. Like, say yes, you get a little badge on or something. That would be so fun! And then, like, yeah, just occasionally in fights, in the background, you'll see, like, a bunch of the gang members of Sign saying, YOU CAN DO THIS! <laughs> It'd be funny, it'd be a cute little cameo, it would also feel... Like, even if, like, yes, it doesn't alter the world of the game, it feels like y you have an effect. Yeah. You know? But we can't have nice things. <laughs> Don't say that. We can't have nice things. <laughs> Don't say that! It's Pokemon. That's what, that's the, it, the subtitle of Pokemon is we can't have nice things. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, okay. Sorry. We can't have nice things, bracket. Expecting Game Freak to give it to us. We have to do yes. it ourselves. Bracket. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, speaking of nice things the Game Freak took away... Oh no. Fuck them for not making TM, like, more than one use. Again! Oh yeah, I, I've, I've never- I haven't played a lot of Pokemon, cause I'm not usually the best of turn-based combat games, but I know about the TMs, and that's- that's bullshit, come on. 
Yeah. No. Like, Gen 5 introduced it. And, like, Gen 8, they did this kind of, like, stupid but otherwise innocuous thing of, like, yeah, TMs are infinite use, but we have these things called technical records, which are break on one use. And I'm like, all right, I literally don't understand why you did that, but sure, okay, put that in. And then this game, they're like, TMs are one use, and in order to get more of them, you have to battle to get materials from Pokemon to be able to craft them. And I, whoever's idea that is, I want to shake them violently. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, go ahead. That's ridiculous. If, if anything, what I'd be saying is, ra rather than being one use, I'd be like, you can make it, oh, and BTW, um, if you do this well enough, here's Billy Bob Joe, uh, he will buy them, and you can have, like, a little business, so you can earn, like, money. But, like, yeah. they're not breakable. They're not breakable. One, one thing they added that I really like is if you use a TM on a Pokemon, and then you later rewrite that move, you can have it remember that move. Yes. So, that's a great thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they make move remembering automatic, or, no, I'm back. They made it a lot more... You don't have to go to one man to get your Yeah, you just do it yourself wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> Which then begs the question of, why do they only know four moves still to begin with, if they do remember these moves? I know, it, it would it would make way more sense to just treat it as, like, you have a list of moves, and maybe, I don't know, like... I mean, heck, it would also add a level of, like, challenge to maybe different gyms, where it's like, yeah, you know that one move that's really good? If you want to beat this rare challenge, you can't use that one move. Well, they can't do that because that's a Final Fantasy style JRPG thing to do. And this is Pokemon, which is competitive and not a JRPG at all. We're a competitive game. We have to think of the meta. Uh. <laughs> if anything, um, the four move limit is broken with um, the high level raid battles, which I think is really fun. Because it's like, oh, you still have four moves, but this boss Pokemon is going to be the hardest thing you've ever fought in your life because it has seven moves. Yeah, you know what else has seven moves that's still difficult regardless of how many moves you have? Any boss fight in a JRPG. But again, this is Pokemon. Yeah, we're not a JRPG. This is Pokemon. That's my favorite thing about Pokemon, is that it's it's a turn-based game that tries its hardest to not be a JRPG, despite its origin being from, like, inspired by RPGs like Dragon Quest. Yeah. Like, it's hilarious. Like, it's just kind of one of those things where, like, you know, they try to be like, Oh yeah, no, we're not an RPG. It's like, you know, I want to put my hand up and be like, e e e Yes, you kind of are, that's why I don't play you. I don't- I am not good with turn-based games! I don't play these kind of games! They're really cool to watch, but I don't play them! You're an RPG! Yeah. yeah I, just a, it... I, I just got a flashback to when you were playing the mummy game. Because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for some reason, that was like one of the most relaxing things to watch. <laughs> You would just be going through that tube, and I'd be like, wow, my brain's shutting off, I'm so in on this bitch. <laughs> I mean, okay, the thing is, though, I wasn't exactly trying to activate any of the mummies I don't like. Yeah. Like, you see me with Ufris, and there's, like, or, like, hell, even with the uh, Rathos alone, I'd, I'd be yelling, you know, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. Aw, oh, man, you <laughs> Save have eaten. Have any of, you, any of you either heard of a game called Lethal Company? I know I read it into somebody playing that, and you told me about that game at one point. Yeah. Um. It's. Okay, so it's definitely. It is not Phasmophobia. Like, it's not Phasmophobia style or anything like that. Um. The entire setup just is go to different moons and collect, uh, <laughs> trash to sell. Mm -hmm. Um. You have three days to. So there, there actually is a. Um, I guess I'd almost 
in, I, I, I don't think this is accurate at all. Uh, it is like a very loose version of, um, what's this game? Thinking? Like, a, you know Hades, where like, you have to go through each time, and if you die at any point? Oh, it's a roguelike. Roguelike, but in the sense that if you fail to meet the quota in three days, you start from the top. Uh, and okay. the more the more day or three like the more cycles like I call it cycles you beat uh, the harder the quota but also the more money you earn which will allow you to buy better gear more gear or go to the harder moons who have more stuff but also deadlier things. <laughs> um, and oh my god, that game is fun, but oh god, it can be scary at times. That yeah. that one is not a game. Uh, I would have to play with someone else. I could not play that alone. At all. Uh, but that one's fun. Uh, I'm so sad my friend who I played with this did not clip this. Um, one of the creatures in the game is called a Bracken. And it, its whole thing is... It, it will charge at you if you look at it too long, but if you turn to look at it, it backs off. So... The idea is you want to kind of at least get it ready in your like be ready to kind of look at it to keep it back. It tries to sneak up and kill you, and it's one of the harder creatures. Like it's an insta kill if it gets you. Um, and we didn't know about how gnarly this guy was um, until a little later. So the very first time we met him, we didn't know we met him because we didn't even see him. Like we had missed. Like he, he he's very hard to see at times if he's in the dark. Mm -hmm. So, we must have missed him. I'm behind my friend. I'm following after. And I think this is one of the few times where I got so scared, I actually couldn't make a noise. Like, I did like did deer in the headlights a little scared. Um, a hand suddenly covers, like, flies over the like my screen. And then I'm instantly killed. Damn. Because the racket snaps your neck. And then he drags you away, your corpse. Um... So for my friend, meanwhile, he doesn't hear anything because it's so fast. It's just he's talking, he turns around, and there's a trail of blood, and I'm gone. That's hilarious. <laughs> and I'm like, that is the scariest thing. Meanwhile, our other friend who's on the ship, because um, you can have someone stay on the ship to open certain doors, um, as well as keep track of monsters, and uh, at a later point in the game, if you get enough money, you can actually teleport people out of the, uh, locations. Mm -hmm. Um... Me up, Scotty. <laughs> they can also keep track of your body. So, like, usually you can kind of tell someone's dead because they stop moving on the screen. <laughs> if, they're, if they're not moving around at all, they're likely died. Uh, they just see on the uh, radar my body flying off elsewhere rapidly. <laughs> Whoa. As the bracken just he he drags me away. <laughs> That's so funny. It is. Uh, another really good one was in a coil head, which are they're they're like um, SCP-736 or the like the peanut, the one you, you stop looking at it, it kills you. Oh yes, that one. Yeah. Um, you can usually tell they're coming after you because their whole stick is they're like a mannequin, but their neck is a coil, so you hear the thung, like if the coil's shaking when they jerk to a stop. <laughs> oh yeah, it's. Funny. Oh yeah, it's funny, but they mad dash at you if you look away. <laughs> and I had one where I, I didn't know what was going on, and then I just I s screamed as suddenly it jerks to a stop in front of me. Because <laughs> oh, it got my line of sight. They are they're unpleasant. Um, oh, the the nasty part about them, and I kind of I actually like this about the game. Um, there are sort of cues that can tell you how someone died. Because one of the things that can help you not die is if you know how they died, you know what's in the uh, factories or the manor, which is one of the maps. So, for example, there are giant spiders. If you find a webbed up body hanging from the ceiling, there's giant spiders around. Um, some of the other ones are just kind of like you listen for it. Um, the coil head's a nasty one. You know someone's been killed by a coil head because their head's missing and there's a coil in its place. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, it's like, not, the graphics are not, like, fancy-fancy, yeah. um, so it's not, like, the nasty, but it's still, like, oh my god! Yeah, conceptually, <laughs> ew. Yeah, conceptually, ew. Um, 
What else is there? Uh, there's the little girl, which only haunts one person. Uh, I never saw her, but I heard her laugh once, so she was definitely coming for my ass. Um, she essentially kind of stays at a distance. Uh, eventually she'll start, like, kind of quickly skipping towards you. Um, that one's fun if you're not the one being haunted by the little girl, because if you see the person, uh, all that'll happen is your friend's head will suddenly pop off. <laughs> you have no idea, because the girl only goes for one target at a time. Everyone else can't see her, or hear her. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. Uh, one clip I saw that was hilarious is someone who yelled out, you know, when, like, they knew they were about to die to the little girl, because they couldn't get off the planet in time, they're like, You wanna see a new neat trick? And then suddenly they just collapsed dead. That's really good. Mm -hmm. No, there's, there's some good ones. Uh, it, it's a really fun game, but it can be a little bit challenging at times. Like, the worst combo you can ever get is, like, Bracken meets Coil Heads. Uh, and then Slime. Um, because the Bracken, if you look at him for too long, he just dashes at you to kill you. But you can't look away from the coil heads. But if he's in the line of sight, and you can't turn your back to him, you're kind of in a, well, shit, I can't look away from the coil heads. But I can't look at the Bracken. <laughs> I have a lot of cleanup work to do on this. Oh. <laughs> that line's a clean baby. Oh, no. Oh. Woof. Big oof. I have to go around everything a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blame most of it on the fire because that's definitely where most of it's coming from. Mm. Oh, another uh, funny one as well is um, there are mines and turrets inside, which are easy enough to avoid. Um, but the one time, uh, and I don't know why, because I've seen the mines before, but I guess this day I was just having a dumb moment. I stopped, because they, they activate if you step on them. Like, if you step, like, they're like, step on, uh, they turn on, if you step off, they blow up. So yes. you're kind of like, you're stuck. Um, I had one time where I found, like, ooh, there's a, there's a thing here, I picked that up, and then I bend down... And I'm in front of this mine. I'm not on it. I'm trying to pick it up. <laughs> For like a few seconds, I'm just clicking like the button. And I'm like, why am I not picking this up? And then like, I kind of wait a moment. And then I hear the titular like mine sound. Like, there's a sound I guess that kind of like tells you it's there. And I backed up and went, oh God, <laughs> that's a <laughs> mine. <laughs> I almost died. I almost died indeed. <laughs> Can't I pick up the shiny thing on the ground? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, why can't I pick this up? <laughs> I just looked back, I'm like, oh god, no, I know what it is. Oh Shit. no! Oh no! Oh god, there's there's so many funny moments. Um, like, it's, it is it is a really fun game. Uh, because, oh my god, there's also creatures. So the way the game works is there's a map, like an outside map, and then there's the inside factory, which is where all the gear is stuff you're collecting um and one of the things you got to be careful of is at certain points in the outside part of the map uh as the day progresses because you have like till till 12 a.m to get back to the ship or else the ship mm -hmm. just leaves without you uh there are creatures that also roam the grounds outside especially when it gets later um there's these monkey baboon creatures that are... I don't know how to keep them at bay. Um, I think I just gotta stop running away from my friends. Uh, when you're alone, they will wreck you. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's these one called eyeless dogs. Uh, you cannot make any sound around. Uh, they're not too hard to navigate, but it can be a bit killer. And then the worst one is the fucking giants. Uh, they will pick you up and eat you. Uh, which is funny because there actually is you can uh, right click to get a sort of outline of what the creature's like and the giants funny enough don't need to eat but they have the mind of like a, a like a young toddler so even though they don't really need to eat normally um, they still kind of have this attitude of funny thing let me put in mouth 
that's fun. And that's how you die. <laughs> it's like, it's like that uh, video about there's a baby picking up a phone and then putting it in her mouth. So you just the camera goes dark because you're this point of view from the camera on the phone. <laughs> and when it goes dark, it does the you die thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Dark Souls, video. you died. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it's it is definitely a fun game. Uh, it's so good. I, I I'm hoping to play maybe some more tomorrow. We'll yeah. see. I'm I'm also been working on something. What you working on? A story-ish idea mm. that I will likely write. I'm sort of drawing characters, but I'm also like I don't have the time or really the skill at the moment to do a comic if I wanted to. Skill doesn't matter. Have you heard of One Punch Man? Fair. I don't disagree on that, but I also do not have the time. That's fair. Because it takes me an hour at least to get home. Yeah. And, uh... At the same time, I'm still kind of working out at least the characters. Like, I got the sort of setting and the rules... ...of the world sorted for the most part. It's just now kind of getting, like, characters and how they connect, because it's a big cast. I believe in you. Yeah. Actually, I will <clears throat> at least send, uh, I'll send just to you guys the image so far. Let me just get rid of all the shading that I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, just be, be like me with Bull and Mai's pretend Digimon comic. <laughs> Where I just keep thinking about it and writing stuff in a Google Doc. And then that we'd is... be like, what if the character was like this? And we're like, that would be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Speaking of which, hold on. Um, oh. what? <laughs> I have to find, go back and find that picture. Uh, um, the fluff. <laughs> oh my god. Um, a good mind keeps haunting my dreams. <laughs> I had a dream a couple weeks ago where I was a good mind. Uh, and then the other night, I had a dream where he was in the dream, and he was like really cool. He, it was like a Goonie Mon, but with a motorcycle, and he had a motorcycle helmet that looked like Greymon's skull. And I'm like, shit! Stop making it cool! Um, <laughs> Cream, you take it away from here. <laughs> uh. I probably got to this point. Oh, yeah. So, prior to that second dream. Well, this, that second dream happened while they were on their trip, um, and I texted them while they were on their trip, Hey, for a pretend comic, because we're gonna, we're thinking about a, like, a hybrid human Digimon, uh, character who's like, mom is a human and father is a Digimon, we haven't figured that out yet. What if we have a Goonimon as the dad? And they were like, I don't hate that, and I'm upset that I don't hate it. Then they had that a Goonimon dream. So they decided, okay, you know what? It is going to be a Goonimon, and I'm going to design what he looks like as a human. Human form disguise, right? Yeah. And, mind you, Bull has never played Monster Hunter games. I've never talked to them about a Monster Hunter game or characters in it. I've maybe mentioned the monsters, but none of the human characters, because they don't generally matter. So Bull sends me this design that they did right when they got back from their trip, right? Yeah. And I I didn't say it to them then, but I got into the call during the stream, and I told them about and I told them uh about their human Agunimon character, and I said, that motherfucker looks exactly like the Admiral from Monster Hunter <laughs> who looks a little something like this. Let's put them side by side. Oh my god. <laughs> I made the same guy. <laughs> and I, again, I did not talk to Bull about Monster Hunter. I usually don't really. I especially don't talk about the human characters, because again, they, they matter so little in Monster Hunter games that they usually don't even have a name. They just go by titles like the Handler and the General or the Admiral. This guy doesn't have a name. So, 
imagine my surprise when I see Human Agudimon and I'm just- I'm replaying Monster Hunter World, by the way, because I got a craving to play it for the first time in years, and I'm just like, Yo, that's the same man, and yep. they don't know it's the same man. I have never seen this man in my life until today. Oh my god. But I definitely just made the same guy. You just yep. made the guy. The only, literal only difference is the, the, uh, goatee. That's it. <laughs> yep. They're going to be, he's going to be equally as jacked, equally as tall. Oh my god. Oh. I know that? why you came in here, Sarah. <laughs> we know you were here. I saw him. He was like a, a ghostly apparition. <laughs> well. Yeah. But yeah, tried I, metal pipe. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured as well. Uh... But I said nothing about this character's existence, and then I told Bull, by the way, every Monster Hunter human character is generally the same size. They're always the same height, like, regardless of whether they're a male or female, like, character model. They're usually the same height and generally the same build. Except for this guy, who, who is, like, seven feet tall and wide as a doorway. <laughs> Which is great, because a Goonimon and the human form of him was gonna be really stupid tall! <laughs> just made the same guy. You just... You just channeled him. <laughs> you, ch you channeled him and he came into existence. Yeah, I guess he also has his little brains here. Oh yeah, he's got but those. But those are hard to notice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really are. Even in-game, it's kind of like... If you don't look directly at them, you you can easily miss that they're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've I have drawn a goodie mine. I think uh I I I think I have frontier Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> yeah, you do. This is a rough of what the Greymon motorcycle helmet look like. Yo. <laughs> I might do it a little different if it's like actual Digimon form. Like, switch around his mask to be more Greymon like. Yeah! If it's on the top half. But this was fun to draw, regardless. Hell yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Digimon. 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 Yeah, Frontiers. Frontiers is a time. At least we got Ice Debbie Mon out of it. Rude. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. <laughs> I'm you not bring up the clip? Nope. Yeah. Nope, I'm not. Oh. There is oh. something else. Oh. What are you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I only use this for one stream, I'm using it again now. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta use that for, like, when I force you to sit down with me for a stream to talk shop about our non-existent comic we're not making. Yes. <laughs> that being said, currently Digimon has an ongoing, uh, online series of short stories called Digimon Seekers. Well, they'll do that thing where they'll post, like, a main thumbnail image that, uh, usually depicts, like, a scene, uh, that is described happening in that short story page. Uh, and I probably would want to do something like that, at least for this. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, because then you could do, like, a piece of art for a scene that is based on, like, that segment of the short story, and even, like, multiple image where the other image is like hidden further down as like a nice little uh a nice treat yeah, yeah. i uh um, that would be really fun but I'm, I, I'm also i still want to like storyboard um the vile zebimon transformation for fritz because <laughs> it would fuck hard and be really disturbing in a fun way Also, hi, Jerky Hello. Hello. Okay, did 
did I do it? No, I got real close. Oh, I see. It's this one. Cleaning up the sketch to be your line art is all fun and games, so until you do a bad sketch. <laughs> it's all fun and games until you have to do line art. <laughs> At least I did. Oh, that's valid. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Dude. You're free! I see. Go, go, go. Oh, shush, babe. Hey. Hey, also, I'll be back for a second. I'm gonna go get me some food. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bathroom break real quick, too, when I'm done saving. Yeah, I'll be here. Do you want me to leave you in charge? Sure. Alright. Go crazy. I'm looking out over all these little figures, moving back and forth. They're all right here. Hello, everyone. It's just me right here right now. I was watching... I was watching uh, an AMV about the Digimon Ghost Game Evolution sequence. And, oh, no, wait. That might just be their actual tracking. I was watching some AMVs, uh of the Digimon Ghost Game Evolutions, because those are... They're really good sequences. The animations, just chef's kiss on those. Um, but I gotta say, like, I can only... I can only enjoy Ghost Game when I pretend the semblance of a plot doesn't exist. Because it really... It really has moments where... Some, to set something up as being like, an interesting, like, unknown factor, or, like, something that's gonna have a lot of payoff later, and then it doesn't, and there's no reason for it. It just doesn't. But, um, the show itself is really good if you are interested in things like... If you like Digimon, and you want to see the concept of a Digimon doing the most messed up stuff in a way that you did not think that Digimon would be capable of doing, it's a really great show. One of my favorite episodes involves Digitamamon eating humans and vomiting up sand as the the remaining parts of their body. Uh I wouldn't necessarily say that. I would say it more got screwed by the fact that the in an interview with uh, like I forgot who it was. I think it was the director. Just like having this false mentality that people have shorter attention spans these days, and so they can't uh, really sit down and watch a serialized uh, television series anymore with things like TikTok existing. And just the nature of consuming media being in, like, short format. Which I don't agree with at all for numerous reasons. But it it suffered mainly because of that logic and reasoning. Which resulted in, you know... An episodic series can be enjoyable as, like, their standalone thing. I don't mind that. But it really did just, like, have this weird... It had this weird, like tinge about it of trying to bake in a plot that didn't need to exist or that didn't really want to exist within it. But also I will admit that like Digimon lately just as a whole as a brand has kind of been doing a lot of pandering to to fans of the original like Adventure 01 and 2 series. 
Which is also kind of, like, gross, but I understand it. Oh, snap! I didn't know that. I didn't know about that, but also... I mean, if it was, then the merch team didn't really have much whims to impart upon it. At least that's what it felt like. Outside of maybe... Like, Gammon specifically, I guess. Because Gammon, you can definitely feel like... There's a lot of ball dropping when it comes to um, scenes and episodes revolving around him and Hero. I don't know, if there's an article about it, I definitely would want to read on it because I'm, I'm fascinated by that kind of stuff. Yes, I see you pointing. Uh-huh. Three words sounds like Ice Devi Mon Oh no <laughs> Thank you, Kazu. Welcome back. Thank you. You made it back before Fluffs did. I sure did. I... Wait, I had like... Two or three bites. Excuse me. Well, after my dinner, I'll put it in the fridge. Um... Yeah, I was gonna say, you sound like you're panting. I'm not panting. I have, a um, gas buildup. Hmm. It's I'll ice did Ice Digimon. Get it right. <laughs> Don't blame them. Digimon is niche. <laughs> I have um, one sound alert for Ice Digimon, and it's if somebody gives a subscription, and that's it. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about people who are uninitiated to Digimon watching or just consuming any like Digimon media at all is the like the preconceived notion of you know Digimon being that Pokemon ripoff and then they consume a piece of media of it and they sit there and they're like I I didn't know the Digimon talk I didn't know the monsters talked and it's like yeah they certainly do talk they sure do and they got a lot to say in some cases. They sure like to talk, and in the case of Impmon, they like to talk shit. Hey. Hey. Whoa, whoa. Are the girls are fighting. Is it, um, is the, the motorcycle Digimon, or is it Machmon? Or... Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> what, what if, um, what if, uh, 
Rider of Beauty Bots, Motorcycle with a Bot Bot. <laughs> They're friends. It's not shaped enough in a way to have a human disguise, so it's just a motorcycle. So just, oh my god, could you imagine being that kid and growing up in a household where you, like, you go into the garage and your dad is talking to his motorcycle and you're like guys like uh why do dads always like why are they always obsessed with their automobiles not knowing that the entire time your dad's motorbike has been alive and a creature what even better what if it's that combined with the slight suspicion that your dad's motorcycle is haunted because you could have sworn you saw it move by itself yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, like you get to the to Machmon's POV, and it's like Machmon is sweating so hard trying to get found out. Yep. Like, oh no! Uh, oh no! I can't get found out. Not right now. When they were get away with it, but they're older and smarter now. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, Beelzemon's bike is technically alive of its own accord in the Tamers anime. Yep. I mean, there's things in Digimon that are creatures, but they're not Digimon. Yeah. Like those things that are like unknown for Pokemon, I forget what they're called. The Digi-Gnomes. Yes, those. <laughs> And then Rhythm, for some reason, who I don't know what she's from outside well, of that one movie. Well, she says she's a Digimon, and I'm still of the belief that that movie in universe is actually a movie, and she's just a child actor. <laughs> You're like, oh, what do movies have? Actually, romance. Give Agumon a girlfriend. Yeah, we need a human character, but we can't have an actual human because the humans have been taken over by Algamon. Yeah, I don't think she's I don't think she's a canon Digimon. Yeah, she's not. She's literally only listed in terms of uh, that movie appearance. That's the only thing I could consider for her name, not having Mon on it too, is it because, like, humans wrote it and they're stupid. <laughs> I do really like that movie, though. It's really fun. It is really fun. Which is the other Digimon that's a, that looks like a human kid? Yeah, what's the other one? Human disguises don't count. Yeah, no, that's... There's a difference between, like, basically is a human, but it's just, like, talked about as being a Digimon, and a Digimon literally disguising itself as a human. Yeah, I'm thinking of that monkey from Tamers. Yeah, I'm also thinking of that monkey from Tamers because I hate that monkey. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Glad what happened to him happened to him. I mean, I guess they're the other, like, Digimon that is a human kid is Loosh from Next World Order. If you want to look... You can look her up. Yeah, if you just look up Digimon World, Loosh, L-U-C-H-E. Oh, yeah, here's this, yeah. Her, her entire makeup is 98.1% Digimon. Wow. Yeah. She's cute. I want to protect her. She is cute. I think I prefer Rhythm more, though. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know anything about this girl's deal, but... Um, rhythm is sure something. Yeah... She sure is, isn't she? Yeah, she's fun. If she comes up in another series, I would not be opposed. 
Yeah, and if anything, the existence of Rhythm and Lush also justifies the idea of a of a Digimon that is a human, or a yeah. human that is a Digimon. Yeah. She was named Mon! Oh my god, she- So, she and Ikuto from Savers need to- Wait, does she speak in clear- like, does she speak clearly, or does she speak in Tarzan broken speech? I'm gonna guess she speaks clearly. Because I think that's just a, uh, Saber's problem. Please, that would be so funny if she did. That would be so funny. Digimon re-arise, you have the opportunity to do the funniest <laughs> thing- Yeah! Ikuto, what's wrong with you? I think Ikuto like is that. just not very smart. I think he just... I think he just chooses to be like that. <laughs> That's so funny! I love that! <laughs> you know how Digimon, um... In, in some digital worlds, they have, like, aspects of the human world in them? What if he just yeah. found the movie Tarzan and kicked him too hard? <laughs> oh my god! By Mud Frigimon! That's great! Because Ikuto was raised by Frigimon. Oh, okay, so there's a trope that's happening here. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Does, does Mud Frigimon die? Well, she was raised by a village of them. Oh, well, does, does the village die? <laughs> <laughs> does the village die? The Can village. I go to... Let me go to Dutch the, does the village die dot com to see what the trigger warnings of sent are. Does the village of Montfrigimonddie dot com? Uh. Yeah, Digimon Re Arise. I don't know a lot of because it didn't come out to the West, so you can only get it by very legal means. A patch that translates it to English. All right, fair. God, that's so funny. They just meet up, and that that girl is like, "Why are you talking like that? You were raised by Digimon, right? Why are you so feral? <laughs> Stop being feral. Be Tarzan kid. Be normal. Be a normal Digimon like the rest of us." Explain yourself, Korean. Wait. Oh fuck, I'm thinking of re-digitize, not re-arise, sorry. They have extremely similar names. They do. That's my mistake, sorry. Oh. You can cheat. Oh. Hello. I have food. Yeah. Yeah, re-digitized is the one that didn't come out to to the West. Re-Arise is the phone game that the servers got shut down on during, I think, either this past year or last year's Digimon Con. Yeah. I know, I had just started playing it too! Shit. Personal attack. The cats are still fighting, by the way. The violence is unending. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to close, um... I forgot to hide the UI for... Vignon. The god oh, was no. not obstructing anything. Uh. Yeah. Probably yeah, Lee... Yeah, l completely legitimate legal means is the only way to play it in the West. But yeah, re re arise is the phone game that I only had just started playing, and now if I want to see the story of it, I have to look up if anyone posted it to YouTube. Yeah. Re digitized is the one I only have passing knowledge of, but not much because I did not I did not make the attempt to legally acquire it as of this moment. <laughs> Mm 
nor have I attempted to illegally acquire it. I have made no attempt to acquire it. <laughs> How could you say that? <laughs> Can my captions even say that? Hulk. Hulk. Okay, you got it. <laughs> there you go. You have to really enunciate that I thing. Really do. Stop fighting. Yeah. Yeah, Rena. <laughs> Rena makes an appearances in later games, and if you have never like even heard of Reed Digitize, her existence is an anomaly. <laughs> yes, Mire, Migakure, and Rina, uh, along with Vivi, both originated in Redigitized, and then go on to make future appearances in other, in later Digimon main or Digimon title games in general. Um, which is funny because they they appeared in a game that did not come out to the West, so you only really know who they are or have any concept of their existence if you are from Japan. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is... She... Oh, go ahead. Cream, this is a big guy. This is a big guy. This is a big guy with a lot on him. It's a big boy season. Yeah. Big it is indeed big boy season. Big boy season yeah. points at Umber Thule. <laughs> it's big boy season every year! Always! <laughs> <laughs> with Umber Big boy season every season. <laughs> like, the thing. You didn't have to go into this much detail. I didn't, but I wanted to make something insane because Digimon can be insane and I wanted to push my limits. <laughs> they can be, but they also don't have to be slash can't cannot be as well. Yes. But I want to get some <laughs> variety. You did this to yourself. I did, and he's gonna look so fucking cool when he's done. <laughs> and then we're gonna crumple him up like paper. Yes. Delicious. Yeah, Mire Mikakure plays uh, a big role in Digimon World Next Order, um, and a pretty like notable role in Cyber Sleuth because you go to her lab to to fuse Digimon. Uh, Rina is optional content in in Digimon World Next Order, but she is mandatory to progress the story in uh, Cyber Sleuth. So, again. They kind of throw in these characters that just kind of like, I mean, in their defense, they have about as much explanation of it. But they kind of just throw in these two characters and are just like, <laughs> like, no context for them other than one of them from an entirely different universe, like a parallel world. And the other is basically Digimon's equivalent of the Velvet Room attendants from Persona. That was the cats. I heard. Can y'all chill out? Let's see if I can snap a picture of that new uh, threatening pose. The cats just always in a threatening pose. No, well, sometimes they snuggle. <laughs> no, no, that's threatening. Shut yeah, up. I did get a cute video of them earlier. Snuggling, it was very nice. Aww. Away. Wait, can I info dump a little bit? Oh? Of course. So, <clears throat> the character designer for uh, Digimon World Redigitized is also the character designer for uh, SMT Devil Survivor 1 and 2. Uh, as a result, the designs of, uh, you know, the characters, aside from the art style being very reminiscent, in Devil Survivor 2, there are a pair of characters for the demon summoning app known as Nikaya, who are both like purple haired characters with or, like lavender hair characters 
that wear black and white outfits. Mire Mikakure is a lavender haired character who wears a black and white outfit. These two games have no, as far as I'm aware, connection to one another in terms of university. And yet the character designer <laughs> the character designer has essentially just made like the Digimon and SMT world equivalents of like Margaret, Theo, and Elizabeth from Persona 3 and 4. And I love that. That's it. That's the context. Okay. <laughs> the, con the context is the character designer unintentionally made designs reminiscent of characters from another franchise. Damn. Good for them, I guess. Or I'm sorry it happened. <laughs> <laughs> God, I have not touched the Digimon Cross Wars story game. One of my uh, bookmarked games that I listen to is actually the Cross Wars game. Ooh. That's what we're listening to right now, actually. <laughs> what if instead of watching Cross Wars, I just, I just made us watch a Let's Play of the Cross Wars game? Is it the same story? Uh, I just made us a uh, play of the Cross Wars game. <laughs> I'm looking at the link. I have to open Twitch because I. I forgot to open your stream. How could you do this to me? Oh yeah, these guys are straight up Team Rocket, aren't they? <laughs> team Rocket with the three humans. Here, I'll put a picture on, on screen. Team Rocket, but the three humans can just turn into Meowth and Wobbuffet. These characters- Okay, listen, these guys are fine, but these character designs are so precious! Your names are Uno, Dos, and Trace. Look at these! These adorable children! Babies. Also, oh my god, Creed, that this girl character kind of looks like a long-haired version of that Pokemon I'll see I showed you. <laughs> yeah, she does! Hold on, I gotta, I gotta show her real quick. Oh, size is bad. Come on. That's pretty close. Can't believe she was uh, taken from a Digimon universe, actually. That's her as a kid, actually. Well, they're both kids, they're just different styles. <laughs> That's her when she was really younger. Sure. This is like... 10, this is like 14. <laughs> yeah, puberty hit her hard, huh? I was full grown at age 12. Puberty hit you hard, huh? Yep. I used to be the tallest one in my grade because I got taller faster. on this thing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, oops. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, shade the fire so at least something looks finalized. What did you, which link did you click on to see that of those, those kid but characters? It's, uh, it says, uh, there's the hyperlinks for Uno, Dose, and Trace. I clicked them. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, you just scroll down on them. Okay, I see. Yeah. I got it. 
because I also saw Uno Dos and Trace, and then, but I looked at them as like individual art, and I didn't scroll down further than that. Dresden, the weedy pages don't show a Digimon form. Help! Evolutions. Oh! It's just, it lists them. It doesn't show pictures. Ah! One of them turns into Boxer later on. I see that. That's the first one. Yep. Ah, uh, so they just turn into the Digimon then. Wow. Oh, wait, no, they have other stuff. Oh, that one's cool. Let's do the second one. Ooh. Oh, wow! They have other stuff? What? Wait, oh. Wait, those links. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I looked at Eraser Alpha. These are cool. They fuse! Wow. Fun fusion. Yeah. Yeah, that... The article that you had linked only lists the, like, Digimon that fight alongside them, and then round four lists their fusion. It doesn't list their, like, separate uh, X-Eraser forms. Because, like, it lists their names. It lists names with, like, links to, uh, under members. And you can go to see that section. But even there, it doesn't show off those, um... Oh, no, wait, you have to go to the individual character and then go under evolution to find it. Okay. It You have to go through, like, two hyperlinks, essentially, to find it. I see. Me looking at X Eraser Alpha. What is that? Your first Sona? <laughs> <laughs> me, me at uh at Uno. What is that? Your first Sona? Cringe. Yo. I wish this thing had official art. Whoa. Oh yeah, that one's from uh Digimon World Two. Fox. Yeah. That game is a slog to get through. Okay. 
Yeah, the Digimon games do some really interesting stuff when it comes to, like, the concept of human-Digimon um, hybrid evolutions, or just human taking on a Digimon form in general. <laughs> and then the an Hi! Oh. Hi! Hi! And then the human form, and then the anime is just like, the coolest time it's been done is in the is in Tamers, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I actually thought that bio evolutions and Tamers were pretty cool. In Tamers, you said? No, in Sabers. Oh, in Sabers. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. You know what? I'll give you that one. Yep. I liked all of those guys. There was one guy who was an asshole for no reason, and but like in a fun way. And there was one he guy who was. Stupid. It was just an asshole for hire. Yeah. And then the girl who was batshit insane, and I love her for it. And a baddie, yeah. Yep. The the baddie Thomas bag by being autistic. <laughs> Actually, he didn't bag her, but he could have if he wasn't gay. <laughs> Yeah. She tried yeah. to bag him, and he's like, "Sorry, I only speak in homosexual." <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I can't read social cues, and also I'm gay. Sorry, me and Mark Galgamon had a thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> With each other, or? Oh. Did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mark Galgamon is hot. I mean, you're right. You're correct. And he's voiced by Zoro One Piece. Which only makes him hotter. Yeah. I only have correct opinions. <laughs> <laughs> One of my opinions being, uh, we can make it, we, we, we can make a good Iman, a dad, and a good dad. He's dad material. <laughs> uh, a family can be a human mother, a Digimon father, and an uncle that's a motorcycle. And the, the, the half-human, half-Digimon child who doesn't know that the motorcycle's alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we decide if we were going to give the hybrid child their own partner? I don't think we did. Um, I think it'd be cool if we did, because, like, what if, um... What if their, uh, mega form is like a fusion between them? Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. You read the Google Doc, so you see, you saw the thing, the, like, note I... Yep. ...about what the Digimon represent in this. Yep. Yeah. Which one of the characters is using an OC as an unhealthy coping mechanism? <laughs> oh boy. I guess we gotta decide that. I guess we do. Yeah, I guess. Actually, I think we need to first decide is that one of the protagonists or the ants doing that, and then decide from there. Um, I think it would be cool if. It was one of the protagonists, and it just like gradually gets worse, and then they have to have a, like a skull Greymon moment to get past it. Yeah. Yeah, also, when they have know. that moment of realization that like, why why aren't you becoming this thing that I like? Why aren't you digi evolving like I want you to? Why are you becoming what I want you to be? Yep. What's wrong with you? And then it's like that moment happened, and it's like maybe it's what's wrong with me. Yep. <laughs> I ran out of bookmarked Digimon games. Oh no! Spyro time. Spyro time. That's fair, I drew that Digimon stuff while listening to Persona music. No! <laughs> 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 also, Cream, I'm still adamant about there being a trail mod that has a human partner who's uh, like a middle-aged man. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks, train conductor. <laughs> First of all, shut up. Second of all, uh, I mean, what we could do feasibly is like, if if one of the, cause like with the with the the hybrid child's parents, we're establishing that there was a prior like generation of a uh, of human. Digimon like yeah. partner groups that went out. So if anything, we could probably say that like if we're having one of them literally having married and having a child with a Digimon, we can say that like another member of that like generation group had a Digimon that could evolve into Trailmon and then just decided, I think I prefer being here instead of living in the Oh my god. That would be cool. <sighs> That could be like a hint to um uh... The hybrid character being a hybrid, um, the, uh, the train conductor could be like, you know, you look a lot like somebody I once knew. You look like your, like, character who's your mother. Um, you look, yeah. you look like your mother. And then, um, the character's like, oh, that's my mother. And they're like, oh, that's fantastic. And then the, the guy looks at the kid for, like, another few seconds and thinks about it for too long. He's like, I'm gonna keep driving the train. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I gotta go talk to Trailmon quick, just to make sure we're staying on time. Yep. Ooh, that would be cool. Oh, hell yeah. Is so fun. Am I allowed to suplex the ghost train loco mod? <laughs> Why do you want to suplex him? <laughs> to make a reference. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a Final Fantasy game uh, where you have to fight a ghost train, and you can have the um, the monk character literally like, suplex the train. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see an image of it is really good. That's hilarious. Yeah, they put that ghost train as a fight in Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm upset that I, as a monk, cannot suplex that ghost train. You've been robbed. I know! I made the joke that they should have made, like, a special easter egg where if you play as a monk and you do the, uh, the limit break level 3, you get to literally suplex the train. Let me suplex that locomotive! Oh, I love... I love Trailmon and Locomon so much. And Grand Locomon. Grand Locomon. I am autistic, I'm not immune to train. <laughs> <laughs> Your autism for train Digimon. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't collect any train items, but seeing them fills me with joy. Yeah, I enjoy it. I had to have some serious self-control on that uh, gift shop that I showed you a thing from. Because they sure did have a lot of merchandise on their little mountain train. <laughs> I like trains aesthetically, especially the interior. Yeah. Like, there's just something about a train that's just... It calls to me, in a way. <laughs> Something about a train that's the uh, perfect mode of transportation that the U.S. does not have. Yeah. Like, we have them, but we don't have the Yeah. Ones. You can get pretty far on the East Coast, at least. Tiny model train villages are so nice. They're very cute. As a kid, I never understood them. As a young adult, I get them now entirely. I fully yeah. understand it. Back home in Texas, um, there's a store that's dedicated to Christmas stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But they have Sorry. a massive train set up. And it's like a huge Christmas 
town. And I just love staring at that thing. No. Speaking of Christmas, uh, my housemates and I are going to spend this weekend decorating. Yay! We, um, have been gifted a crazy amount of Christmas decorations from my brother's boss. Uh, wow. His, yeah, uh, my, his boss's mother-in-law uh, was moving to a retirement home, so they were getting rid of a lot of her stuff, including her Christmas decorations, so that's what we got them. And boy, oh. there is a lot of it. Yeah, my dad is like, was it earlier today he was wondering when he should start doing the Christmas decorations because he loves decorating the house. And I told him, well, Thanksgiving was just yesterday, so I'd say give it a day. I don't know, man. My Christmas starts like the week of Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's too soon. If Halloween can start in September, it is not too soon. Halloween only starts in September for the real f about it. Otherwise, it starts October 1st. Well, guess what? Guess who's a freak about Christmas? <laughs> Wait until December 1st! No! Wait until Black Friday, at least. It is Black Friday! Yay! Happy Black Friday! <laughs> <laughs> That's true! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that until Black Friday. Black Friday's today. Happy Black Friday! <laughs> God, try to be insane. <laughs> I'm the most functioning person in my friend groups, too. <laughs> Could've fooled me. Out of my friend groups, I'm usually on the more sensible side, unless we play D&D, in which case then sometimes I'm unhinged. So this is a rare, my personality is unhinged now, kind of time. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. We, I've been off stream for over a week, because I've been out of town, we need a little crazy energy in here. Yeah. yeah. I really want to see if I can finish this time. It is only 9 p.m. Yeah, it's only but 9 p.m. I, yeah, but I don't know when my body clock is going to get pissed off. Because I'm still EP from the trip. Adjusting Nine. to wake up at 7 a.m. for like mm -hmm. a week doesn't number on me. <laughs> Nine twenty six PM. What? You'll have until nine twenty six PM before you get sleepy. Oh, you mean you're you're uh, giving my body a timer? Yeah. You're silly. <laughs> I want to show you this Digimon. You know I love looking at Digimon. I want to show you this Digimon because I want to tell you about it and how I want to into the the non comic. Yes. <laughs> I love this freak. Look at when you see him. That's Mimicmon. Oh. Yeah, you do that and I'll read I'll read out his reference book info. Mimicmon, an adult Digimon that is thought to have mutated from security software used for protecting computer terminals. 
As a result of capturing and taking in virus types that invade its territory like a trap, its own attribute has become virus type as well. There are numerous Digimon sealed within its body, and the arms and horn coming out of its cage all originate from other Digimon. The weapon on its left Yeah, the weapon on its left arm, Deadshot, which is its movement, is also loaded from the Digimon it has sealed, but its power drops dramatically due to the data being compressed. Its special move is depriving the enemy of their freedom with the mist released from its cage, Hinder Miasma. Many Digimon are many Digimon that are immobilized by this technique are incorporated into Mimicmon's body. <laughs> <laughs> the necro non comic yeah it's based on those i mean those toys are still relevant because they made uh model toys like that for uh, um angoramon jellymon and gammamon they have like little figurines that sit in a cage like that but they are based on like those ones specifically the the ones you linked yeah, we don't look at these. oh yeah i've seen these yeah, honestly. I zoom in, and the first one I zoom in on is the tiny Leomon. <laughs> oh Actually, God. the the original Digimon V pets themselves are also based on this concept because if you look up what those V pet like little Tamagotchi toys look like, they the little frame around the uh, uh the screen is a little cage with a little like lock on it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> His eyes are so big. <laughs> That's my version of your of the bootleg Devimon that you want, except that one is official. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it, it, some of the ones in my eBay cart are actually official. I think I have one of the many mods from that set in there. <laughs> I love that you look right next to it, uh, and the Oku or the the Kawagamon and the Monochromon are both in their little like plastic uh, like seals, but he's out of his plastic. Like, so many of these are still in their plastic, <clears throat> but he and Garurumon are, are just out. They're out there. So I need to take a, a screenshot of my eBay watch list. I want to get myself these for Christmas, but I have to take back some money first. There's a pair. There's two of them. There's the wet one. He's, uh, waiting to catch Ajumon. <laughs> Don't call it the wet one. He's the wet one! <laughs> you know, the wet one. This one's blue. <laughs> <clears throat> this one's teal and no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've uh, mentioned. Good. <laughs> no, no, just like, oh my god. I I've mentioned this quote from a, a Drawfee stream of when they when they talked about like the Scooby Doo crossover with um I think it was Batman or something like that, but like the Scooby Doo. It was one of the old Scooby Doo crossover ones back when they used to do a lot of those, a lot, a lot. Likely Batman. Uh, yeah. And, like, someone in their stream chat said, You cannot fathom the depths of my autism for the Scooby-Doo Batman crossover episodes. <laughs> and I feel like that statement can be attributed to you right now, Devimon. <laughs> yes. 
we we cannot fathom the depths of your autism for Devimon. The depths of my autism look about like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. 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 Debbie has a lot of really nice merch, but I find myself only wanting the shitty ones. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, if I had a lot of money, I would probably end up getting that, um, really nice Debbie and Hanjibon statue. Mm hmm. And the very homosexual one. <laughs> yeah. I think about it often. But, like, in the meantime, these really scratch the itch. <laughs> These fucked up little dudes. I think these might be the same as this, but they're not discolored. Or these might be the official version, and this is the delay of those. Because they're posed the exact same way. Yeah. This one just looks like a worse casting. God. God, I can't wait to have those. They're very affordable. They are very affordable, but altogether not quite. Yeah. It's Especially not, because not. I've had zero self control in empty stores over the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> the Necro non comic. different video games bookmarked for stream soundtracks and it's not off the table but if i run out of digimon songs when i'm drawing digimon stuff i don't want to listen to pokemon <laughs> it feels sacrilegious yeah it's very insulting <laughs> not really but you know yeah it, it just feels wrong yeah not morally wrong, not legally wrong, just wrong. Yeah. I love the amount of, like, Pokemon-related content that I watch on YouTube, and so often I think to myself while watching it, Man, if only this person knew about Digimon! <laughs> Because they, especially ones where they're like coming up with new designs for Pokemon, either like redesigning them or coming up with them a whole cloth, and they're like, there's a Digimon that that's exact design that you would like, that this person would like, I bet. Imagine the world where people were into Digimon. Fucking, I imagine it every day. Well, it could be a monkey's paw situation. You know what? Yeah, that's true. I don't, I no longer imagine it every day. Yep. I I'm fine. Like, my my only thing is that I would like Bandai Namco to be better about, like, marketing and branding it. Or at the very least, just, like, I would like whatever team that's responsible for it to be, like, I don't know, a little more consistent or a little more uh, in touch with their, with their audience and not from a nostalgic angle, just, like, for a modern angle. But beyond that, I'm pretty much okay where it is right now. I hope whatever next anime they come out with actually has a story. <laughs> yeah, well, they're working on a game that's going to be revolving around the Olympus 12. Ooh. Which means we're going to see Mercury Mon again! <sighs> no! <laughs> yes! Dad! 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 Oh, dad Mercury Mon! Yes! <laughs> dad mode. Oh you know, no no not not Sir, not Sir, uh Sephiroth Mon not that not that Mercury Mon No 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 the the, the good Mercury Mon the cooler Mercury Mon yeah. <laughs> the, the, the amount of life you when I when I clarified which one It's like oh yeah no we mean the cool one the 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 one we all adore like, <gasps> Ooh, Dresden, that sounds fun yeah, that's Carney X that I showed you that one time. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, if you go into his channel, he does a lot of, like, he works with artists. I'm pretty sure he does, like, uh, properly commission them for it, too. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the solidarity of another Digimon YouTuber enjoyer. This <laughs> presence just cool like that. Yeah. Dresden's here watching my stream, but we're all the biggest fans of Dresden. <laughs> you, you, Dresden's just cool like that. Me, Sai Streamly. You. <laughs> Speaking of uh, being big fans of Dresden, my next commission is one for him. Ooh. <laughs> but I'm not starting it till Monday. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, shit, hold on. I think I need new earbuds. Huh. Oh, no. What? Whoa. Ah! Whoa, the left one is freaking out. Oh, Whoa. No. What? It's like it got really quiet and then really loud. Oh, no! <sighs> that ain't good. No. I love the sound quality of Skull Candy earbuds, but they really only last like a year tops. That's also not good. Ow! Ow! God, like when it gets quiet on the one side, it makes my ear hurt. Oh no! I guess I'm one earbud mode for now, but before I forget, I'm gonna go on Amazon and add it to my cart. Yeah. Out of your butt, it's necessity. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, with Mimicmon, the very obvious thing is to have it be hunting down Digimon. Oh yeah, definitely. But like, have it be really fucking terrifying. Like, <laughs> I know you don't play Persona, and I'm sorry I keep making this, <laughs> but something like the Reaper for Persona, where it's just a terrifying fucking entity that you have to be really sure you're ready to fight it to take it on. Because it only shows up if you spend too much time in a dungeon level, and then it just shows up. Whoa! That I saw that. That went hard. Let me just follow this artist real quick. Yeah, me too. Me too. Ooh. Let me show this. Yo! Thing on stream. Holy wow. shit! This is so cool. God damn! Let's kick ass. Thank you for liking Raremon enough to want to commission <laughs> that. That is like so good, Jesus Christ. Like 10 out of 10, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Mega level. Hang on while I while I do something on my Twitter for the first time in months and I retweet this. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of Twitter, uh, I'm about to go on a long tangent buckle up. Let's go! Yeah, let me, yeah let me do it, it first. I gotta set the tablet down and everything, and brace mode. So, there's this dice company. Uh, this dice manufacturer. That posted preview pictures of some dice boxes they were gonna come out with. And me, having good eyes, noticed immediately that they were AI art. Oh no. Yes. Oh, no. Um, so I commented and quote retweeted, like, ew, yucky, AI art nasty. Um, and then it started circulating, mostly because I pointed it out. Um, and I, I'm saying it's mostly me here because I'm going to be the one continuously getting the flack for this later. 
Oh, it's pretty, pretty in there. So, an entire day passes. It's been like eight hours and there's not a word from this company. And then the company, after eight hours, comes out with sketches to prove that they're authentic art pieces. These sketches look AI generated as fuck. Oh, yeah. no! Like, there's, there's parts of them that look passively real, but then the rest of it is like, I don't understand what kind of rendering process you're trying to do here. This doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for whatever happening in these spots. Um, and like, being an artist, I know many different artists' process, and none of this looks normal. Uh, uh -huh. Granted, maybe it's just an abnormal process. Um, so people are like, could you show the layers on your Photoshop file? Take I suggested, I commented and suggested, take a phone video of Photoshop or whatever you're using and scroll through the layers, turning them on and off. Yeah. <sighs> Twelve-ish hours later, they do this, and before they post it, they DM me directly to show it to me first. And I want to point out, this dice company has 40,000 followers on Twitter. So the fact that they came to me first for anything is really weird, because I'm not the only one talking about this issue. Yeah. So they DM me and they're like, uh, here's our evidence, what do you think? And I'm looking at this, and it's the most suspicious shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh. And I'm like, I'm like really sorry, and I could just be wrong, I am one person, but like, this is not good. Like, it doesn't look real. My opinion is unchanged, this shit's AI generated. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh, God. And then, hours later, they post their progress videos, quote unquote, or their um, evidence videos publicly. Not a soul is convinced. Everyone is like, this shit is bad. This is really bad. And then a day passes, and they delete everything. <laughs> they delete everything. People, are, people have been calling them out on their shit for days. And they delete it all, save for a couple of posts and replies to other people. And um, I, I am like, they, they post a, a picture of dice as if nothing happened, and I comment on it like, are y'all coming out with a statement or what? Um, and then I DM them later being like, um, like, this looks really bad for you as a company. Um, kind of, like, really bad that you would not only do that, but lie about it. Like, you could have just said, we didn't know that it would be received badly, so we'll take it back. Um, but no, they just straight up fabricated evidence of work. Oh. And then after I sent them my private DM, uh, hours later they block me. Uh, uh, they block me and are not saying a damn thing publicly. This is when I take the gloves off. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So this is how it's gonna be. I show all of the evidence they gave me in their in our DMs that they didn't post publicly, including one very clear close-up of some of the characters on the dice boxes that it's... The AI artifacting on it is so bad. Like, it's undeniable. Because they didn't post that picture publicly. They showed it to me first because I asked about it. And I told them that looked awful. <laughs> so I post a thread with that, including a bunch of um, posts other people had made where they, like, circle and outline everything in the artworks that looks at AI generated for evidence. And, like, after a day of that post circulating, or that thread circulating, they unblock me again and follow me. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then they DM me saying their statement, like, that, like nothing had happened. Like, hold on. But I'll read it to you. Uh, thank you so much for your message, praying emoji. I completely understand your feelings, as I am a creator just like you. I want to preface, this is a factory. This is not a singular creator. <laughs> yeah. 
The images on our packaging boxes are our own creations. Crafted with a great deal of time and effort, we deeply respect the hard work of every creator, and like you, we oppose the use of AI in creative endeavors. Yada yada yada. Um... They say we can't claim to have done something we haven't, because I'm, I'm like asking them to make an apology. And they're like, but we didn't do it, so we can't apologize for something we didn't do. And I'm like, but you did, and you're lying to my face. And you're lying to all of your customers. <laughs> all of your 40,000 Twitter followers. Yeah. And like, it's, it, it, I said I'm at a loss for words, wow. And then hours later, they respond to me in all caps saying, I did not block you. And I'm like, yes, the fuck you did. Yeah, and then you unblocked me and messaged me back. So they're, they're absolutely, like, not even stretching the word. They're gaslighting me. <laughs> what oh the my fuck? God. And then, um, way later, after that, after I say, um, you unblocked me to, mes and to message me back, they say, um, hello. Like, I'm. First off, their last message was in all caps, very uncharacteristic, and then it's like their, their PR person came in afterward to say, Hello, I am puzzled as to why you are so upset. Using AI for art isn't shameful, but we haven't done so. The rest of their message can be disregarded. Because they said previously, we deeply respect the hard work of every creator, and like you, we oppose the use of AI in creative endeavors. And now they're like, using AI isn't shameful. So I'm like, okay, how many people do you have on your PR team, and how badly are they arguing right now? <laughs> oh my god, how many, like, not not just the PR team, but specifically the social media PR yes. team. Yes, it's, uh, when I posted the screenshots of this conversation, somebody was like, it's like Timmy got control of the DMs for two seconds, and then somebody took it back. For the all caps message. Yeah. So what? I've I've made this really long Twitter thread detailing this entire debacle because it's so stupid. And this company should not have anybody's money. And what I learned after making this is every dice maker has beef with this company because this company masquerades as like indie handmade, but they're yeah. a factory in China that steals independent artists' designs and molds. Oh no. It's bad. So any design you see on their site, you can find independent handmade. Um, having a factory dice company isn't bad, but when you're dishonest about it, that's kind of fucked up. So, all that happens. And then they block me again. Uh huh? <laughs> And then a completely unrelated issue happens, um, but still, like, bad for them, where yeah. they had been, um, trying to do collaborations with influencers and, uh, prominent artists in the tabletop space, where they'll yeah. send the artists free dice, or send the people free dice, um, in exchange for a shout-out. It's not, like, proper advertising, it's... Here's free dice, you tell us what you think about it, take a video, whatever. Um, one guy who's a very prominent tabletop um, influencer person yeah. did exactly that. He made his video being like, I found the perfect dice for an Underdark campaign. And um, without payment or asking permission or signing anything, this dice company took his video and put it in their advertising. Which is illegal. No. Well, yeah, it's bad. And after that started happening, this dice company started trying to do damage control and apologize to that one guy. But when they apologized to him, they unblocked me again and followed me again and still haven't said anything. Oh my god. So. I, it's- I, I'm engaged in psychological warfare right now. It's like- but it's like bad psychological warfare. Not in, not bad in terms of like, the intensity, but bad in like, a comical way. Yeah. Like, I'll- I'll link the, uh, Twitter thread in the stream if anybody wants to go through it because it's a nightmare. 
That's absurd. Also, those dice boxes are still for sale on their Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think you know I'll shout this company out by name. It's your wizards. You are wizards. Don't buy from them. All my homies hate them. All my homies hate these sons of bitches. Also, I've caused them to lose almost a thousand followers. Dang. Ah. I'm proud of you for sticking up to an injustice, but also, I I have no regrets about not using social media. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's... This is a personal vendetta at this point because they wronged me personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's valid. I would love to see that dress and give us a, 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 a cleanse. Yeah, oh yeah, also, oh. Yeah, well, while we're waiting for that in between this whole mess, they posted a dice giveaway to try to drown the issue. Oh no. <laughs> Guess what didn't work, bitch? Did, didn't work, motherfuckers. Stupid. Let me see. Let me see this Digimon OC, because I love people. Yeah. Jeez. I've seen this. I want this baby. Ah. Oh! That's a friend right there. Oh yeah, I follow this artist. Wow. The perfect one is so cool. I am just the blue eyes at this right now. Wow. Absorbs these into my being. Oh, oh, I'm obsessed with that Gurumon pelt on the skull Gladimon. That's really cool. God, these are good. That's freaking amazing. Absolute talent right there. situation yeah. is um I had like five or so different like actual independent dice makers follow me after this and I'm like oh, oh pretty dice oh, actually, actually I was about to say um did you get a bunch of followers as well? Oh yeah I did <laughs> yeah, I because, gained like fifty followers. Yeah because like what was hilarious is like occasionally because yeah I have Twitter but I just usually like occasionally check these days. Um, 
and I got like because uh, it updates me whenever people like or reblog uh, any images, like commissions I have where people reference me. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, got three more, <laughs> three more references. <laughs> if people like to the uh, Digimon on Brathul. Nice. Yeah, I have uh, retweeted that the other day that boosted some. <gasps> oh, I might explain it. Yeah. <laughs> My boy. Yeah, I have gotten um. I have some new dice mutuals, some artist mutuals, and I'm like, well, maybe in the world it is good. <laughs> <laughs> and there maybe is just there... evil in the world. There is hope in the world. Maybe. A little bit. I... I love that, uh... Revan Nightmon is a fucked up version of Omega Mon with the with the metal Garumon and Orc Raymon like pauldrons. Yeah. And then the uh oh, when it loads. The the proper skull Sarmon having the the Geo Greymon, Crimson Mon, and Monochromon like top skull pieces on its body. <laughs> oh, and the, uh, the, uh, Growlmon. <laughs> Digimon good and fun. <laughs> Digimon good and fun, cause it just says, cause it's like, hey, you wanna see some fucked up, really edgy stuff? Get ready, because this is now your new best friend. Yeah. yeah, one of the few times, um, Digimon was like, let me make something intentionally edgy, and I hated it, was that one from Frontier. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember his name. Eyeballs, man. Duskmon. Duskmon, fuck that guy. <laughs> Do better. I love... Yeah, I love... Do you hate him more or less than- More or less than what? More or less than Koji. Uh, less. Wow! <laughs> That's impressive. Yep. Well, it's Koichi that I really, really hate. Oh. Koichi shouldn't be there. Yeah, that's fair. Koji is mid. At best. <laughs> but you want to know who I hate more than all of them? Come on. <laughs> is it a? Is it an Italian girl? Nope. Wow. Oh, is it? Is it a horrible little little creature? <laughs> Is it the horrible little creature that looks like a, a middle-aged Japanese man? Yeah. Yeah. Hate that guy. I hate that guy. All my homies hate that guy. <laughs> Such cool shit. Not allowed. I can't keep up. <laughs> Fuck, I'm fighting Iono now. You got this. Oh, I forgot about someone donating 5,000 Poké dollars to her. <laughs> She's a Twitch streamer! I know, it's so <laughs> funny. She's just a silly Billy. <laughs> it's very funny, but also, I don't know, I didn't fucking consent to you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> when you walked in the gym, you did the gym, you had the side papers. No! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
Hopefully she's not asking you to do some stupid challenge. She did make me do a stupid challenge. I had to find a man. Oh, I'm meaning, like, I don't know, it's a hot pepper challenge. Oh, I would prefer the hot pepper challenge. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that's but that's because... Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, if that's, if that's your cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a freak who likes food. And also, you know I want to do that, like, really spicy chip challenge. Mm. I need to be there for this. Oh my god, I, there, on our trip, we went to this, um, specialty jerky store. Mm -hmm. And, um, they had a lot of exotic meat jerky, uh, which my brother bought a lot of, because, of course, um, like, one of the things they had in the store, <laughs> the label said, world's hottest nut. It was a really hot nut. I don't know if it was a peanut or something else. But it's like the one chip challenge with a nut. 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 We are middle schoolers. <laughs> nut. <laughs> Ow! Fucking belly ball, why do you hurt? Much shot, much shot, much shot, much shot, much shot. <laughs> Throws one in your eyes. Throws one in your eyes. Pocket one, pocket one. Oh! Ah! 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 What? What happened? My, ha my hound doom is at one HP. Oh god! Ah! Uh, I'm swapping you out. I'm swapping you out. Save it. Save it. That's the second time a Pokemon has survived with one HP in a gym bag. <laughs> Thank goodness for Appleton being Grass Dragon type. Uh. Each seed. <laughs> Yo, I kind of don't like Belly Ball's design all that much. It's not bad, but it's better. It's okay. Yeah. I do think it's cute that, um, Iota's partner Pokemon is that fucked up little thing. Yeah. I want to go through, like, a list of, uh, of the trainers that have names in this game that are, like, important NPC trainers and what their Pokemon are, or like, what their, like, primary partner Pokemon are, um, and see how many, like, how many Pokemon from that generation are officially teamed up they, with an important NPC character, and which one of them are, like, left, or, like, to use, you know? Yeah. Okay, literally it's not doing that much damage, it is fully recovering the damage that it do. Nice. Oh. E. oh, now he can learn the move Recover. Yay! This guy is a freak supreme. <laughs> I don't even entirely know what I'm doing. There's like parts where I know what color I want it to be, but then the rest of it's like, that sure is there, isn't it? That sure is, ain't it? <sighs> you sure are extant, aren't you? A bit. <laughs> I shrink myself a little because my Devimon wings are wide. Yeah. <laughs> A 
It taught Lindy two how to use dig. Lindy two. Yeah, the pseudo wudo. Lindy Junior. No, it's Lindy revived. Oh. As a pseudo wudo. Lindy the sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Lindy to electric boogaloo. I'm Banjo. 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 I can't finish this tonight, it's just wow, 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 wow. Uh, does her Miss Magius know any fairy type moves? Does what? Her Miss Magius? Um, yeah. I think so. Fuck! I'm gonna descend into Calculus. Go on, Calculus. Go, Calculus. You have no Calculus. Oh, he's going after that boy. Oh. Let's go. You have no Calc. <laughs> I'm, I miss my cats so much. Oh, it's fucking trip. We left, and like 30 minutes later, I was like, I'm sad that we're not with the cats. Oh. We need to get, like, a uh, baby cam to put in the living room when we're not home. <laughs> babies. There are babies. Baby. There are baby boys. No, you're faster. Oh, please, let me get this light screen up. <laughs> Calculus, Calculus, put this light screen up. <laughs> nope, you hit your, you hurt yourself in your confusion. Shit. <laughs> uh, no, you might not survive this, Calculus. Oh, you survived it! Please, put the light screen up! Uh, oh, you snapped out of confusion! Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, yeah. coming through. Uh, Come in clutch. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. I'm in danger. <laughs> I live for the thrill. Okay, you can... Oh no! Its special attack is rising each time it does this? Are you kidding me?! Oh no! No! I'm gonna have to sand attack. I'm gonna have to sand attack it and lower its... You got this. Survive! Survive! Oh, you're at 7 HP in a dream! Don't die. You're not allowed. Come on. I'm on the edge of my seat in fear. <laughs> oh, I lowered its accuracy twice. Can I get away with the light screen? No, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal just in case. Ow! Why didn't I teach my Appleton amnesia? Why? Top 
happily be done this. <coughs> oh, yeah, we can't believe we've done this. Oh, we crit! No! No! No, <laughs> Now I am corkless. You have no cork. Oh, please, Appleton, please have good special defense for this. You resist it. You resist it. You resist it. You definitely resist it. Leech seed, leech seed, leech seed, leech seed. No, don't hex him. Don't hex. No. Oh. And he's down. No, Is this gonna be a party sweep? Oh, I'm sending in my Tauros and I'm terror typing double kicking. Please, please, please. Please, you're so crystalline right now. <laughs> You're taking such advantage of how low- I'm sending you shrink. Open the grave. Uh, ooh, please, please. <coughs> oh, I, uh, <laughs> Come on. Come on! Come on! I'm gonna say ju just to hear how this ends and then after. Yes! Yeah! Oh, it's Hex and it's Charge B. Missed! So it didn't hurt him and he got two sets of double kicks off. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Blessed. Very blessed. You got it. Oh. Now we now we say goodbye to some to some MVPs who really did their best out there. Yeah. Farewell. I don't know, I'm gonna get your fucking Twitch channel a strike because you just killed people on stream. <laughs> Ripperoni. Please, let me save my fucking game. <laughs> Stop, I don't care about you, Primera. I don't care. I'm mashing the B button. I don't- I'm not reading what you- No, I won't challenge the Champion League challenges the Champion League anyway. <laughs> Uh, we say, we say farewell to Colkless, the Stantler, and to John the Appleton. No. John the Appleton, no! I was rooting for you! <laughs> John! John! John, wow. We, we, we thank, we thank Arceus for the safety that is leaving Zeo the Houndoom at 1 HP. <laughs> Blessed. Blessed be. 
and we shout out Swaggins, the Paldean Tauros, for getting the the clutch win with those, uh, with those misses on those attacks. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm putting I'm putting fluffs and I'm putting June the Merrill <laughs> into my party now. Yes, I return the mighty Gyarados. <laughs> the mood mood's not exactly as hype as it should be for your. What? You're boarding. <laughs> the mood isn't as hype as it should be right. Oh, that's fair. No, that's fair. If that was not a lightning dungeon, I'd have blasted them! Ugh, you would have started blasting. I would have started blasting, but they would have blasted me, and I'd have been like, Well, goodbye! <laughs> Honestly, if you had a terror type that wasn't worth flying, you'd been probably really good in this fight. Yes! Unfortunately, water is my weakness! <laughs> Oh boy. But by also my greatest strength! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go heal real quick and then let me go see where I can go where I can go catch some new teammates. I'm running out of I'm running out of people to name Pokemon after. <laughs> Not mine yet. Well yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm running out of people to name Pokemon after, because some of them are like have specific uh, type preferences, and I'm just sitting here like, cool, I guess no one wants to be this bug type then. Oh. <laughs> Which bug type is it? Uh, no, there is none. I was... Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it must be here. The, uh, which one is it again? Uh, give me a second. There's, there is one bug type I'd definitely be down. The Tarantula? Yeah, the little, little fuzzy. I, the guy is so cute. Yeah, that one's so cute. It's a shame his evolution is bad <laughs> looking. Oh. So yeah, Spidops. I the Tarantula peak design. Spidops, what went wrong? Something. Yeah, that's that's weird. That's weird. Something happened here. Yeah, why are your arms made of like pool noodle tubes? <laughs> that's so accurate. <laughs> it's like, sir, 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 are you okay? Oh, you, you know, it would be a really fun idea for a bug type Pokemon. What? Um, do something like, uh, like, I, I would almost treat it like it, it, feels like a bird but it's a spider so that you could lead into like some funky ass pe peacock spider-esque uh, bug type. Twit me needs me. Yeah. Then there's the one, the one actual Pokemon, at least two evolution lines I had for a Chironomy, which is based on an actual creature called a Karatomid. <laughs> Yeah, they, um, they, I'll show you what a, a real chronomid pupae looks like. Um, so I can find the right, or not pupae, uh, larvae. Mm. Pupae doesn't look anything like that. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the right one. Uh, okay, here, here's one that's sort of, uh... They're goofy little guys. They turn into, um... What's that? That's a Cronobid pupae, or yeah. larvae. Also known as, um... What are they called again? Uh... Non-biting midges. Come on, worm. Um... Some... Species of Cronobids, that little pro leg at the front, that little nub, mm -hmm. um, can be a bit fuzzy, like a little pom-pom. Hence, Chironomy. Aww. So it'd be this little guy that's popping out of the ground. Um, then the idea was that, like, the later form 
uh, the... I, I still haven't figured out a name for the pupae, because I realized since there is a pupae form, I could definitely do the three-stage bug type. Uh, but the last one would be, like, some party mayfly- uh, not mayfly, party midge. Because some midges could also have really fuzzy or, like, funky-looking antennae. Yeah. You see, you see that? You see that there, uh, Game Freak? Or do that. <laughs> but more. <laughs> no, they don't. They're trying to figure out what next monkey and dog they're going to make into a pawn. <laughs> Cream, I hope when you, uh, find me in the game, I hope my little doggy carries. Me too. Oh! I found... So... Oh. I found a Mimikyu. Yes. And I was gonna save saving uh, Grey for like a Paltygeist because their username is literally Earl Grey Ghost and it feels like the most appropriate. But considering they asked for a ghost or fairy type, ¿Por qué no las dos? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Sarah die? No, Sarah is still alive. Okay, good. Yeah. Because Sarah likes many things in them. Yeah, good taste. Very good taste. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah the Fococo is in the box because they're still a Fococo. <laughs> Hooray, Fococo! Woo oh snap. Fluffs, you learned crunch. Oh! Nice. Yeah. I love that video so much. I'm gonna lunch. I'm gonna crunch. <laughs> Made even better by the fact that the song they play is from a game I also played. <laughs> as a kid. Nice. I believe it is Rusty Bucket Bay from Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, it is. Actually, hold on. I think I have to name this after someone else. Oh. Yeah, I gotta name this after someone else. Shout out to my friend Kitty. You have a mimic you <laughs> named after you now. I I will say this, but like obviously, if there's a bunch of pe obviously other people, if you find um, if you get any, I guess if you have a goofy looking Pokemon and you don't know what to name it, name it after my coworker Winston. <laughs> Will do. Thank you. Will never know. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. He definitely will, because I will tell him. Okay. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we have, like, it, we, we, we'll joke with each other at work, but one big one is there's a bunch of images throughout the office that are photoshopped of uh, Winston. Uh, my favorite one is called Simulate Winston. It's Winston's head, but the antennae body of a uh, black fly larva. Which is a bit, like, a bit of a bulb is like goofy looking guy. So it's hilarious. It's in Simulate Winston. That's him. That's him. But then we have uh, a bunch of like photo, like frame photos that are photoshopped. So like one of them is uh, like an older picture of the Beatles, but one of the faces is photoshopped to be Winston's face. That's so fun. It is. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> also, I'm gonna post this in the side chat for you guys to watch. Uh, it is one of the. Cause I, I just remembered this and it's so funny. Um, in reference to my talk earlier about Lethal Company, it's a clip of uh, one of the ways you can die, which is how I've died several times because I'm an idiot. <laughs> It's environmental death, but it's really funny because I did not know this is actually something that happens. Um, if someone dies, because it was it was like recorded by my two friends who had both died prior, so I was trying to escape. Mm -hmm. I didn't. <laughs> you <friend. laughs> But what's hilarious is, uh, well, you'll see. I'll see and I'll laugh.
Apparently that was like the funniest thing to them, like they still find it to be the best death of all that has happened. Yeah. Oh, collab chat, okay. underwater you do go <laughs> it muffles you so all it is for like people watching is me going i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> that's so funny yeah it was great and when you're in water um you can't regain your stamina so uh i could not run or hurry and we were slowly running out of time while i was uh slowly struggling <laughs> to get out <laughs> God. And eventually, eventually, I realized it was impossible, so I just gave up. Oh no! The garbles are so funny. Yeah, I yeah. know. That apparently was like the funniest of them. I did not realize because I can't hear myself, right? Yeah. So like, so I was like, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm hurrying along. Meanwhile, they're seeing me. Yeah, but <laughs> that is the best feature in a game I've ever seen. It is. It's so good. Um, what's fun about the in-game chat is they do have the, the further away you are, the quieter your voice gets. But you can also hear each other from different rooms if you're close enough. So once in a while, you'll just hear, oh, fuck. And then if you hear a turret go off, like, da -da 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 -da, and then <laughs> silence, you're like, oh, the turret got them. That's hilarious. It is. <laughs> I just remember, like, I gotta at least show it to you guys. <laughs> I loved it. I'm glad you did. I'm okay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no more! <laughs> well, okay, because here's the thing. There's a few maps with, um... Or, like, one or two maps with, like, a big open water trap like that. Um, one of them, there really is no area where you can stand for air. So, if you fall in... It is kind of death. Maybe there's a spot you can hop out of, but you otherwise can't. This map, this area kind of had areas. That's why I was like, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm good, because I'm able to get up for air occasionally. You sure tried. I sure tried. <laughs> I was desperate to take that big cog back. Try your best, but you don't succeed. <laughs> <laughs> I oh man, if they had the full recording of when I finally stayed to drown, I would have loved to like take that, gray screen it, and just slow down the clip to my body, just be like, well you try your best, but you don't I've caught John Moore. Yay! Who should I name this after? <laughs> which of you is gonna honor offer up one of your friends as tribute? Uh, I mean, which one? Which uh, Pokemon is it again? Uh, John Moore. I can send a picture. Yeah. Yeah, Gen 7 Pokemon. So. And it's Zach Biggins. <laughs> is that someone you know? I know I'm Zach Biggins. Is that someone you know personally as a friend? Wait, uh... Does it have to be? <laughs> yes. Give me a second, I think... It, it's J-A-N-G-M-O dash O, right? Yes. Uh... I'm posting in the chat. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to see the evolutionary his er, history line for this little lad. Uh, 
becomes Hakumo and Kamo. Ah! Uh, nah, not goofy enough to be Winston. It's gotta be a little bit goofier. This guy's pretty cool. <laughs> but what if I just named it Ben? What if I just named it after your friend? Ben? <laughs> yeah, your friend Ben. Sure. Your friend Ben wanna be a pseudo-legendary fighting dragon? Mm -hmm. Why not? Hi, Lore! Welcome to my team! Congratulations, Lore! You're pure, you're pure dragon right now, but you will learn to- We'll learn- <laughs> We'll learn- <laughs> The funniest thing I... is, uh, Lore was in my stream earlier, and I was like, Hey, how are you doing? He's like, I'm great, I just bought a bunch of stuff for my home gym! Yo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Get on him! Right. Meant to be home gym Destiny. solid. <laughs> <laughs> also, I am now gonna bop off because I'm kind of unwinding for bed. Yeah. Must eepy to sleepy to beepy. <laughs> 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 oh, was the real quick? Was the name of the cat again from the video? The oh, the missile is is eepy. The missile is sleepy beepy. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on, hold on, before you go, because now you now you've made that joke, and I literally just sent this tweet to my friend. <laughs> so hang on, hang on. Alright, I will wait. Okay, there it is. <laughs> oh uh, still so eepy sleepy if I'll sleep wow. again. <laughs> I wake up. Oh, I uh, still so eepy sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's really good. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, you two. No. No. You later. <laughs> All right, Lord. Get ready to probably have to die for the team. <laughs> he will, he has no choice. He's streaming right now, so I can't even go tell him. <laughs> <laughs> you can like message him in his chat. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I'm busy. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I have an appointment with Big Man right here. <laughs> That's so f huge, man. <laughs> intruder, no intruder huge detected. Man. Did you mean huge man? Yes. I love huge man. I also love huge man. He's an yes, aspiration. What's up? Come on. We should all aspire to be, like, huge man. Yes. Unreasonably large and ready to kill on sight. <laughs> you know what? Fuck do not perceive me. I want you to perceive me. Better perceive the fuck out of me. <laughs> you like what you see because it's the last thing you're gonna see. <laughs> Whoever I end up, like, I think whoever I end up beating the Elite Four and champion with, or even maybe I'll just wait until I beat, like, endgame proper, I'll probably draw, like, the Pokemon versions of them nice. that are on my team.
I'm like, I'm using Kitakami as like a backup source of a of getting Pokemon because I I'm avoiding doing the story in it. Excited to go to bed because I know they're gonna lay on the bed. <laughs> Suplex him onto the bed. No, he's old man, he's fragile. Do it. I'll go gently set him on the bed. Okay. <laughs> gently suplex him onto the bed. What? <laughs> With all the tenderness in your heart. He immediately jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> he did not want it. You said it's not my time. What are you Sorry. doing here? The door's open. You hang down. <laughs> That's fair. Where's your hangout? Whoa. 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 That's me trying to pick up. Whoa. Oh, sir? Oh, my goodness. He's so needy. I'm here in the Kitakami Wilds looking for my next teammate. Because I. Oh no, wait, I can cross over to the Moss Ball Confluence. Well, either way, I'm already here. Who, who will fuck with me on this Tuesday night? <laughs> Gotta find my puppy. Your puppy is in an area that's too high level for me right now. Pussy. I know you are. <laughs> What's the um? Lock rules for uh, I can use them to get experience candy, and fainting in there doesn't count since it's fucked up and weird in there. Okay. But otherwise, I cannot catch any Pokemon in then. Okay. Well, unless they're shiny. Yeah. Wait, do they show up as shiny? Huh? Do they show up as shiny during yep. the battle? Oh, okay, cool. They fixed that. Well, that's, that's been the case for this game. Well, I mean, for, like, compared to the, the raid battles. Yeah, well, like, regular raid dens in yeah. Sword and Shield would display shiny, but not raid dens for that, um, like, raid den adventure in the DLC. Oh, okay. What? Dresden, what part did you come back to here? I don't, I already forgot what we said. <laughs> Probably you saying the P word. Probably. With your foul language. My filthy mouth. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. 
<laughs> I'm buying more polka dolls just in case. Just in case I need to make a quick getaway. That's supposed to be fire. I think. Is Moo Moo Milk cheaper at the school store or here at PG's? Oh. <laughs> Didn't even say that. Yeah, I said, who will fuck with me on this Tuesday night? <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday. I think it's like... What's up? It's Black Friday. Happy Black Friday! Happy Black Friday! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy anything! <laughs> Me neither, I'm waiting till Cyber Monday. <laughs> I'm waiting till Cyber Monday to see if I can get a good deal on five. A good deal on what? A PS5. Nice. A PS5. A PS5. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Would you like a, a PS5 or an X bone? <laughs> Of the Fortnite pasta with the super salad. that when you start the 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 DLC uh, Mr. Jacques your homeroom teacher is like man your trip sounds great I wish I can go you get there and Jacques is like there <laughs> like what the fuck do you mean you wish you can go you're here you just you didn't buy a plane ticket asshole <laughs> you can catch a Pokemon that knows fly I- I literally took an uber here, basically. <laughs> I have the moss... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm still... There's road, okay. Also, shout out to the fucking casual xenophobia. She would. Yep. <laughs> like, thanks. I didn't need nor want your approval for me to be here. <laughs> I do love Kieran, though, and I can't wait to see how... I can't wait to see his Joker arc. Uh, I'm... He, he said, for personal reasons, I'm evil now, and I support you. <laughs> Man, I wish they would let losing a battle be canon in this game, I would lose to Kieran. Yeah. I don't like that they made you lie to him. I don't like that they forced me to take Ogre Pond, because I don't want Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond wants you. Yeah, well we can't get what we want, Ogre Pond. <laughs> <laughs> you, sh 
Dressing with the phrasing of the mother bridge in containment is so fucking funny. <laughs> They weren't chosen for the special field trip. They didn't re meet the criteria. Also, the technical reason is because the DLC can be played during the mainline story, so they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't be able to mesh if they're locationally tied. He's a big fuck up guy, ain't he? <laughs> also tired of a uh, of them making like the main character weirdly smaller than the other characters around them yeah which they do constantly in their games and you know what for personal reasons every time they buy a character is gradually half a foot taller than everyone <laughs> Heracross! Heracross! Heracross, join my team! Yes! Do you think Heracross would be silly enough to be no. named after Fluff's friend? Heracross isn't silly. Okay. Heracross is cool. Heracross is cool, you guys! It is. I love it Heracross. Is. All right. Who's getting named after the bug? <sighs> Let's see. The bug. Beetle. Beetle. Be bug, be bug, be bug. It um. loves sweet nectar. To keep all the nectar to itself, it hurls rivals away with its prized horn. <laughs> I have no idea who to name that one after. Maybe that one could be Ben. This one would be Ben. Its mega evolution looks like a robot, so... Yeah, sure. It counts a little. It counts. Ben. Ben Ted. Yeah, good show, good show. Good show, good show. I was trying to rewatch Ben 10 a while ago, and I just forgot to keep watching it, but one of the earliest episodes, Gwen calls Ben, like, the derogatory term for a dwarf. And no! I like, yes, I was like, whoa! What the fuck? I forgot that wasn't considered a slur yet! Holy shit. Like, I was watching it with, um, my brother, his wife, and, um, our friend Hayden. And when that happened, we paused it, and we were like, Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Whoa. You can't do that, Gwen. I think that was the Rip Jaws introduction episode, too. What the fuck? Not to my- You can't do that when my boy is showing up. Jaws may be the uh, reason why I have to think for fish people. <laughs> That's incredibly valid. And you know, watching that show growing up, I was like, wow! Look at that! <laughs> Get a load of that! Yeah. <laughs> I... I will, to this day, never forgive Earl, like who was interested in Ben when she thought he was becoming a werewolf and then immediately dropped 
turned out to be an alien because I was like, it's still a wolf monster. Like me as a child was like, are you stupid? <laughs> it's still a wolf monster. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> like she was out of her mind. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the episode where Ben 10,000 shows up is one of the reasons why I like Dilfs in the episode where, uh, Alien Werewolf Ben uh, emerges is why I became a monster fucker. Wow, Ben's head was so formulative for both of us, wasn't it? <laughs> we really found out who we were as people. Yep. Which is not, a, not at all, we're not people. Not a people. No. A fish and a furry. Yeah. Also, the, um, one of the lead character designers for Ben 10 is Mutuals with me on Twitter. Oh, hell yeah. Which, um, when that happened, I was like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit. Holy you shit, don't holy know what you've done for my life. <laughs> There was a uh, a webcomic artist, or there there was. Wow, there is a webcomic artist uh, who is also like one of the storyboarders. Or what? 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 What is happening? Hello? Hello? Karidon, Karidon sunk to the bottom of the water here, but I have the ability to swim. It didn't feel like it. Coridon! 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 Coridon? Coridon? I'm so I'm, sorry, I don't feel like it's safe. I'm running on the ground underwater. Coridon! Uh-oh. Please save this video. Please save this video. Please save this video. Please save this video. It'll, it'll save it. Okay. Your switch knows what it's doing. Sometimes, rarely, it'll tell me, no, you're not a video right now. Um, sorry, that completely took me out of what I was saying. Wild. It's fine, I also got taken out, I forgot what we were talking about. Ben 10. Ben 10. Uh, there is a webcomic artist, uh, who also storyboards on the, like, the newest Ben 10 series, um, who is also, uh, like, how do I say I want to live the life, but in a way that doesn't sound crazy, because they fucking rule, um, and if that person ever followed me on even Twitter, which is a dying website that I know I think I still would, like, have to put my phone down and just walk into the ocean, I think. <laughs> uh, Kelly Turnbull, if you're out there. Shout out. Shout out. Shout, shout out to your comic, Manly Guys Doing Manly Things. It's... Wow. Yeah. I read that comic when I was I already graduated from high school I can't remember it was sometime around like those years of my like late teen life um, and I was just like I really like this comic and I really think it's cool and like not a, not even for a I'm attracted to the like the main character and a lot of the other characters that show up kind of way but just in a like there's something about the vibes of this character that i really like and uh years later i go back to it and i'm like oh yeah because i was a big burly dude who was also a great dad oh no your type my gender you mean your gender type my gender type yeah like you wouldn't date somebody like that I would. You're right, I would. But it, it, it's my gender first and my types. Fuck you. Me with white 
before. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. <laughs> uh, me looking at Redfield, wow, I love pathetic men. You are me, let's date. <laughs> well, wow, you are truly pathetic, man. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I... But I read that comic, and I really enjoyed it. I look back on it now, and I realize, oh yeah, that without having the words for it at the time, that truly was like one of the the roadmaps to discovering my like my gender slash just my general like presentation vibes that I strive for. Nice. Yeah. Gender formative. Gender formative. Insane. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at him and I'm like, what? I'm liking what I see, but this is truly wild. Thank you. I see, like, I'm enjoying where it's going, but going where it's going is difficult. Yeah, I can feel that it's taking, it's sapping life points away as you work on it. Yeah, and it, it's only 10.44 right now, so I absolutely can't finish this today. It's just, woof. <laughs> Stop saying that! Stop cursing yourself! Thank you! I think he's beautiful too! Also, welcome first time chatter! Welcome, Rift Wizard K! Rift Wizard K! I to look up Charmcaster Vincent. Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. What? Charmcaster Ben 10. Alright, let me look this up. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's so fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, she's cute, but like, she's not with Jaws. Dear, <laughs> dear. <laughs> Did you have a crush on Rip? Yep. I had a crush on Rip Jaws specifically. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. There were other Ben 10 aliens where I'm like, that's kind of cool. I would, I would be down to clown like uh, Kate Blast and Forearms, but yeah. um, Rip Jaws was my favorite for gender and for type. Yeah. Type uh... first, gender second. <laughs> Yeah, I like Rip Jaws. Um, I've already told you that I enjoyed Cannibal Helmet, but I also liked Upchuck a lot. I thought he was really cute. Yeah. I don't think there's any Ben Tenny only that I don't like. There are very few for me. I would, of course, they, like, there are probably a lot more than I remember there being, and there are especially a lot more now, the, the newest series having come out, but... Yeah. We should go through the list and do Smasher Pass with the Ben 10 aliens. Oh, fuck yes! I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Smash Pass or Gender? Or both. Yeah. What's that? I just ran into the same Bonsley twice in a row. The same Bonsley? Yeah, I can't see him in the grass, so I ran forward, hit him, and then I fight, and then I ran forward, and I hit him again. Because I can't see him in the fucking grass. <laughs> He's after you. He's out for blood. That's like when, you, when you're when you running through a patch of grass in the older games, and you run into a Pokemon, and then you run from the fight, and you run into the exact Pokemon of the same level and gender. Yep. Oh, that sounds so fun.
Oh, holy shit. I don't know if we could do that because my threshold for Smash is, um, too many. <laughs> I'll do it. Well, it's what I mean is like, like in our, our Pokemon Smasher Pass, for example, there was like 400 Smashes. I'll do it. So combining all of those into an Ultimate Smash seems kind of a. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> You don't have to, but I will. Go off. I support you and your endeavors. You bad lad. <laughs> I'll create your ultimate smash and it'll be like, fuck! <laughs> I'll create your ultimate smash and you'll never feel attracted to any gay. <laughs> God, we should. Oh, I have idea. Alright, go. <laughs> Secret Santa, but instead of, like, getting people things, we random pull our names, and whoever you get, you have to draw their ideal character type. Holy shit. Yes. I'm gonna drop that idea somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta drop it into a server that has enough people that actually draw. Well, it, like, I could do my collab folks, but there's a lot of collab, uh, folks. Or it, at least there's a lot of people with the collab role that, like, don't ever show up on stream, so I'd have to, like, make a group chat or something. Oh, true, yeah. Because I think, uh, everybody in our team team group could be invited. Um, oh, our absolutely. skills do not matter. And then, yeah. I would invite Corey and Indrid, and Pal, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those are people that I know readily are aware. We're all friends, at least I should say. Yeah. And we can, uh, for our secret Santa, we can, like, Give a, give a list of characters that are our type example. Because let's say you pull in three, you don't know Indrid's types that well. Mm -hmm. So I can make a list of like... I would say up to five characters so that there's not too much to pull from. Um, yeah. God. That would... Okay. I'm just thinking that would be so difficult for me to narrow it down to five. Yeah. Yeah, we we each put our names along with our our ultimate list of five. Yep. Or you know what it can be? Because I've seen this format kind of go around. It could be like the three by three grid, but like the center square is like left open and that's like the combination of the uh of the eight surrounding like characters. I don't know if you've seen that one before. I have seen it. I have seen it, but that that is also a different meme. It's like a, a multi-fusion grid. Oh yeah, but it could, but like generally that idea, because at least like eight, you get a little more like freedom, and if they're like, if they're all encompassing like that, it's easier to uh to like look at their designs and pick out the the similarities or yeah. even the differences between them. We'll workshop this. We've got time till Christmas. We, we do got time. We do got time. We don't want to make too much time because it would be a drawing challenge. Yeah, that's true, and that does take time. Yeah. I'll have to ask around um, friend groups to see who's available. Yeah. I'm so glad I had that idea. That sounds like a crazy time. Yeah, I'd say we're all freaks enough that we're willing to expose our fuckers to one another. Yeah. And, like, I, I know everybody's, uh, character preferences already. Like, everybody that I can think of, ex you know what, except Pow. Pow is a wild card to me. Wow. And I've seen Pow's porn. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely draws good porn. Good for him. Yeah. I also draw a good porn, but not since I started taking SSR rides. Ha 
I don't know how well I draw porn, but I've definitely drawn it. I've actually seen great. Your art's lovely. Thank you. I wasn't fishing for a compliment, but I'll accept it. <laughs> I didn't imply you were fishing for a compliment, so but you're gonna get one anyway. Because <laughs> you're my friend and I'm gonna compliment you. Bitch. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Alright, oh, the next level of the next thing. Let me check. So next up is the Fire Team Star Base and the max level is twenty-seven. That's such a low threshold to change, it sucks. Yeah, but to be fair, this has like 18 challenges compared to 8. The normal and... yeah. Yeah. Fair. And I have a lot of water to- like, I have a lot of water, dude. Godspeed and good luck. Oh fuck, I just tried to open my box and it took so long to load. Pokemon is a great functioning game. Cream, I just added the darker red to the armor and I think I'm gonna explode, this is so fun. Ooh. <laughs> You ruined yourself. I am ruining myself, but like, look at him! Look at him! Yeah. Perceive him, appreciate him. I am. Thank you. And I'll appreciate him more when I scrungle him up and re edit his design! <laughs> Don't gotta edit too much to scrunglify. Yeah. No, I did notice something interesting in, um, Greymon's friendly art, is he has an extra toe. Oh, does he? Yeah, there's like, you know, uh, I'm, like you can see right here, he's got like the back foot spike. Yeah. Uh, this friendly art for Greymon has a back foot spike, but he doesn't have one of those. Oh. They removed his back toe. They stole his toe! I say this in the most positive way possible because I've been re-watching, uh, I say re-watching, I've been watching Buddy Fight X, finally. This does look like a Buddy Fight design in a great way. <laughs> I've seen some Buddy Fight designs, that is indeed a compliment. I appreciate it. Yeah. Actually, fuck the scrungly form, I might draw what the <laughs> compressed form of looks like in a fucking Buddy Fight series. Oh, hell yeah. Like I did with my and my friend's Sonas. Go off me. Oh my god, um, Lore was in the stream earlier, and yeah, uh, I had the ultimate one on screen. And Lore asked, is his baby form autismal? And I was like, no, because I didn't think of that, and I'm mad that I didn't think of that. <laughs> I could have been autismal. He can be. Well, I'm not gonna edit it. It's never too late. I, I'm not getting rid. I'm not getting rid of Borg. <laughs> Borg. Borg. Borg Supreme. This is not good. He looks like he'd sound like a dodgeball if I dropped him on the ground. Yeah, he would. <laughs> That's one of those descriptions that, like, inflicts the sound in your mind when you- But you do know of Buddy Fight. Yes. Dresden knows of Buddy Fight. Yeah. Because I definitely had never heard of it until you said it when, it, when I- when you were talking about it the first time. 
Which is not surprising to me, because for the millions of views that the, uh, the anime got on it is... Uh, well, first of all, it's the... The first season of the anim anime is, like, almost 10 years old at this point. But also, it was still kind of niche, despite the many views it got. Myths of real. Yeah. Like, I'm not surprised Saro knows about it, because... Saro's a freak. But I was surprised to hear from my friend Jabber that uh, there were, like, actually bought the cards and did tournaments at local game stores. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saving and I'm stretching. Yeah. Oh. Also, let me show you Yami Ghetto, because he's a. Posting in the side chat. Wow, there this file sure is making a lot of mistakes! Oh no... Still not as bad as Lord Greymon! I don't think it ever will be. Whoa! The card flops! Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of great designs. Oh wait, but speaking of card designs that fuck, uh, I need to show you the newest Charizard card. Wait, 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 wait. Before that, let me show you Yami Ghetto's, like, they're called SD forms, but they're basically chibi forms. Okay. I'll start looking for it. There it is. That's me. Little freak. Oh! Teeny tiny image. Yeah, unfortunately, the, like, wiki do that. Love but yeah, I love Dog. I can't tell you how much I love so many of the monster designs in So the the newly announced or the newest Pokemon card set is uh shiny Pokemon Focus. And there's obviously a shiny Charizard card. Look at this beast! Sorry, I I was looking at the thing that that Dresden linked. I am not looking at it also. Wow! Yo! That's cool. That's incredible. Uh, the Charizard. The shiny Charizard card. Yes. Yeah, the, there's like the, all the preview cards they put out for the set look really nice, but I saw this one and I was like, Wow! Yeah, that's Sir. got that funked up texture on it. Mega crystallized. Look at that. I just... I just want to slurp this up, like, wow! I want to get every Vilebon card. <laughs> All one of them. There's actually like seven. <laughs> From different <laughs> sets. Yeah. Let me Google Vilebon card and show you how many there are. <laughs> so there's the nice art one that we've seen before. That one. Yes. That one's good. Set that as your phone background. No, my phone background is occupied. Fair. <laughs> then there's this one. A hey, classic. Yep. And there's this one. Ooh. And that might be a newer one. Oh no, no, this one's a newer one. Really small picture, unfortunately, but. You can, you can yeah, aww. Look at him. And then... This one. There's so many! Yeah! 
Hey. <laughs> if you're up for it, later, do you want to watch an episode of Good Game that does have Vilemon in it? <laughs> he he isn't the Digimon of the week for that episode, but he is in it. I would want to, also, I think that is all of the Vilemon cards. Hold on. Yeah. Let me count how many it was. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I was kind of close. I was two away. Mm. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I found a six. I found a six one. There. Six. Yay, another classic. Evil Mon. There it is, that's Evil Mon. There he is, there he is indeed. <laughs> I love Vilemon so much. <laughs> you really do. The. The. <laughs> the. You clung to him so fast when. Listen, man, I see a scrumbly little freak. And I see myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what everyone doesn't realize is that Bull is just zoomed really far in. They are actually three inches tall. I'm three inches tall. <laughs> three inches tall and a menace. <laughs> Here, I can reflect that. Oh my god! <laughs> the because you can hardly see the the mask on it. It does make you just look like you grew like really cool white bat wings. Yeah. The the wings by themselves are really easy to add, and they're kind of believable on the three D model. Yeah. Bull does actually have wings. I just never draw them. <laughs> Whoa. Because I mean, he's a demon. He can shape shift. So why not? Like, they have wings sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hard question, Dres, and I have no fucking clue. Who? Um. Uh... I feel like it's gotta be the Digi Egg of Strength, right? Or the Digi Mental, rather. That would have to. Like, I suppose so. Yeah, because the Digi Mentals usually are, like, a positive quality, and the only times they turn the, the Digimon into, like, a negative aspect of that quality is when it's literally in the reference book saying that it's been corrupted. And since Bull's whole thing was at he was very strong in life. I got it. Like, it makes sense. It would be the the mental of strength or something. Or, like, fortitude. You having fun there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's upside down time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yes, you are correct. He was a um, very strong man. Human man. And then became a demon in the afterlife. Yeah, so probably Digimental of Strength or Digimental of Fortitude too. I think it would turn any Digimon that uses it into something um like hellish. <laughs> Fire! You get fire! <laughs> like the Digimental of Courage. Yes, but evil. Yeah. There would be like infernal qualities about yes. them. Yes. Also, I'm definitely not sorry about it tonight because I think it would break my brain, but when I'm done with this, um, 
I want to make an Omega Bomb fusion between uh, Bull and Digimon Marine. Yay! You know what? I'll tell you what. When you get around to doing that, I'll also finalize and color the design for my Mega Form. Promise? I promise. Okay. Then, then, I, then, then we can make the Omega Bomb fusion of our Megas. Yeah, because last night I sketched out something that I actually enjoy. Actually, that just reminded me. I'll show it to you. Please! Okay, there are evil Digimons of darkness, desire, guts, and vanity. Um, oh. Probably rage, then? Yeah, I guess rage would work. Or wrath. I mean, if we're gonna give it, like, a... Sin, uh, Deadly Sins title wrath would work. I don't yeah. know like, how to make the inner part of these... these things. Um... <sighs> okay, let's see. Yeah. I would say Rage, just because from the sounds of those names, it looks direct one to ones. Yeah. I think I need to rewind part of this. Um, there's like the connector parts here behind the global shoulder pulverids. I'm just going to yeah. change it to fire. There is no connector, there is only fire. Actually, wait, I may not need to rewind it. I might be able to find it. Don't even be sorry for the hard questions. It's fun to think about. Yeah, I... Listen, I gave Bull intense Digimon brain rot, so this is... This is, like, good for them. Do not it's their, I have autism. <laughs> it's their enrichment activity right now. Yes, I am a tiger playing with a pumpkin. <laughs> I am biting the pumpkin. I am biting, I am biting, I am biting. Pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Yeah, and I'm just a lion engaged in my hobby. I think it's time for me to be at a different angle. A worse angle. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> what if I do so one? Hmm? Okay, this is how I'm gonna stream from now on. Yippee! Yes! Yippee! Thank you! Thank you, Rift Wizard K, for the follow right when I did that stupid shit. And I want you to know I love whatever goes on with your brain at all times. Yes, same. <laughs> yeah, Dresden, I like literally in our non comic, I uh, like. I gave Bull the idea of what if our antagonists, like, because, like, their bonds with their Digimon isn't formed naturally, it's more like forced, uh, partnership between them, so they can't digivolve their partner Digimon, but, so in, to make up for that, they armor digivolve them. <laughs> so, like, in terms of, uh, in terms of Digimental brain rot, you're like perfectly timed for it right now. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't see it, but one of the tabs I have is just the list of Digimental evolution. Oh my god. 
Yeah. You're not allowed to look at it for the Smash and Pass purposes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I did not get, I did not color the flesh of his teeth. <laughs> I didn't cover color his flesh. His flesh. Oh, so I'm DMing you the the like idea that I had come up with last night. <laughs> So I was like, I want to give fantasy, but I don't know that the classic, like, knight with sword and shield works for me. And then I realized, oh, barbarian. <laughs> That's so cute, I love it. Thank you. You're doing amazing. Flesh. 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 <laughs> don't, don't call it flesh of the teeth. Flesh of the teeth. <laughs> Ain't that what they say before you eat something? <laughs> <laughs> took you a minute. Took you a minute to get there. Y'all, I think I broke Bull. I don't think Bull can stream for the rest of the night, actually. I think I have to go. <laughs> 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 My favorite, um, fuck up of Bone Abitee is, um, Bone Atrophy. <laughs> <laughs> bone Atrophy! Ooh, I haven't seen this character before. Wow. Wow, who is this? Hello? Tales of Zestiria. Oh, I know of that game. I've actually drawn... I've drawn fan out of the character from that game before. But me not knowing this guy tells you how much I uh, absorbed from that game, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Whoa, oh, I love the. Oh, I love how the. Uh... I don't even know what to call it, other than just like the texture from the torso just blends or bleeds in with the uh the background of the cloak or i guess that's just the entirety of this inner cloak huh oh that's really good thank you for this Dresden. i've been thinking about this design for a while now <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I have his flesh like orange here. Um, should I have it be normal flesh or is this fine? That's fine. That's fine. Cool. That's fine, especially because there's so much fire going on that if anything it can be like a trick of the light. Yeah. <laughs> he gets one ounce of actual flesh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even normal. Nope. Are you talking about uh, Bond of Courage, Agumon, and Bond of Friendship, uh, Gabumon? Is that what they're called? The one where they basically are human men in suits? Yes. But yes. Not in suit. well, 
What if it isn't it? Hold on, I gotta show it on stream. I have to call psychic damage. Or yeah. watch the movie the other day, and he's like, they did something that I don't like, and I'm like, okay, what? And it showed me, and I was like, uh oh, I don't like it either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Hey, what is this? <laughs> they made Wargreymon naked and a human. Me. And gave him 800 abs. <laughs> Whoa, indeed. What the fuck is this? I'm sorry. Do you not appreciate Agumon Bond of Courage form? No. <laughs> Do you at least appreciate Gobumon Bond of Friendship? Yeah, Gobumon's fine. Okay. Gobumon's cool. Why I'm gonna show that on stream here in a second, guys, and that's really cute. But, like... <gasps> see? This guy, this one's good. This one's good. Oh my god! It's a- it's a Greymon! It's- It's a, a Greymon family on a motorcycle, they did it before me! Fuck! This is so- this is- this is fine. This art of them is fine. I do not like... Whatever's going on on the front section of, uh... Ogmon. Fellas, <laughs> fellas, is it gay to become bond? <laughs> is it gay to become bond of friendship form? You literally turn into a motorcycle so your homie. It's a little gay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's just... His boots are his skin. I mean, so are Devimons. Well, not really. <laughs> not at all. What are you talking about? The fuck you mean, not really? His skin is pale. That's his skin. He's just, he's wearing latex. <laughs> you and I both know this fucked up guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't like that his, his legs go into the boots, but the boots are also his skin. Okay. Do you see what I'm talking about here? Yeah, I got you. It's, it's freaking me out a little. I don't know, I'm in... <laughs> Incomprehensible. <laughs> Compressed beyond belief. My music ran out again. What else do I have? <laughs> like now that you're zoomed in but unenhanced, go down to the to the knees. I want to see detail. <laughs> okay, hold on. I have to get my music. All right, okay. let's go to the knees. Oh God! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> This is definitely the worst part, I will say this. This is the worst. If this was not here, I might not hate it so much. Yeah, it's too many abs. Okay. Can you zoom out a little bit? Yeah. Alright. Now, slowly scroll it down so I can see where the, like, in with this shit. Okay. Yeah, I see. 
like the the uh around the knee part the flesh extends out and then like wraps around on there but it is like if you do just like flatten that down it is just his leg you see what it i mean freaks me out. <laughs> yeah i see i get it but it's more like it it's more like his leg is out but then the leg flesh becomes like what would resemble the top of a boot <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I've had enough upside down time. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm back down to Earth. <laughs> but it can also transform into its motorcycle mode is its partner's favorite vehicle and ride fast together. That's pretty gay. That's pretty gay. <laughs> Babe, I can turn into your favorite vehicle now, becomes a motorcycle. It's especially Ga Gaumon and Agumon are also gay for each other. Not the least of which is because Gaumon is coded like a Shiva, which is genetically the closest breed of dog to that of a, which is what Gabumon and Garumon are. Yep. So they're just they're just also a blue wolf that <laughs> is bonded together with uh, an Agumon. They even have the same code. They even have. You pointed this out. They have the the sun and coding. Their burst modes. Oh, yeah, do. do you think when they do a special attack? Do you think when they do a combination attack together, they make it look like an eclipse? Oh, oh, an eclipse. That would be so cool. Yeah, like uh, like a uh, shine. Greymon summons the sun, and then uh, Mirage Galgamon calls that. Like, uh, that really good animation of the glowing moon effect right over in front of it, but it makes it look like a full eclipse. That would, that would fuck. That would be so cool, oh my god. Bro, why did they only do burst form? They could have fucking, oh my god, they could have done, a, they could have done their own version of Omega Mon, like Eclipse Omega Mon or something. Omega Mon Eclipse mode. Well, that's added to my list of things to do. <laughs> Sorry to do this to you. Sorry, I have to do um, Data Squad adjacent fan art. Sorry, I have to do ship art. <laughs> do, you, do you have a clip? I would like to see. Macamons. Yeah, because I've seen bootleg Pokemon games that go this hard with the- Yeah, oh, I still- Cream, I still- On this- On my, uh, browser, I still have that zoomed-in picture of that tiny Leomon figure. <laughs> I'm leaving him there, he can stay. He's there, he's always there. He's always there for us. That's crazy. 
What if I made a throne account and that was the only thing on? Is that the Leoma? Just nothing else. It's just that Leoma. <laughs> what if Christmas was coming up? <laughs> yeah. What if Christmas was coming up? Yeah, what if Christmas was coming up and I had the power to Google what that figure is and find it for sale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if? Christmas was coming up, and you got all those fucking uh, Devimon bootleg statues you wanted. What if? What if? Imagine that! <laughs> I'd have the to get, like, an entire new shelf set up for those little shits. <laughs> I, need, I need my shitty Devimon shrine. Yeah. The way you said that, well, what if what if Christmas is coming around? We gave the energy of that. Wow, well, a uh, lipstick in my Valentine. <laughs> my Valentine white bag. <laughs> yeah, mom, I spilled lipstick in your bag. In your Valentine bag. <laughs> <laughs> in my Valentino white bag. <laughs> What? What? It's medication time. What happened? What happened? It's medication time. What? I'm finishing yeah. these spikies and then I will stand up. I'll talk while you do that. Yeah. The... I... I can only ever get into doing the, like, the Mickey Mouse voice if I quote one of two things, and it's either the what happened, or the the door to darkness quote, and that's it. I literally I can't do a Mickey Mouse impression until I do one of those quotes. Say, fellas! God, I, I can do a pretty decent Mickey Mouse, but with the filter, it just, it's lost. Yeah, well, you, well yours, like, you also have a naturally higher You can reach that register easier than I can. I can, but not with the filter, I am nerfed. Yeah. Let me see what I can do with it. the door to darkness? <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. And then my, my next go-to after door to darkness is uh, the scene where Goofy dies. And then Mickey's like, he'll pay for this! Yeah, it, it, like, like the best I can do right now because I'm laughing about it, it's like, "Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door in the darkness?" And even then, it's like I'm I'm laughing too hard at the concept of it because every time I think of that quote, it's so fucking funny. I can't take it. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, I'm trying. <laughs> like the worst part is. Is that because I'm trying to figure out how to do a decent, like, OG English Gabumon impression, I need a quote like that in order to get into the mindset of it. And the only quote I can think of is from, <laughs> is from a scene with, like, Matt in the Cave of Darkness. And, like, just, I, I'm giving you this quote out of context, because we'll probably get to it eventually, one day, someday. <laughs> Uh, it's just Gabumon looking at him and saying, Then cry. <laughs> what was that thing you said in that one? We watched, like, one episode in the English job recently, where Gabumon Gabumon said something so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, oh. oh. I think he, like, was sent flying or something, and he was like, oh, I hate this, or I don't like this, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. This is the I, worst. Ha I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to save and then go take my meds real quick. Yes. Oh, that's loud. I like that when I'm coming back, the first thing that moves is my hands. Yay. Ugh, oh, meds have been taken. I gotta finish this bitch. Yeah, also Gabumon does yell out, I hate this, as you sent flying. <laughs> Yay! I hate this! Him. Also in that same episode, in the English dub, <laughs> Ty refers to him uh, as a St. Bernard with a horn on his... Yeah. I love that St. Bernard with a horn on his forehead. Me too. I gotta, I gotta show you Digimon Survive, because, uh, Garurumon is in that. I know you showed me, uh, a uh, picture of that one point. Oh yeah, but, like, you would love how he's written. Nice. Garurumon. 
Rumon. Yeah, it's wild to me that series came out during a time when, like, Megas didn't fully exist yet. Like, they existed, but not for the anime. Wow. If that makes sense. Which is why Taichi and Yamato getting to reach Mega level with their Digimon was such a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> also, the way they did it was so raw. They by their own siblings Digimon. The way they did it was so raw because they needed to be shot by their by their own younger siblings Digimon. Are you watching that video? No. I was just thinking about Omegamon. Okay. Because you were talking about uh, their mega evolutions and then my brain went, ah, oh, put them together. <laughs> no! But did you at least, like, auditorially process what I said? What yes, I, I did, I did. Okay, okay. So I started clawing at my back, so I had to give them attention. Yeah. Yes, I know, I hear you. What do you do? Sweet stinky boy. Wait, hold on. I just because I've been revisiting Persona 3, your auto your your voice mod, can you can you really quick for me, uh in this exact cadence, can you say the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed? The Arcana is the means by which all are revealed. Good enough. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> no, thank you. Considering I, like, verbally gave it to you, you did great. Yeah, my, my brain had a buffer. <laughs> <laughs> They're, like, the... Like, the, the final boss in that game is takes truly an hour long because he has multi phases but he has 13 phases Whoa. yeah each phase uh is preceded by a like a some spiel that is a uh, that starts with the arcana is the means by which all is then he gives some like some quick speech and then he shifts into like an arcana from the from the tarot. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, but it only goes as far as up to to the death arcana. Yeah. Which, yeah. Which, like, as someone who enjoys tarot, it does bug me that they constantly use the the death arcana to actually like literal death. But at the same time, as someone who just enjoys that game, I'm like, yeah, but I can let it slide this time. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone here has played P3, <laughs> just activated them with the Arcana as the means. <laughs> Moment man devoured the fruit of knowledge. He sealed his bait. That character is also voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. Wow. Yeah. Trusting his future to the cards, man clings to a dim hope. I'll keep quoting this until you're ready. <laughs> ready for what? I don't know, keep drawing. <laughs> I am drawing! Oh, are you? Sorry. Your hands are moving around so I thought you were petting Sherm. No, no. <laughs> My hands are do a ghost hand thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. They have places to be, people to see. <laughs> people to meet. Yeah. 
Oh dang, it's the original? Wait. And if not, then that's fine. Sorry, I got distracted by Super Mario Saga. <laughs> the... <laughs> Sorry, the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. <laughs> well, it's because I opened. I was googling to see what all the quotes were, um, because I I wanted to make sure that I was getting them right. Uh, and then I saw it, like on my phone, it gives a little quick news feed article headlines, and one of them was about uh, Super Mario uh, or Mario Superstar Saga. And I was like, I love that game, and it's like follow up three games after it. Yes. Bowser's Inside Story, my favorite of the four. Because you get to play as Bowser in that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder why that one's your favorite. It actually, in terms of like gameplay, is very interesting. The the different dynamic that you get from playing as Mario and Bowser. It's really good. Just like, genuinely from a gameplay standpoint, I really enjoy it. Did you also enjoy it from a gay standpoint? From a gay in-play standpoint? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> good. That's, uh, that's actually where I have my, uh, my intro audio showtime from. Good. Yeah, they did a great job with it, too. Oh, and that final fight is so good. The fight against the Dark Star. Oh, I love it. <laughs> now I'm thinking about Bowser's Inside Story and how much I love that game. But then I gotta do that thing where I put them all on one picture, but I won't do that on stream. Yeah. Intense, intense. You got this, you got this. I super got this.
Stop, ghost dance. Stop it. Bitch. Okay, I found all the quotes for each of them. <laughs> Should I read them? Including the Arcana is the means thing. Because that would be... <laughs> you know what? I'll inflict this on everyone because if I... it It's mandatory listening for anyone. Three. It's iconic. Whether for good or for bad. What you know really uh, funny moment of how the music is playing right now too. Okay. <laughs> so for the fool. Uh for the fool and then leading into the The moment man devoured the fruit of knowledge, he sealed his fate. Entrusting his future to the cards, man clings to a dim hope. Yes, the arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Attaining one's dreams requires a stern will and unfailing determination. Uh, the priestess. <laughs> the arcana is the means by which all is revealed. The silent voice within one's heart whispers the most profound wisdom. God, at this point I should add the arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Thing. Wait, actually, is there an audio for that? Hang on. You gotta make sorry. A Discord sound real quick. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I gotta do something real fast. You're on a mission. So close to being done. You're so close, you're so close. So close to being
So far, correct. You were so correct, Grayson. Oh my goodness, Sherman. He's out there going, wow, 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 wow. Hey, guess what? You got it. The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean, though, about it sounding like with your voice model? It's pretty. It's I. I can see the similarities. Yeah. Yeah, it's very close. I can definitely tell that there's um like very a normal, normal. basic human voice in the undertones. Whereas mine is uh, fucked up on all angles because I do not have a deep voice. Oh, it's not a. It's a Yuri Lowenthal. He does not put on a deep voice for this. He puts on his Yuri Lowenthal voice. Well, he, yeah, he has his Yuri Lowenthal voice, but Yuri Lowenthal. Um. Does, doesn't sound like this. <laughs> That's fair. My voice is quite up there at times. Yeah. I have no T. <laughs> you have no tea. I have no tea. <laughs> Slap that voice mod back on. It's on. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that genuinely, like, because I'm researching for the list of quotes, that did for a second maybe think someone joined the voice call without me. I gotta be <laughs> honest. I was like, who the fuck is joined this call and I didn't hear? God, my real voice just scared you. <laughs> a little bit. My real voice that you hear all the time. Yeah, for real. Shit's wild. I know. Okay, let, let me let me get back into it while you focus up on. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if this bothers anyone who's. All right, the Empress. The Arcana is the means by which all <laughs> is revealed. God. Celebrate life's grandeur, its brilliance, its magnificence. <laughs> the Emperor. The Arcana is the means <laughs> by which all is revealed. I let you get away with too much. Oh, only courage in the face of doubt can lead one to the answer. <laughs> it's okay, we're on we're on number five, the Hierophant. We only have We only have eight more to go. Rip the bandit off! The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. 
It is indeed a precious gift to understand the forces that guide oneself. The lovers. The arcana is the means by which all is revealed. There is both joy and wonder in coming to understand and the chariot. The arcana is the means by which all <laughs> is revealed. One of life one of life's greatest blessings is the freedom to pursue one's goal. Justice. The arcana is the means by which all is revealed. To find the one true path, one must seek guidance amidst uncertainty. The Hermit. The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. It requires great courage to look at oneself honestly and forge one's own path. Fortune. The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Alongside time exists fate, the bearer of cruelty. Strength. The arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Only with strength can one endure suffering and torment. <laughs> We're almost there, Bull. Two more. Hangman. The arcana is the means by which <laughs> all is revealed. In the face of disaster lies opportunity for. And now we're on death. The moment man devoured the fruit of knowledge, he sealed his fate. Entrusting his future to the cards, man clings to a dim hope. Yet, the arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Beyond the beaten path lies the absolute end. It matters not who you are. Death awaits you. Are you proud of yourself? Yes. <laughs> I want you to know, the moment you started doing that again, Sherman came in here and has been screaming the whole time. Yay, Sherm! He's like, I sense nonsense. I must go, scream. <laughs> Sherm is telling you about the Arcana, which reveals... Yes, buddy. The Arcana. <laughs> Sherm, do you know that the Arcana is the means by which... So You're at least. From our streams now. <laughs> what else is new? Oh, I, I thought I was done. I forgot the darker gold lines on the tooth. <laughs> you thought you were done. I thought, but I missed. Yeah. At least with like that fight, um, there's literally an entire boss health bar in between each quote, and he changes up his stats and his move set. So you have to like. You have to scan to identify him every time to learn how to how to face each form. It's really good. Can't Can't wait to get destroyed by him again in Persona 3 Reload. I'm so excited. I want him to tell me about how the Arcana is the means by which all is. <laughs> Oh boy, sure is saving. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, it's it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm mostly just proud that I managed to find a clip for that that has no music in the background. Oh yeah. This guy is fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I sure did that, didn't I? You did. You did it in the span of several hours. But one day. But this one... one. Yeah. Honestly, you finished it at midnight. You finished it by the end of the day. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it's 12.03 right now. Hell yeah. Way to go. You did it. I'm so proud of you for that. Thank you. A lot of fighting bullshit, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, you know what? What? I have to name them. Y oh, you didn't name them yet? I named one of them. This one. It's Infernal Bulmon. Oh, nice. Because I, I had to be a riff on 
Move on. Yeah. Well, uh, that'll be the task I end the stream with. We're gonna figure this out. Oh, I can help you with that. I know you can. Hold on. Uh, um, show me. On. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste these onto a different file and shrink them down so I have them all in one picture. I don't need the names on this file. Fitting name, considering what I just quoted, too. Whoa! That would be sick for the number one. Yeah. I think, um, the ultimate one will be Taromon. And then the, the other ones I don't have quite yet. Tartarus Mon. Uh, I think the rookie form you can just call, like, Calf Mon. Probably. Is there, like, a more fun word for baby cow? Uh, calf, cattle... Um... Let's think. Move on. Is that a thing? Move on. No, it's not a thing in terms of, like, an existing one. Yeah, that's what- I, I don't want to name it something that exists. Yeah, it don't exist. Mulan could be cute for, like, the baby one. Yeah, like baby, aww. Baby, baby. Wait, can you call the- can you call the in-training to one Mulan? Repeat that, your mic cut out. What the fuck is up with my mic? I swear to- You need to throw it away. No, this is the new one! What? Yeah! What the hell? Could... You need to do some troubleshooting. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it stays fine when I'm recording on Audacity. I don't know why it just cuts out sometimes on stream. Might be Discord. It might be Discord. I'm also- I'm now holding the wire up to make sure it stays plugged into the USB and it looks like it's more consistent from that. Buddy. <laughs> Oh, no. Moo Moo Mon. Okay, I can't do both Moo Mon and Moo Moo Mon. <laughs> yes, you can, you coward. <laughs> you can if you weren't a fucking <laughs> coward. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Guys, a Is a Bronco a bull or a horse? Horse. Okay. Me googling words for cow. <laughs> Heifer. That's a female cow. Make no difference. Yes, it do. <laughs> What do you believe in gender? <laughs> Bull is a male. <laughs> so, let me write down what we have so far. Um, Fertile, Mohan, 
as if a beater was with that. You got part her with part horror is mine. Kid Bull Mon. <laughs> Thank you. This font really makes this word hard to read. <laughs> that, that, that sure is uh, words and not failed wingdings, isn't it? <laughs> it's fine, we'll call it Digimoji, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh man, holding up the part that's plugged into the USB really is making it more Fucking dude, that means your your uh USB jack, whatever you're using, has a short in it. No Wait, what if I plug it into the other USB? Because I've got two ports. Ready? Ha! <laughs> okay. Okay. Say something. Something. That sounds better, somehow. Really? I don't what know if I speak my head or not. What if I speak consistently over the course of several seconds like this just to make sure that it does not cut out any parts of my speech in which I'm speaking to you right now? There was one bit of lag, but it didn't cut out all the way. Okay, good. Sherman's been in my lap for the last, like, 12 minutes, by the way. Sherm! Oh, as as <laughs> wow, he doesn't like he doesn't like you ratting him out like that. <laughs> He's silly. <laughs> you snitched on him. I and now he has to cut you. <laughs> I'm gonna do the, uh, the arrow thing again. Yeah. It's tradition. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I gotta stretch my back first. Fuck. Stretchy. Everyone, unpretzel yourself. De shrimpify. Stretch yourself out like a slap bracelet. If you want to grow big and strong like me, you gotta stretch out. Gotta stretch. Prevent Press. any blood clots from forming in your leg. Back. <laughs> that big stretch I just had, I, I yawned during it and then my eyes water and now my eyes burn. <laughs> what? How did your eyes start burning? Uttering. It happens sometimes. I don't know what causes it. This is a frequent issue. <laughs> Why is your body built this way? Man, ask God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response. <laughs> Tartar response needs to be way bigger than the others, but I also want the others to still be visible. Oh wait, that's right, I wanted to do, um, a to scale thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, give me a second, <laughs> I'll figure this out. Yeah, make sure it doesn't get an auger Gabumon situation here. <laughs> that's an oopsie. 
<laughs> that was my favorite oopsie because you were just drawing it based on Oleg so it looked normal but only if you think of Oleg as Olin as being like the height of an average teenager at like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, maybe. No, nah, that boy huge. Yeah, I remember he's huge, and then I remember, uh-oh, Gavamon is not that big. Uh-oh. Uh but he is now. <laughs> <laughs> the Augur Gavamon variant is bigger than average. Yep. Still not as bad as Biomon. No, not as bad as Saber's Biomon. That one is atrocious. Yep. It's made even funnier by the fact that that Biomon is sitting back to back on the floor with Christy and they're both supposed to look really sad, but you just look at the size difference between the two of them and it's the fun thing actually. Yep. Like, oh no. This is supposed to be really sad, but I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite see what I'm doing over here because my fire and Demi Bond are taking over. Um, I can't decide if um, the ultimate level should be like a weird Gurumon situation where he's like smaller. I kind of like that idea. That feels fun. Yeah. Yeah, because then he feels a little more refined. Yeah. Then he realizes, wait, actually, what if I get really big? How about I go fucking crazy? <laughs> oh, wait, I need a person for scale. Let me just... I can't help, I'm seven feet tall. <laughs> Are you actually seven feet tall? Not in real life, no. Okay, I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> I've known you how long. <laughs> I know, and it just never is brought up, ever. I just don't tell you, and then we meet at the wedding, and you look up, and you're like, HOLY SHIT! That would've been so funny. Wow, you did that one really fast. Thank you, Symmetry Tool is a lifesaver. Wow. I'm a god amongst men. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you have to add in the, like, the height for this person so they know by scale. You say they're like, I'll, I'll put my height to 5'8, so let's. That seems about right to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that case, Mumumon has to be like the size of a basketball. Yes! <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay, that definitely made it worse. I, I realized I forgot I had bold set on, so I need to go fix the other text. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Saber's Biomon is a FNAF animatronic, right? Shit. Okay, here's where it's gonna get really fucky, because I have to shrink these guys down a lot. Oh boy. <laughs> He's huge! He's a big boy! <laughs> is he about- is he about the size of St. Gargamon or bigger? size. Okay. I imagine him as like, uh, the big bad of whatever series he's in, so he's big. <laughs> One of the big bads of the, of the series he'd be in. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Him and Umberthul fighting for a position of main antagonist. <laughs> <laughs> and neither of them wins it. The real main antagonist is Juan. Her. 
Good Good for her. Your wife. Your wife. My wife. Your wife. That's my wife. You're married. You're married. Happy marriage. Yes. We only go by bold on this text. Oh, that helps. Like, it's just the tiniest change, but it really helps my eyes. Oh yeah, that works. Wow. Dresden, what is your favorite Digimon? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> yeah, can we get everyone's favorite Digimon in chat? If you have one. We already said mine is Biomon. Yeah, mine is Leomon. Hard question, I bet, knowing you as a person. <laughs> Actually... If... Tamer's Leomon is my special favorite, but I think overall my favorite is Ang... Angoramon? Yeah, I think Ang... I, I feel like Angoramon at this point has like superseded, if only because I bought Angoramon merch. <laughs> Whereas I... Yeah, whereas I still have yet to buy anything of Leo Mom. I think so I'm intimidated by him. <laughs> I'm too afraid to commit. I would love to commit to, um, Vile Mom merchandise if I could find a good source. Yeah, that's fair. Taste. Ooh, Dark Nightmon. I like it. Unconventional. Delicious. Yeah. But my my basic answer is Leomon. My unconventional is Ingoramon. <laughs> Yeah, Metal Garumon. Metal Garumon, good. Right, where am I gonna put fucking scale? Mm. Oh wait, you know what else I need on this picture? Bulls reference. What am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. It's almost midnight thirty. <laughs> It's noon thirty AM. <laughs> dark noon. <laughs> the dark hour. Ooh. This is Persona 3. <laughs> oh no, your size is not gonna Oh no, it's fine. I'm I'm not opening layer files. Alright. Watch all safe. There it's safe. This file is not as large as the others, and the layers are mega compressed. Yeah. I know my baby's limits. Tres, and I appreciate you having read the crossword. Yeah. You've done something I... I have not been able to find the courage to do. <laughs> I do like the goofy ass mushroom mon they drew in it. I would like to see it, please. Alright, hang on. Here. 
Oh my goodness! These are the same rookie level Digimon. Diversity! I know. They're so silly! <laughs> I know! Also, I know, I know I've pointed this out before, how these just look like the mushrooms from Maple Story. Um, but this one with the mustache is especially so because there's like an evil villain mushroom character with the, with the same mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was making that up. Yeah, I appreciate also that the Crosswords manga gave Darulumon an evolution. Yep. Stop like that, too. Is Makleomon in the manga? What? I think I've seen that one. I, I googled Leomon variants, variants a little bit ago, I think. Yo, this man fucks! Does Leomon ever not fuck? No, but like... Leo- Look, Leomon... Normal Leomon doesn't fuck, he has sex. This Leomon fucks. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means normal Leomon would respectfully have sex with someone this leomon is in it to feel something <laughs> normal leomon makes love <laughs> this man fucks sex haver <laughs> Just yeah, you've seen regular mon before. I don't remember. <laughs> you literally sent me a screenshot of like regular mon from the. All you said was hi. I must have. That does sound like something I would do, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's because you sent like a screenshot of it from the manga full body, and this is like a colored image of it. Probably. I don't know where to put the high chart! <sighs> oh, I literally said I wasn't gonna do putting this together on stream, did I? <laughs> yep. I sure said that. Yeah, I've been waiting for it. It is like me to forget now, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Alright, well I'll save. <laughs> I'll figure this shit out off stream. Baby. Let me, uh, <laughs> de demi modify myself real quick. <laughs> Streaming, who can we read into today? You know, the longer I look at Mock Leomon, I don't think I enjoy him as much as Mad Leomon. Yeah? Yeah, because Mad Leomon still has the vibes of a Digimon. This just can't be any furry, like, villain from a shonen. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get you. 
Like, he still fucks, but if you told me this wasn't Leomon, I could have hunted. Some sort, some nature of art. Oh, there is nonsense happening on her, on her stream right now. I think we need that. Oops. All right. <sighs> oh, I think it ready for Kami. I got Thank locked you. up today. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody be sure you hydrate, stretch, and get a snack. Take your meds if you need to. Uh, take care of yourself or else. I love you all. Hail hey, Satan. Good night. Dog it's, dog. It's Black Friday. <laughs> Happy Black Friday, everyone. <laughs> Wait, it's Saturday. No, it's Saturday. You fucking lied to me. Shit. Happy Gray Saturday. <laughs> Okay, goodbye everyone.